Uh, it shouldn't attack you because it's it's outside of the charge um, range. But that doesn't mean it won't attack you. So be be wary of it. Listen uh, to the sounds. Listen to the bark. Like that. See? <laughs> Hello, fellow survivors, and welcome to another Interloper walkthrough. This time looking at the mid-game of Interloper. Now this video is technically a continuation of a previous video, but you don't have to have watched that video to enjoy this one, of course. But uh, in case you haven't, I will explain what happened in it. I previously made a video called Interloper Made Easy, where I spawned in Pleasant Valley. And the video as a whole documents how you master your spawn and uh, start looting, forging, and then eventually hunting. And in the video, I killed two bears, and also uh, got some more resources set up. So that was how to start an interloper run and establish yourself in the early game of a spawn. This video is the mid game. So what happens after you have got your bow, you hunted a little bit, well, what do you do next? Well, that's what this video is all about. And in this video, I'm going to do some hunting. Then I'm gonna travel to Ash Canyon to get the backpack, go to the summit, and I'm going to do some more hunting. In particular, I'm looking for moose to get the moose hide satchel. And yeah, there's a quite a lot of things to go through here. Basically, the mid game is, uh, well, the point of the mid game is basically to upgrade yourself. You, know, you now have the means to hunt, but now you need to secure resources to become stronger, to get better gear and secure supplies. So that's what this walkthrough is going to be about. You don't have to watch the previous one to watch this. If you do, you get a bit more context, but it doesn't make any real difference because if you are playing the long dark yourself, you might uh, have a similar early game as well. And this is more about what happens after you get the bow and after you survived the first few days. So I hope you enjoy and welcome to the mid game of Interloper. Let's get to it. Hello fellow survivors, we are back in the interloper made easy run which started out in Pleasant Valley and now we are in Trapper's Cabin. Welcome back to this run if you did not see the previous run, no worries that makes no difference because you might want to know how to play mid game anyway and uh, all the starts will be slightly different um, uh, in any case. So uh, to do a little sit rep. Here we are in Trapper's Cabin, where we left it. I have a few little things laying about on the floor to cure, and I need to take these back to the camp office. I actually wrote a journal note for myself, which is very handy. Uh, I have some deer meat outside. I need to finish cooking that. I need to go back to camp office with the stuff, and then we're going to go to Ash Canyon. There's some stuff here, also I haven't looted, but I'm not sure we'll need that. Uh, this we can get rid of because I have since made a video on crows. You can check that out if you want. All right. So the plan for today. So in the early game of Interloper, you spend time getting yourself sorted. So you move and loot and get food. But the idea is to get the bow as soon as possible. And we have the bow. It's right here. Lots of arrows as well. And we now hunted quite a bit. We got food. We got bear pelts. So what you could do now, if, if this was you, you could just stay here in Mystery Lake and just um, start doing different things, more hunting, more supplies, more crafting. Uh, for example, we have, we don't have deer um, trousers, for example, we don't have rabbit gloves, although we should maybe make those. So we could do something like that. But I like to do one thing early. So a good idea now is to wait for the bear hide to cure. So the bear hides take a while to cure. And while they're curing, it takes 12 days, we should instead go up to Ash Canyon because we want to find the backpack because we want to carry more stuff. And we want to find a moose on the way there so that if we find a moose and kill it, 
the hide from the moose can cure while we go up to Ash Canyon, and then we can craft the moose hide satchel. So that's a really good plan. Like you can let things cure while you go on an adventure and then get the satchel. If this was a uh, stalker run or below, you could also go to Hash River Valley to get the moose hide satchel there, but that doesn't exist in Interlopal. So first things first, uh, we're gonna go outside and we need to harvest uh, the deer, uh, or at the very least, yeah, we need to cook this stuff as well. We don't really have much uh, wood though is the only thing. Let me just quickly, yeah. Uh, let's, let's, how much wood do I even have? Hardly anything. Let's grab a couple sticks and things first. Uh, up here, we might need to break them down actually, yeah, because I'd need quite a few sticks. It's not really cold at all. Um, so we're going to break down a few of these, seeing as we don't have that much. Now I'm going to use my tools. It would be great if this could uh, stop being foggy, but what are you going to do? I'm going to spend some time here getting all of these sticks. And there's some more sticks. Do I have? Yeah. Or rather one stick. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna use a match. I'm very conservative with matches and I try to uh, basically save them. But in this case, we would like to cook this meat to get it all done and also level up our cooking. So let's do that. Let's uh, start a fire get the cooking going with the meat, uh, particularly the deer meat, because that's what I want to take with me. I want to take some supplies with me when I travel. And that didn't work. Oops. What's this? Oh. Now I'll keep that for emergencies. Oh, come on. Come on, little fire is right. Come on, little fine. And then I need to house the rest of the deer, if I can. Third time's the charm? Seems like it. Right. Oh, and it cleared up. Fantastic. Hey, fire starting level two. How oh, great. All right, so let's put some sticks on here. And we want to cook this, all of this stuff. And let me see, I, uh, what teas do I have a lot of? Not actually a lot of anything, but yeah, I think that should be all right. We can maybe heat up this tea uh, a little bit. Let me have a little sit rep with my inventory. So we don't have much uh, wood, but we have matches. We're going to go to camp office anyway to get sit repped. We have water, that's fine. Uh, this we can drop. Uh, the rest seems okay, yeah. Alright, okay. Been a while since I did that walkthrough, you see. <laughs> so it takes 37 minutes, so let's just grab this just in case I get cold. So let's see, uh... It's a while since I was on this run and made that walkthrough, so I need to check how much I actually harvested of these things. Okay, we don't have the guts. I'm not sure if we need the guts. Maybe. Uh, the secondary does. So let's check this first. And, all right. Okay. And this oh, has loads. Yeah, okay. Let's grab this. Drop it down first. I'm gonna drink the hot tea because I just want to ensure I don't get too cold doing this. We got about 30 minutes, so let's grab this. There we go, get some more meat. And we can maybe grab one of these guts. And I think that's it for now. Let's grab all of this stuff. And we need to find more wood as well. 
set up here. There's some shrubs and stuff I can harvest. That's cooked. Put these on. Uh, let's put this over here. We're gonna do a little cooking session to start. Okay, uh, and while that's doing that, let's uh, grab these. This time we could maybe use the hatchet. Speed things up a little bit. Uh, let's grab this one. Oh, it's a sunny day now. How nice. Alright, let's uh, warm up a bit and get some stuff done here. So let's see. 13 minutes. And if anything we can craft, I don't think so. No. Alright, so let's warm that up a little bit. Oh, hey, parasites got healed. How nice. Let's eat this also. And then we can place it or wherever, really. This is where we can put the cooked food. Let's keep cooking. That's a smaller piece. Yeah, 45 minutes. For an hour. And then let's uh, see if we can get the hide of this. Doesn't matter if we get a little cold, I guess. The guts is secondary, but we'll take it if we can. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get this. Alright, let's head back. I'm gonna get all this cooking done if we can. We don't have to cook all of it right now, but the more the merrier. Because then we have food for our journey. Uh, two minutes, so let's grab those. Put another one on here. Nice. Let's just put this in here while we wait for this stuff to cook. So, uh, it might as well cure a little bit. Do that. Uh, is there anything I can break down here? Uh, we could probably break down these, yeah. And we get um, a little bit more wood. You can cook it inside if you need to, but outside it's better. Those fires last longer outside than they do inside. Uh, for some reason, that's determined by where the player is, not where the fire is, which is a bit weird. Um, but anyway, if you have the fire outdoors, uh, that's better. There you are, 45. Let's drop some more here. And let's see if we can grab the guts as well. Because then we get all of it. Get some more feathers, that's great. Future use. Let's grab the gut, 14 minutes. And we can also grab this. More feathers. Before you harvest this, remember to drop your stuff in case uh, you attract wolves. You can grab both of those. Then we have a few more guts for crafting later, although I don't think we really need it because we have all the guts from the bear, but I'm still going to grab it. Guts is something you don't really run out of uh, in time. Sounds like the wind is picking up. That's cooked. We are getting there. We five. Are they both like that? We one, okay. Uh, 40 minutes. Let's put some more. Put this on. See, I'm multitasking and doing things while things are cooking. That's very important. Because the, the cooking is going to take X amount of time regardless. And I might as well do other things while it's happening. Let's eat one. Let's eat this. Maintain well fed. We can probably go to camp office today, if not in the morning. Let's see. Uh, 
Let's see if we can get some more wood. There's some sticks up there. Let's grab those. Actually, I think we'll sleep here tonight. We'll go in the morning. Ah, we got a birch bark. That's good. Let's do a little search for sticks here. We could grab the limb, but that's not that desperate for, for wood. <laughs> Any more sticks? Yep, yeah, loads of sticks here. Nice. One over there, but let's check over here first. There's one. We should be safe from wolves and stuff up here because they shouldn't come up here unless they can smell us. Let's grab this one. And also this one. There's a few. It's nice. Getting a bit more campfire supplies here. How many, do I have charcoal? Yeah, I do. Might want to grab them actually. Let's uh, let's break down one or two of these, and then we're sure that we have enough. I think one more should do it. There we go. So we're starting off this uh, walkthrough on a light note by just doing lots of cooking. As you can see, the uh, deer carcasses have already despawned. Most likely because I went uh, inside. I finished harvesting all of it and then I went inside. And then when you come back outside, they tend to despawn. If you leave a little bit, like a little bit of meat or a little bit of guts, it tends to stay there for a bit longer to get feathers, but not super long. So eventually they will despawn. All right, that's done. Uh, let's just get these ones now. 45 and 36. Put these down. And let's just drop this again. Keep this, uh, I like keeping the small pieces because they're good to eat. And we can craft the birch bark, which isn't much, but it's something. And let's just, while, uh, while that's cooking, let's have a little look at ourselves. How is our skills doing? Let me also check quickly when I was there. Did I check the... No, I did not check the rural store, so we'll probably go there. Yeah, okay. Let's see. So we're carcass having three. That's good. Cooking is four. And what we really want is cooking level five, because then we don't have any parasite risk. That's what we really want. Fire starting is two. That's good. But the number three is what we want. These don't really matter. Well, ice fishing eventually. Archery, we do want to get archery to level five. Probably get level three today. Mending takes forever to level up. And these two don't really need. And let's have a look at our clothing. Pretty good. Better gloves would be good. We need another one of these. Better socks is better. Uh, better trousers eventually. And these are okay. This I can repair, how long does that take? 30 minutes. And we got 13 and 23. So I think we won't do that right now. Once they just wait for this to get cooked. And then we're going to put on these, 55. Now so I cook it. And then we're going to repair these. They're not great trousers, Feels like but a little bit of warmth will still go a long way. That's good. Uh, let's have a look at our conditions. Could maybe repair this actually, maybe. Yeah, we're likely to use it for a while. These two give quite a lot if they're repaired. 45 minutes, all right. 20 minutes, 20 minutes. How long to repair this? An hour, wow. And this, 30 minutes. Let's repair this. Get a little bit of uh, heat and some skill as well. There we are, we're almost done with the cooking. With that, and that left, and I think that is it. Oops. 54 and 9. Right. Make a little bit of water then. I think just half a litre is probably fine. Or maybe, yeah, okay, one litre. And then we could try and repair this one. Let's give it a try. 
we manage? Yeah, we did. A little slightly more warmth now. And we cooked. And it's boiled. There. Alright. Grab a torch as well. Maybe another torch. Yeah, nice. So there we are. We've cooked everything, which is fantastic. And I'm going to drop these wolf pieces. And then I'm going to uh, go in here and sleep. That stuff cure. In the morning we had the camp office, then we're out of here. And we're going to look for um, moose on the way. Now let's see here. First things first, let's have a little bite to eat. And that. Have a drink. And then we go to sleep for 10 hours. There we are. We can sleep another hour. Let's have a drink first. And then the sun should be up and we can make our way to the camp office. And then we'll do an inventory there and then we're out of here. <clears throat> okay. That's good. So now we're going to grab all of these things, take them with us. We're going to stink doing it, but that's okay. Uh, because uh, we just want to transport it. How much do we stink actually? Two lines. We're probably going to stink more though. All right. Uh, yeah, that's uh, not. Uh, <laughs> let's grab the charcoal. Just for mapping purposes. Could maybe even go here. Uh, anyway, uh, I want to bring some food with me on this journey. So I'm going to grab some of these kilos. Just because I have space anyway. I'm going to grab a few of these, to be honest. Uh, that's a little bit too high. We can drop one, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to head out to a uh, camp office. We need to have the bow ready. Because it's quite likely that we'll run into a wolf. But now we're done. We're ready for our, our journey. We got lots of food. Uh, we have um, the bowl, we have OK gear, we're doing quite well. We could maybe grab these rabbits while we're at it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really necessary, but just to have some more hides when we come back. I'm not sure if we really need to though, maybe, we, but uh, I guess we could. Oh, did I not harvest that whole wolf? Let's see if I can get this. I missed. I don't think I can be bothered to grab them, at least not here. Maybe a bit closer to the camp office we can do it. But they're not, they're not really a priority. We're going to find, on this journey we're doing now, we are going to find mittens, for sure. So it's not really that important to get rabbits right now. Let's see if there's any wolves here. Let's have the bow ready. We stink. Wolves are going to come for us. All right. No wolves yet, but they tend to be here. I grab these for leveling purposes. I think there's usually some wood here too. I might take that. Oh no, it's a pot. We'll take that. Take it back. Let's see. There's usually a wolf patrol in this area. I can hear it on my left. It's a different wolf though. That might be coming for me. Not cold just yet, so we're okay. Uh, one reason I don't really want to kill wolves right now is because since this is early game, I kill a wolf right now, I uh, might as well harvest it, and it takes more time. But we could, so one option would be to kill a bunch more wolves to get the pelts. 
so that when we come back we can make the bear coat and then in addition a wolf coat for example but basically when we come back everything's ready to be fully crafted but that's an option we'll see we go in here i'm probably gonna sleep an hour in here too we can maybe do the the vista mapping Okay, so it's been a little while since I played this run, so I don't remember exactly what I left in here, but we'll figure that out. Let's map this area as well, because why not? Seems like I left a little bit of food out here, how nice. Be a little careful with this. Oh, that's the uh, lookout tower there, okay. Could maybe go there. All right, so here we are. So we have a bunch of stuff here. We have a wolf pelt that's curing. I'm gonna leave another one there. We have rabbit pelts that are cured, in which case I think we maybe could make the mittens because these gloves are not great. How long does that take? Um, but we don't really need to make them because we are going to find better ones. In fact, I think I'll do that. So when I come back, I can make the mittens. And then it looks like I have two... Th this will be... Four hides, so I, I can then make the trousers as well. Put here, so that's good. We need two more wolf hides to make a coat, but we also have bear hides, so they're halfway cured. So it's going to take at least six days for these to cure. Uh, so that's still a week away. <laughs> Guts, these will all be cured when we get back. Put that here. There we go. And we have these books that we haven't really read, but we don't really need to read them either. Uh, this we can put here. And then we have our tools. Lantern, how's that? We got full lantern here, that's good. Uh, I have flare with me as well. Jerry can, this, this is all looking great. Past Zach did a good job organizing this. Good job, Zach. <laughs> uh, oh, only 50% on that. Maybe I should repair that if I have some scrap metal. Do I have scrap metal? Doesn't look like it. Um, is there any scrap metal here? Like this lamp, for example? No. Uh, I don't think there's any scrap metal here to harvest. I don't think. Unless there's a bucket or something. I don't think so, though. No, that was just because then I can repair it, but that's all right. Let's go up here. Do we have anything up here? We have some misc stuff. It's presumably red. Yep. We can put this here because we have an extra. So we now have two there. That's nice. And uh, in here. Yeah, search what's in here. I got this. I'll we'll see how that goes. Cool. What can I put in here? Uh, we'll keep one accelerant. And this is fine. Uh, hopefully this won't break when I come back, but it should be right. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the charcoal. Don't... Oh, we can take those with us. These we can leave downstairs. I think we can put two clothing in here. Oh, this gives metal. Yeah, let's do this. Break this down. And then we can go back down. Actually, we'll do it after. We're going to sleep for two hours first. Get some energy back. <clears throat> All right. And we're going to go down here. I'm going to grab the high quality tools. We're going to repair this. Doesn't repair a lot, but a little bit. Just so I can use it later. 70%, you know, that's okay. Leave that there. And now another thing is, now normally when I travel about and just do my thing, I normally always carry two of these. Because you want to use it to make water. Uh, 
um, a lot of water. But today uh, I'm going to take two of these because these weigh a kilo. So there's two kilos or I can point be 0.3 kilos. So it's 1.7 kilos less because I'm going to be traveling all the way to Ash Canyon. And I'm going to find loot on the way, including the summit, hopefully. So we're going to be heavy. Uh, of course, we'll get the backpack at some point, but other than that. So there we are. So let's see here. Um, we'll have a drink. We'll have to make more water or grab from the dam, but that's okay. So then we're good. We have a hacksaw, hacket, hatchet, pry bar, this, the bowl. The bowl doesn't have great condition, but it should be fine. Um, yeah, this is all looking fine. We'll find better gloves. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're all set. All ready. So we're going to come back and by day 23 or so, the bear hides will be cured. We can make the bear coat. What we're going to do now, we are going to head to Ash Canyon. We're all the way over here. We're going to go back to the dam. We're going to go to Pleasant Valley, but we're not going to go to the farm. We'll go to the rural store and check that for, for Miss Glute. And then uh, make our way through Tim Wolf Mountain up to Ash Canyon. We're not going to look at everything we come across, but we're going to make our way to the mine to get the backpack. Now, very importantly, on the way there, we are going to check the moose spawns. So uh, I can't actually remember where it is in history. Like, I don't think I wrote it down, if it's on the pond or, or where it is. Uh, but uh, it doesn't matter too much. In any case, we're going to check Pleasant Valley, the spawn there which is by the birch forest. Then check Tim Wolf Mountain where there's two spawns and there's also two in Ash Canyon. Uh, I think there's technically three in Ash Canyon, but um, that's all right. In any case, so we want, if you see a moose, we're going to kill it uh, so we can have the hides curing while we do other stuff. So we want to now head to Ash Canyon, get the backpack, hunt the moose on the way if we can, come back and have the hides cured and then make stuff and then be just, a tough survivor. So that's the plan. So let's do that. Uh, let's head out. It's a nice day. Uh, maybe we could take a short detour up to the uh, lookout tower. We don't need to do that, but we could do it uh, while we're here and have the charcoal just to get some more uh, map done. Let's do that, shall we? I could maybe check uh, the moose spawn as well. But let's head up there. Let's do that. It's not a big detour or anything. Another reason I wanted to sleep back in the camp office was because um, it's warmer now. As you can see, I'm not really cold, which is great. So I can travel now pretty safely. I'm not going to take any cold damage. So it's much easier to traverse now. I'm going to avoid sprinting if I can, just to uh, preserve some energy, but if it's cold, I'll sprint. Or oh, if it's wolves or anything. But yeah, we're basically off to an adventure now. We have conquered the start, we have conquered the beginning of the run, the spawn, we've gotten all of that out of the way. And we have our bow, we have decent gear, not amazing gear, but decent gear. All the tools and everything. What we really need now, in order to become fully sustainable, is just more stuff. We basically now need to upgrade from a medium strength survivor to a uh, tough strength hard survivor. Because there's a few things that are not as good as it could be. So we're warm right now, but we're on day 17 or 18, and the world's going to get colder up to day 50. Which means that, uh, let me just check, I think I have looted this guy before. I have not. Okay, let's just check. Nothing there. Uh, which means that uh, while I'm warm right now, or it's only minus one right now, if this was the same condition but on day 50, um, you know, I would be quite cold now. Or colder at least. So, in order to be even more protected against cold, more protected against predators, which is kind of your two, two main concerns. We need to upgrade our gear. And that means crafting uh, the bear coat uh, and or wolf coats. You can make the moose 
cloak if you like, but I don't really like that one. It's too heavy for what it provides. Uh, but you get the bear coat and a wolf coat and that will give you lots of warmth. We can make the deer hide pants. We can make the uh, rabbit mittens. We can get the uh, backpack to carry more stuff. We can get the moose hide satchel to carry even more stuff. And yeah, that's about it, I guess. Uh, other than that, it's just leveling up things like cooking to level five. And once we have all those things, then you kind of achieved everything there is to do in order to ensure that you are up to date with all the best gear and as ready as you can be to survive. And after that, you are basically in the late game and it's about just deciding what to do and uh, how to secure your position as a survivor. Um, basically, the first video was how to begin your survival run. Uh, this one is to upgrade your survival run. And then alternatively, you could do one that is the <laughs> end game of it or late game. There we are on the forest lookout. We might as well check the loot here while we're at it. And let's get the Polaroid going. There you'll see as a prompt. It prompted me that this is the Vista location. I think it can be anywhere from this stair to over here. And it's foggy, but not that foggy. So now when I use the charcoal, I'm not going to get small areas like these or this. It's going to uncover quite a lot of this, which is fantastic. Like this. It got foggy actually, but look at that. Boom. So much information now. Isn't that great? <laughs> okay. Let's just check what we got in here as well. In here we have a book. And that, I'm just going to leave this here on the table so I see it when I come back. Anything around? Uh, let's check this. Nothing. Here. Bandage. This will come in handy. What about under here? Ah, maglens. Do I have the maglens? I do not. Then here it is. Now we can make a fire in sunlight. <laughs> Great. I'm going to leave this here. Uh, we don't really need either of them. I'm sure I'll come back at some point in the future. And I can grab them then. I'm going to head out. Uh, let's head down. And we're going to do a little shortcut. I'm going to head down here. And instead of heading back down the way we came we're going to head down this way it's a very easy shortcut to do just head over this little this little slant here up and over and then down here I'm doing it very fast because I'm used to doing this but you don't have to do it this fast you can just do it slower or you can crouch or whatever very easy and then you can you get down here and I'll basically end up in the rail of mint Let's head to the dam. That was the Polaroid. If you want to get faithful cartographer, the Polaroid helps a lot. Um, but I won't necessarily map everything you need. But it does help to give a clear and good looking map. So down we go. And I think we can just go here. Yeah. There we go. That looks like it's a wolf and it's in my way. So we maybe have to kill it. Uh, I can't remember where the moose spawn was in this run in Mystery Lake. It might have been an unnamed pond, but that's right. Uh, we possibly have to kill this uh, wolf. I can try and sneak past it, but it's not really going to work. So I might have to kill it just to... Just to uh, get it out of my face. If I'm lucky, I could maybe... It was just outside of range. So I might be able to walk, walk the dog, as we call it. Which is pretty much just walk away. And let the uh, wolf we'll follow you. And it's not really going to do anything. Uh, however, there's a risk, for example, if uh, if the wolf has to sprint to catch up, or if I sprint, and then the wolf catches up, the wolf could sprint to catch up with you. 
and then it could get too close. So that could happen. So just be a little bit careful of that. But generally speaking, if you walk like this, and the wolf is behind you, uh, it shouldn't attack you because it's it's outside of the charge um, range. But that doesn't mean it won't attack you. So be be wary of it. Listen uh, to the sounds. Listen to the bark. Like that. See. <laughs> Um, yeah, I could hear him there barking, see? So when he barked, uh, I knew he would charge. Uh, it probably happened because I was walking uphill, so he caught up. Yeah, you can do that. You can walk the dog. Just be aware. Listen very closely if you do that. In case uh, the wolf sneaks up on you. Now, I don't want to harvest this wolf, really, because uh, I want to get going. However, I am going to take the... Hide. Because then we just need one more wolf hide for the wolf coat. When we come back. So we can leave that in the dam. And uh, in fact, if we get one more wolf, we'll have uh, all four. For when we come back. How is our water situation, by the way? 2.9. Sometimes there's a wolf over here. If it is, we can kill that. Moose spawn wasn't here. I, cu I couldn't remember. I didn't um, look that up when I checked the old video if it was here or in the pond or whatnot, but that's okay. We're going to check. Uh, we're probably going to find a moose. If it's not in Pleasant Valley, it will most likely be in Tim Wolf Mountain. If not, it will be in Ash Canyon. But sometimes you don't find moose, and if you don't, you don't. would be nice to find one, though. Uh, no wolves here. No? Alright. <laughs> well then, uh, we're going to... Uh, we'll kill another moose. A moose. A uh, wolf. Uh, if we see it. Like in Winding River or in Pleasant Valley. Then we can leave them to cure. So when we come back, we'll have all four. We can make the bear coat. We can make the wolf coat. And we're good. Uh, right now, we're just going to go through the dam. I have looted the dam before. So there isn't really anything here for me. I can, however. I don't think we need this. Oh yeah, I left all this stuff here. And all these tools. Extra hammer and everything. We don't need any of this stuff. Uh, let me see if I grab the... Oh, this has not been looted. Okay. I'll check that as well then. Let's check here for water in the toilets. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this too. Okay, heavy, that's all right. We could uh, mitigate that though. Let's see here. Seems like I haven't really looted that much of the dam. Have I not looted any of this? No, I, have. I just haven't looted the lockers, I guess. Have I looted a safe? I must have, because the safe has a bunch of stuff empty. This must be looted then. Yeah. I thought so. But maybe this is not looted. Yeah. We'll check that. I'll check the lockers upstairs another time. Oops, that's looted. Okay, this is all looted then. Let's uh, eat something. We also get some of our carry capacity back. Should have maybe grabbed some more cattails, but that's okay. If we need to hunt, we'll hunt. Be careful if you're here at night. It's not quite night time yet, but if you do come here at night, be careful because there are cables and they can kill you. I did get hit by cables once on my main run, which is over a thousand days, but I didn't die, fortunately. Uh, I'm gonna leave this to cure the same place I leave uh, I get the next wolf so that it's uh, the same place all right let's head back to Pleasant Valley let's see what we can find here oh, my stim situation this is one which is the barn 
There's no stims in Mystery Lake. But we'll find two now. One in Timberwolf Mountain, one in Ash Canyon. Alright. Sounds like Wolfie is uh, hunting. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you try to map this... Just, just illustrate. Uh, if you don't get this... The, the dam. Yeah, if you go here on this... And then you should check uh, uh, surveyed locations, right? Select that. If you're going for, um, what should we call it? A faithful cartographer. See, Winding River sometimes. Uh, now this worked. The other one is, uh, where, where did it go? Winding River. The other one's the cave system. But if you don't get this, if you map it, and for some reason uh, you don't get this icon, what you want to do is you want to go down here on the ice right where the uh dam is so like down there go down there on the ice right at the foot of the dam and map that and if you do that you'll uh you, you should trigger it and i got it now so they may have improved it i'm still warm it's actually plus two degrees fantastic uh, we could avoid the wolf, but I might kill the wolf just to get my fourth wolf pelt. We'll guarantee we're definitely going to run into more wolves. Oh, here it comes actually. Because I smell. So let's come here. I triggered the charge by aiming. I'm shoot him in the face. Let's grab the hide. <clears throat> I would leave it there in the dam, but I can't really... We're not going to cook the stuff. We're going to leave the rest of the wolf. Um, because we don't really need it. I could level carcass harvesting, of course. I could also just uh, get the food and cook it to level cooking. But it's not really worth eating it, especially because I already have enough food. So I'm going to leave him. And then I'm going to take a little shortcut here. Walk like this. Oops. I think I messed that up. Yeah. <laughs> You just walk along the side here, and then you go up like this little shortcut. And here there's often a deer or a corpse, but not today. And then you can take a shortcut down here. And then you can go down here and then here. And here there's a little, uh, little drop, but you shouldn't take damage as long as you get to this edge here. And then fall down. Yeah, you, you just like, just barely not taking damage. Let's grab some cattails, because you never know, I might need them for the journey. I need all of them, but we're going to find a bunch in Ash Canyon. I think I can sprint a little bit now. Not because we're cold, but I just want to get there a bit faster. I would like to get to the uh, Thompson's Crossing before I sleep. We'll warm up in the cave system, so that's no problem. We can lower the bow now. We're not going to find any more predators the rest of this area. The only wolves in Winding River is the one by the... Well, that's the ones by the feet of the dam. You never know, though. Be, be extra careful when there's a patch. So the developers, Hinterland, uh, they tend to put things in the game without telling people. Sometimes when it's something new or something big, they tell people. But they change things in the game all the time without putting in the patch notes. So, for example, the uh, Storm Lantern or Torch. Uh, it used to be that you couldn't climb with them. So if you had a lit torch, you had to like throw it creatively up the way you're going so you could carry the torch with you. However, that's no longer a thing. You cannot climb with it. But that wasn't said in any patch reports. You just had to discover it. Most notoriously uh, is when they introduced Fluffy in the dam. So this is way back several years. They put the wolf, the indoor wolf, Fluffy, who was in the dam for some time. And they didn't tell people about it. They just patched it and then put Fluffy in the dam. And people would show up and be like, what? There's a wolf in here. And then they would die, you know. Uh, when they put Fluffy in Bleak Inlet, they did announce that. <laughs> so uh, be a little bit careful. If... If you're in an area that you know, and you know there's no wolves, that's great. But if there has been a patch, then maybe the first time you're there after that patch, especially if it's like a content patch, maybe uh, 
double check just just to make sure in case it didn't change it <laughs> especially with wolves it's unlikely they'll change things with bears and moose but wolves they could change it they've done it before yeah. all right so we're gonna head through i forgot to map the cave system i was gonna do that just to get the winding river done but that's okay this isn't a faithful cartography run as such so that's okay Let's head into Pleasant Valley and we're going to go down to the rural store. We don't need to loot everything there, but I'm going to loot a couple things. Uh, we're likely to get some food and stuff. We're going to do that. I could grab some coal here if it has respawned. Uh, coal takes up to three weeks to respawn, so we're not guaranteed to find coal here. But probably it will be here, seeing as we spawned there and left it on like day or whatever it was so or, or maybe even it's earlier so i would be surprised yeah there's one here yeah, two and three yeah it can respawn faster uh it can respawn within a week but basically if you go in a cave and you loot all the coal if you come back three weeks later so 20 21 days it should all have respawned by then but if you come back sooner, it might be partially respawned. So that's how that works. Stones, I think, respawn a bit faster, but you don't, you're don't. not often in a situation where you need a bunch of stones. It does happen, though. All right, so here we are. Before I go out, I'm going to eat this. I don't think we're going to get not heavy, but that's all right. Okay. Nice, nice weather. You have to be a little bit careful. Uh, because on the right, there can be a bear. Could also be over here wandering about. But I don't see him. We're gonna head to Royal Store. We're gonna check the moose spawn. Uh, there's two moose spawns, sorry, in Pleasant Valley, not, not one. Uh, I said earlier it's in the birch forest, but it's also by Unnamed Pond. Not Unnamed Pond, Pensive Pond. It's just around the corner. I didn't check that area in the first playthrough because I traveled from the barn to here in a blizzard. So I didn't check. But we're going to check now. Wait, did I forget to... Yeah, I did. Well, we'll leave it in like Thompson's Crossing or something. Uh, I was going to leave him back in the cave. I can't be able to go back. So let's check over here to see if there is a moose. If not, the spawn is down by the by the birch forest. We're going to go there anyway. I don't see... Oh, there it is. And it's out here as well. Fantastic. In which case we can even... We could even put it in the cave here. Or in the forest soon cave soon. nearby. It's going to get a lot colder soon. I want to kill it before a potential aurora kicks in. Now with the moose, if the moose stomps me, I'm going to get broken ribs. And then I can't climb ropes. And to get to the gold mine in Ash Canyon, I need to climb at least two ropes. Uh, so I don't want that. Uh, if you have two stims, you can bypass it. So we need to be careful. We need to find a vantage point where we can shoot the moose. And then be able to retreat if necessary. Because the moose uh, is not going to run too far. It's not going to bleed out. We need to find somewhere where we can shoot it from a safe distance. Where we have a, an escape route ready. So this is a good place, for example. Because it's high up. So we're going to go up here. And then we will see. So here, for example, if the moose... If the music tries to get me now, if it runs up here, I could jump down here, for example, or something. So, let's see. Here I am, Moose. Hello. Look at me. Okay, well, let's see if he turns around. Because that will be good. Then he'll look straight at me. Okay, he's not doing it. So, let's just try and get a shot in, then. Should be about... Uh, a little bit too high. Yeah. Let's 
Then we go down. He got angry. And he kind of gave up on the pathing, see? He's running away. See, so because... Um, because I was in a safe ground there, he couldn't get to me, so he gave up. And now he's over there. He's going to walk back here. So let's see if we, Where's my arrow? The one I missed. Uh, I'll find it after. I guess. He's going to now slowly make its way back. Because the wolf doesn't... The wolf. The moose does not bleed out. Uh, you have to kill him with, uh, with arrows. So he's going to slowly move back to his uh, spawn. Now oh, come on, wolf. What are you doing? Why? Okay, Archie went up. See if we can see the moose. Yeah, he's making noises. I would like my arrow back though. Where is my the arrow I missed? Um It says somewhere. We'll find it later. There was one arrow I missed somewhere. Let's wait for the moose to get a bit closer. He should be making his way. There he is. Should be making his way back here. He's got three arrows in him. Ah, oh, there's the arrow. Uh, how many arrows it takes to bring down a moose? It will vary. It could be one. Even at level one archery, if you hit the moose in the head, the moose could die. It could die. Oh, he's actually walking away. He's not actually coming back here. Uh, but uh, it could also be eight arrows. It depends on how you hit. But let's see here. We need to be a bit careful. Here it comes. Gonna crouch spam like this. Then you're effectively crouching. Alright. You could dodge the moose with the trees. But it's really, really risky to do. So I'm instead going to do this. Okay, he's coming back now. I do not want to get uh, broken ribs, you see. Yeah, he's kind of coming back now. Yeah, okay. He's making his way there. So let's uh, see if we can get a good vantage point over here. He should be getting closer. You could just take a shot there and hope, because he's already got three arrows in him. So the likelihood that he'll die is pretty high. But uh, he, is, he is rotating. All right. Then we need to change our plan and, and go up top. So we're going to go up here and shoot him from here but do you really want to risk it do you want to like shoot him and then he doesn't die you know and he stumps you we don't want that so i'm doing this i'm crouch spamming so i'm just crouching then releasing the crouch and when you crouch like that the uh animals don't detect you at least they don't detect you very well what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get up here I'm gonna make him see me, so he's looking at me, and then try and shoot him in the face. Yeah, there I am. There we go. Oh, and the bear is out as well. That's a problem. I might have to kill this bear. Uh, because he's going to be sniffing around. We can do the same thing. And uh, get the bear up here. Let's see if we can do that. That's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, he's going for me. Okay, he gave up. Oh, is he going for me? Uh-oh. This is bad. I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah. That's my only choice. Now we should be good. I also missed an arrow over here. 
we have some cooking to do now. <laughs> so what happened there was that the bear was too close and I didn't have any option other than the tree. So what I did is I exploited the bear's pathing issue. And uh, see I missed an arrow over here somewhere. And used my the tree to make it dodge the um to dodge the bear. So he's trying to go around in circles to catch me. But if you're fast enough, you wait you wait for the bear to come on one side of the tree, and then you immediately run on the other side and turn around, and it does give you a quick opening to uh to shoot him. And you can do that until you kill it. I normally I would just ignore that bear, but he was right here. And I need to cook and harvest the moose. And I can't really risk having the bear around, so. Uh, first things first, we need the hides. Okay, let's get our arrows back. Should be four arrows there. If you click on the carcass, you get it back. Four arrows, there we go. Alright, it is going to take a while to cure as well, so. Let's see, can we make a fire here? I think maybe we can. Here. Yes. Uh, I don't think I can light a torch though, is the only thing. No. We're gonna light a fire here. We'll use this. Uh, I guess. Uh, 85. Mm, yeah, okay, we can we can try that. Priority is to get the hide. But we also want to cook as much as possible. Failed attempt. Wow. Okay, we're gonna use it then. Go. There we go. Let's put one of these on and a bunch of these. Alright. So I'm gonna drop all my uh, food. Do not attract more wolves. Oh, we can eat one, I guess. I might, since the bear is dead now, I might as well take this back to the cave. But I'm going to do it in multitasking style. So we're going to start by harvesting uh, two kilos. Which I am then immediately going to cook. Which takes an hour. Then I'm going to harvest another. Uh, let's use the hacksaw this time. Five kilos. Alright. There we go. Let's drop this here. These are five minutes, all right. Cook that, cook that. And then I'm gonna grab the hide. 36 minutes. That's what we really want. The guts, not so important. We have lots of guts back there. So there we have the hide. 28 minutes. Uh, how long for the bear hide? Gosh, I am really tired as well. If I can harvest the bear as well, I will, but it's a secondary priority right now. 36, okay, that's fine. I think the fire will just barely not go out. If it does go out, then oh, that's a shame, but this what it is. Okay, we're getting very, very tired. But that's okay. What we're going to do, we're going to cook this as long as we can. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. And we could even sleep if we need to. Alright, so here we are. We have these. They are not burned. I don't smell. I can now cook this. And this can still burn for a while. So let's put some more of these on. And let's repeat, rinse and repeat. Uh, we're going to use the hacksaw because it's easier to repair. Uh, but only to a certain degree that I, I might use the knife if necessary. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use the knife this time. We could quarter as well, but we don't really need to do that right now. We're going to get about six kilos of this. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Five minutes. Yeah, cook another one. Leveling cooking, doing this as well. Rinse and repeat. 
you know, if you can't cook all of this, we do want to harvest it. I'm going to use a knife because I can get more out of it. And uh, I want the hacksaw condition. Alright. Let me cook this. And that. Drop this. And repeat. And let's keep doing this. It's barely taking any condition on my knife, so this is fine. And we want the moose meat more than we want the bear meat. Aurora? No, clear night. Uh, hey, carcass four, nice. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Uh, because we can actually eat uh, the moose meat without having to worry about um, uh, parasites. Level four, harvest seventy-five by hand and twenty percent reduction in gut harvesting times and meat harvesting times as well. All right, so let's keep going. Wait. Uh, Put this on, and I think we're getting near the end of this because I'm running out of wood. Oh, that's you now. Uh, it increased by it decreased by three minutes because of that. Put that there, that to cook. All right. Uh, where's my deer meat? I want to eat this. Eat another one. And then let's have a drink. There we go. Uh, excuse me one second. All right. Uh, grab the feathers. Uh, I'm running out of wood. We do have this though. It takes 58 minutes. Mm, that might work. Let's do this as well. And I think we could get the limbs. I was going to be cooking throughout the night, really. Let's see here. Put this on. There we are, 55, 52 minutes. All right. Let's get this. 58 minutes. Uh... Use the hatchet. There we go. Got some more wood. And then we can keep cooking. Might as well, right? Uh, do we need to get uh, some more meat to be had? Alright. Let's put on this. Now we can actually keep grabbing this stuff. There we go. A lot of wolves around, but they shouldn't be an issue. I'm actually getting into the next day here. Wow. Look at all this meat. Daylight's coming. Put another one of these on. And let's grab the rest. Might as well grab a couple of these, seeing as we're doing it anyway. Oh, the wind might be changing. Looks like I made it through another night. Mm, it is changing. Is it blowing out completely? It does seem like maybe. If I'm lucky, I could maybe make a fire over here. Is this protected? It doesn't seem like it. What happens if I do this? I don't think this is going to work, but I'll try. Too windy. Too windy. Okay, well, okay. I was going to grab it over there. I guess not then. <coughs> we got a lot of meat from this. <laughs> a lot of meat. Which is great. Uh, the guts, let's just drop the guts there so we're going to attract wolves. Let's eat that.
Uh, this is... Nah, this could get cooked. It could get cooked. How far are we to level 5 cooking, by the way? That's still a while, okay. Alright, so we're going to, uh, I think, head to the cave and let some things cure there. Put that there, put that there. Nice. And we'll see if we can grab the bear as well, but we need to get some stamina back and whatnot. So how heavy are we? We're kind of heavy, yeah. Let's grab... Um, we'll, we'll grab a few of these things. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yeah, that's, that's all right. That's not too heavy. So there's a bear cave. There's a cave right over there. See that cave right there? We could put stuff in there, but the issue is that... That's probably the bear cave. So we do put stuff there. Then uh, it's possible that the bear will come back. And we'd have to actually kill the bear to access our stuff. And I'd rather not do that. Instead we're going to head now to the cave. We're going to drop all of our stuff there. And we might sleep a little bit. Uh, but not too much. Mostly I just want to have energy to move a bit faster. And then we'll uh, see if we can harvest the bear as well. And in fact, if we see another bear, which we probably will, we could kill that bear as well. Just to have a fourth um, bear hide. That we can use to craft, uh, for example, the bear bedroll. That would be an option. Though it's already daytime, so I don't think I'm going to sleep too long. And I would rather that the bear didn't despawn. But I am going to sleep a little bit. Nope, it doesn't happen. Uh, one reason also is that the... Um, the moose hide weighs a ton. It weighs five kilos. It's really, really, really heavy, the moose hide. So we need to dump it somewhere. And we also need to keep in mind that when we come back, um, we're going to have to uh, carry it. So, actually, how many do I need for the satchel? We need two guts. And actually, we have two guts on us. So, if we're lucky, I don't know if this will work. I don't think enough time will go. But if we come back here, okay. on our way back to Mystery Lake, and if the hide is cured, we could take it to the dam and then make the, the satchel in the dam. <clears throat> and then that will be... Um, then we can just have it there, you know. And that's pretty great. But we'll see. I, I don't know if we'll need... Ten, it takes 10 days to cure. Even if we do lots of cooking and stuff now. I don't know if we'll be gone for 10 days. We'll probably be gone for like... 4 or 5. Not really sure. Anyway, let's go in here. Let's drop these so they can start curing. And then we will... Uh, keep going. Quick, yep. All right, I'm going to drop it a bit further in because it takes nothing for me to enter the cave and then like, oh yeah, here we are. But then I miss it. So let's actually drop them out here. We're going to drop this massive thing. <laughs> and then the bear hide. And then the wolf hides. And then the guts. All right, and then we're going to sleep a bit uh, to Get some stamina back. We're gonna sleep for like that's just five hours. Uh, we're gonna get tired again, which is but it's fine. Um, just want to get some energy back. There we go. All right, and then we can go out here. And then I'm gonna leave uh, food out here, seeing as this is a uh, cave entrance. Let's drop all of this. Eat this little thing. <laughs> We'll drop all of these. Actually, let's map this while we're at it. Yeah. Have a drink as well. 
And now I'm actually actually not heavy, but uh, not that far off. Gonna be much faster. Let's grab some sticks and things. <coughs> and then we can cook and harvest as much as we can, but we might have to leave some of it uncooked here and come back another time. But I would like to cook the bear if I can. I was gonna go to the rural um, store, but seeing as we have so much uh, food, might head to the um, the uh, the farm instead to store some food there. There's yeah, some sticks we're going to grab. Some more fuel. Cold, but not super cold. Lots of sticks, that's good. Uh, grab that. There you go. Alright, I'm not gonna run yet, I guess. Actually, we could run a little bit, because I'm going to get tired cooking the stuff anyway. Most likely. Alright. There's also the wolf to harvest, but the wolf is really not important. Alright. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to harvest the bear. Guts, not so important. It's the food that matters. Just because of carcass harvesting skill. Uh, but also, let's grab some sticks from over here. Also cooking. We can get to the cooking level 5 pretty fast. We're already not that far off, we're like one third of the way there. Cooking, uh, going from cooking level 4 to level 5 is pff, almost as much as going from level 1 to level 4. It's a, uh, it takes a while. There we got quite a few sticks now. And we'll probably use uh we'll probably make a fire by the bear. Assuming he hasn't despawned, I don't think it has. I mean the moose hasn't, so the bear should need that. Nope, he's there. Alright. Oh, it's getting foggy. I hope this isn't a blizzard. I don't think so. I need to find some place to escape this cold. I think it's just foggy and snowy. Uh, no. It's a full-blown blizzard. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab some of these. And place them down here. Drop any of this here. By the bear. Let's also check here quickly. Uh, sometimes there's like snacks and things there. Check the boat quick as well. We got nothing. All right. Grab the feather. They're actually protected here. But it's still too cold. So we could... We could make a fire. And wait this out. In here. Well, I think I'm going to do is... Um, this will stone come or something. I might actually carry this stuff and leave the bear. It is a shame to leave all that meat though, is the only thing. But it's really out there in the middle of the open. Uh, so we could... Tell you what, we're gonna start harvesting the bear. And then see how far we get. So let's try that out. Protected. Checked it. Yeah. Alright. 
Let's see here. Let's see how we can manage this. Because we might be able to cook some of the bear. Uh, I don't really care if I can't cook all of it. I mostly want to just harvest the bear, but I don't miss out on things. I could quarter it, but then the meat bags can also disappear. So I just want to harvest as much as I can. So let's do this. Put sticks on here as well. Uh, maybe put one piece of coal on as well. Put these on. And then uh, let's hope that this works. And the wind doesn't change. It might change, but we'll, we'll try. Eight kilos, we're warming up. Wind hasn't changed yet. All right. Good. Moose, moose first. All right, let's repeat. Uh, is it frozen? Okay, so we can actually switch now to this. It's faster. Let's go. See if the wind, cha the wind changed, unfortunately. I decided to wait it out. It's fine. Uh, how cold am I? Pretty cold. I'm gonna do another kilo of this. Pleasant Valley, Blizzard Valley. Alright, we got a lot of the bear. I think we will head to what's closest. Let's head to the bear cave, and we'll just uh, we'll just wait there. I can't feel my feet. Because I might be able to harvest the rest of it. It is it is resources at the end of the day. I would like to. Uh, let's grab these. Any of these as we can, really. Does not be all of them, I guess, but. That's fine. I just want to lay down for a bit. So let's head back. And we're gonna drop some more meat. And we're, we're actually just gonna sleep, I think, until we're fully rested. And this early in the game, <coughs> when we're still leveling up skills, I don't mind using some matches to start a fire and so on. If this was late game and I already have everything I need, uh, then if I kill a bear like this, I cut it in little pieces, then go warm up somewhere, come back, cut it in little pieces, and I wait for an opportunity uh, with uh, sunlight to save the matches. But this early in the game, I want to harvest as much as I can, level up the skills, cook, and get all the supplies. The thing is, of course, that if I leave the bear, it's close to 40 kilos of meat. And sure, it has parasite risk, but once I get to cooking level 5, that's 40 kilos of meat that's kind of wasted if I don't harvest it. Um, and that alone, uh, with well-fed, is like 15 days uh, worth or so, so it should be, it should be utilized, really. I'm just gonna sleep and then hope that the bear doesn't despawn. Because the bear could despawn. It does happen that carcasses are wiped away in blizzards. In which case, that's it for Mr. Bear. But we just have to try. Uh, there's no point um, like going back and forth, especially when we're tired and starting more fires. What I could have done there when I harvested would be to, ca once I noticed the wind was changing, 
I could have cancelled what I was harvesting and tried to light a fire. It can be done. Uh, like, from a diff certain angle, you can grab a torch and start a new fire, but um, I didn't. I decided not to. Alright, so here. I'm going to drop some more meat. Let's drop most of this. And then we're going to go in here. Do you need to make, make more water at some point? There we go. I can't see anything, but that's okay. We can just do this. Have a drink. <clears throat> and we're just going to sleep here for 10 hours. This it should end. And it did. There we are. Let's eat another one of these. Have a drink. And I'm going to sleep the next two hours as well. Get some more light out there and a bit more energy. <clears throat> and if the bear is still there, we're going to harvest the rest of it. Did it get a blizzard again? Let's find out. Oh, I can't see. Is that a blizzard or is it just bad weather? Ah, oh, blizzard again. Thanks. I'm gonna wait a bit then. Let's see what we got here. We can do a couple minor things. We got some birch, for example, we can craft. And we got rosehip we can craft. Anything else? Let's see. Um, we can harvest this. see we can sharpen some stuff sharpen these let's just do that pass some time We're lucky the blizzard would end but if it doesn't then it doesn't <coughs> let's just keep doing this <laughs> pleasant valley is notorious for its blizzards i never checked but oh, do it end? but supposedly um, you are more likely to get uh, blizzards in Pleasant Valley than other regions. Let's check outside. Sounds like it's windy, but not necessarily blizzard. No, it's a blizzard. <laughs> that happens a lot when you're inside. It sounds like the blizzard's subsiding, but it's not. All right, so that's sharp again. Uh, we can just drop this, I guess. And then we have... Oh, this needs to repair. We could actually just repair it for the sake of bad. I don't think so. We'll, we'll find something that's better. Uh, let's get a couple tinder plugs. And by now, I think we can probably sleep an hour. Let's see if the blizzard ends. If it's going to be two blizzards in a row like that, I think it's very likely that the bear is gone. Let's wait a couple hours and see. Sounds worse now than before. Wait a little bit longer. They're quiet. Did it end? It did. Alright, so we have two blizzards now. And we're going to drop all of these because uh, we're going to go and collect more. And if the bear is still there, we are going to harvest the rest of it. If not, then we're moving on and taking what we can with us to the farm. 
Let's check out this cave quick. I think this is the bear cave. It is the bear cave. So this is where the bear came from earlier. Are we warm in here? Because it's all we can map it. We are warm in here. So let's just quickly map this. Why not? All right, let's see what's happened with the carcasses then. Here we got. Might be some more sticks around after the blizzard. You know, threw down some branches and whatnot. Very, very cold right now. I'm gonna run. So let's see what we got here. Do we have a moose carcass? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Okay, moose carcass is gone. Wolf carcass is still there. But the moose carcass was harvested except for the guts. So that's fine. Let's grab some of these. Just to put them by the fishing hut or something, I don't know. Not out here in the open. I'm not sure I can carry much more. What about the bear carcass though? That's what we want. <clears throat> oh, that's what we want to know. Oh, it's still there. Great. Then we can uh, do some more of that then. That's lucky because they can easily disappear. I've had that happen where I've had uh, I killed a moose and then. The, uh, there was one blizzard, and then the moose was gone. And I still got some stuff here. Alright, then we're going to... Yeah, we got, we got some, some wood. Should be, should be fine. Do we have a coal? We do have a coal. Alright, let's make a fire then. Oh, so cold. And... Keep harvesting the bear. We don't, we'll cook as much of the moose, especially, that we can. But we don't need to have all of it. <clears throat> we just need to make sure we can grab it for later use. And I might I might kill another bear if I see one, particularly here in Pleasant Valley. Just to ensure that that works. I'm gonna grab this, put it there, and I'm gonna make some water. That's half a liter, half an hour. Let's eat one. Let's have a drink for half an hour. And then we can do that then for half an hour. Yeah, four kilos. There we are. Let's boil, let's do that again. 30 minutes, repeat. Oh, now it's, heat, it's warmed up, so. Yeah, we can do that, it's fine. That's fine. Let's do that one more time. Alright. Four kilos, rinse and repeat. And one more time. Four kilos. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's put some more moose meat on here. While we house the rest. Not a lot left. We'll just take the two kilo bits. We'll leave the rest. 46 minutes. I mean, if that's the case, you might as well grab, you know, utilize it to the max and grab some of this wolf as well. Grab the hide, for example. Got your camera. Yeah, you know the wind is picking up. Yeah, it's actually 
I think it's protected by the bear. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do one more. Before this blows out. And... Yeah. We're looking good. We'll take this meat with us as well. Let's see if I can uh, grab some of this uh, wolf meat. Just to level up harvesting, really. <clears throat> this is why you carry a hacksaw, by the way. It's just so much faster uh, when the carcass is frozen. That's what I heard. Uh, a wolf, but I didn't. I'm gonna grab all of this stuff. As much of it as I can. And I'm gonna put it over here. This is like a little mini base. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Shouldn't get wolves stealing this stuff. Because they don't come close enough usually. Let's eat one of these. And let's have a drink. Thirty-six minutes. All right, we don't need this stuff. We can leave it. Let's grab some more of this. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah, the wolf hide we can take to the farm. We don't need to take that back. Let's leave that there. Is there anything else to craft? Well, while we warm up a little bit, we might as well sharpen the knife again once. There we are. That's almost done. Take all of this stuff, we can cook it later. I'm not sure I can carry much more. We have, a, we have a cooking session to do later, for sure. Well, we can always make a fire in the hut, do a fishing session or something. Eight minutes. Grab all of this, just so it's not like laying out there in the open. But yeah, we have a ton of food now, but this is not going to despawn. So even if this uh, goes rotten, because eventually it will, all of this meat will eventually get ruined. It's 17%, for example. But that doesn't matter. If you if you cook ruined meat, it will go up to 51% condition and you can eat it. And even if that gets ruined, if you're level 5 cooking, you won't get poisoning. So you'll be fine. Okay, that's done. I'm going to wait a little bit uh, just to warm up before I move. Let's make some water, shall we? Uh, let's see if we can get this done. Let's put one stick on here, yeah. There we are. Now warmer. Now, let's head to the farmhouse. I'm going to take all of these with me. There's the wolf. Uh, I'd rather avoid the wolf if I can, so I'm going to go around. I'm going to head to the farm anyway. Maybe we'll hunt some rabbits. Maybe he'll snatch one of my meat. He could. Uh, probably won't, but let's see. Ah, he took one. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> well, I don't actually think he took one. He um, when, it, when they take one, they usually run away. Now he's going to kill both of the rabbits, so now we're good. But uh, he went to my last known location, which was there. Alright, so we're going to head to the farm. I was going to go to Thompson's Crossing, but it's not really that necessary right now. Uh, so we're going to head to the farm instead. And then up to the uh, entrance to Tim Wolf Mountain. We don't really need anything in Thompson's Crossing right now. Some misc food there and stuff. Let's sprint because we're getting cold. 
the wolf should not be a problem. We can take these to level cooking. And also the the warm. Uh, sheave the bow. I'll leave the rest, grab these. Oh sips. I don't let's see if the despair is out. Did I say Because if there is a bear here or in the orchard, we could kill the bear and do the same thing just to have the fourth um bear hide for crafting. Rather than having three. I don't see it though. Oh, yeah, it's if it is here it's not out. Well, we might be having a um, orchard bear. See, Pleasant Valley is one of those unusual places with bears. So, <clears throat> most bears have fixed spawns. So every region will have like one, two, or three bears, and they're always the same place. So, for example, in I don't know the Broken Railroad, say. Why did I not pick this up earlier? That's weird. <laughs> Just check this quick. Hmm. All right. Um, broken railroad is like one bear, and the bear is in his cave near the hunter's blind. Well, on Muskeg, there's two bears. One is uh, on the western side, and one is um, on the northern side for example right it's so always the same place they might patrol a large area but they're always around then there's some exceptions like uh, mystery lake for example has four possible bear spawns but you usually only get two of them uh, active so the other two won't be active pleasant valley is the same i think there are seven bear spawns so there's uh, up there, the one we killed by the cave to Mystery Lake. There's one by the rope that we just passed. There's one here in the orchard. There's one up by the plane. There's one to the road leading down towards Milton. There's one by Milton. And there's one in the birch forest. I think that's all of them. So, unless I missed one, that's seven possible bear spawns. Actually, there's one actually near the cave on the east side of mystery lake cave as well okay so there's eight i think so that would make it eight possible bear spawns uh, or bear caves rather uh, but uh, you'll only probably have four of them active in any given run so you're not gonna have um eight bears around you know so we need to figure out which one which ones are active Okay, so I've been here, I looted everything, and uh, it doesn't look like I left anything really, but this is because this is where I spawned. Um, did I leave anything like in here? Yeah, I did. What's in here? Alright. Oh, we got some shoes and things. And that, yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Let's uh, drop this. And then I think that's it. Um, yeah. That's going to break, but that's all right. I might actually repair. We are going to get better ones, pretty sure. But I might actually repair that. Let's uh, how is this? Uh, the gloves. They are terrible gloves, but just so it, just so they don't break. I'll just repair them, and then we have them until necessary. That's, that's good enough. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to keep moving. We could stay here, but I'm just, I just want to cover as much distance as I can. So I'm going to head back out. Let's just quickly see again if the bear is out here. Doesn't look like it. No. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head towards the uh, rope heading to Tim Wolf Mountain. But uh, we'll stop. Uh, more wolves. Let's uh, try and go around. We'll stop to sleep in probably Draft Dodger's cabin. 
If he can make it, we'll go to the bunker. I don't think we're going to go that far. So we're basically going back now to where we started. This is where we spawned. When the run started, we spawned here. In Pleasant Valley, rather. And we went all the way to the plane. And we got all of that sorted. Uh, all the clothes and things. And then we went here to the farm, and then to the barn, and then, then to the Mystery Lake, and full Muskeg. Craft stuff. Now we're heading back here, but we're going to go through it. If we get through this area very fast, we could head to Coastal Highway, get the stim and stuff, but I don't see the point in that. We're going to have the bow up in case the wolf tracks us. We don't really want that, so let's keep going. I can't feel my um, hands. Let's see. Wolves are around. We're getting cold also, but we have quite a lot of health, so getting a little bit cold and taking some damage should be fine. Yeah. Got a nice starry sky. Look at that. It's a goddamn freezing. We could run a little bit, I don't know if it makes a difference. Utilize the meter while it's still here. Could we make it to the bunker? I guess we could. Oh, Aurora is out. Yeah. I would, I would say no, oh, cool. that's my follow thing. I uh, I turn those things off for my videos, but sometimes they go through anyway, which is weird. I think we might actually do a little high risk thing here. We're going to head to the bunker. Mostly because um, it's, we have a lot of health. We uh, are not far away. And there's an aurora out now. And it would be interesting to see. So on my main runs, I very rarely go out during an aurora. Because you have no need to. It's just more dangerous, you know. During the Aurora, the animals can detect you from further away. So all animals actually, when the Aurora effect triggers, the animals despawn, which might not happen right away, but there will be a transition point where even if you're looking straight at a deer or a moose or rabbit, it just poof, just vanishes. So when the Aurora hits, the, all the animals despawn and then Aurora bears and wolves are put in its place. And there's a misconception that Aurora animals do more damage. And it, they might, but there is nothing to suggest that they do. I haven't seen that in any case. Um, but what they do is that they are more persistent. They can detect you from further away. They track you and follow you for longer. And, most importantly, you can't scare them off. That's Nora Wolf up there. He was trying to get to me, but the cliff was in the way. Yeah, so... If I throw a torch, or use the torch and stone trick, trick or whatever, with a wolf, not gonna work. They are going... they're, they're gonna ignore it. Flare won't work. Even marine flares don't work on Aurora Wolves. So if you are encountering one, it's pretty much just them or you. There are some exceptions. Uh, a flare pistol, um, the shot from the flare pistol shouldn't deter a Aurora Wolf, although I have seen it happen. I'm not sure that's a bug or it's a chance. But of course, if you if you hit the wolf with the flare shell, they could uh, flee because they're injured. Uh, but that's about it. The only reliable exception that I've seen, unless they have patched it, is the noisemakers. If you go to Blackrock and find a recipe for noisemakers and you make noisemakers, you you they actually work on aurora wolves. Uh, I have done it. 
and uh, it works. I'm not sure why, but it, it does seem to work with the raw wolves, interestingly. So that's one thing, but normally if you come across an raw animal, it's pretty much done with you. Okay, I'm gonna stand here a bit. And just warm up a little bit by crafting this stuff. I lost quite a lot of health there, even though I am actually warm. Uh, it's it's kind of like he can't make up his mind. What if I do this? Yeah, ba barely anything. Right, we're gonna keep going. Doesn't matter if we lose health. We also have a uh, herbal tea we can drink if you want to. Might as well use them. But I'm gonna keep going. There's nothing really to loot here because the. Um, the Aurora uh, is out, and we've been here before. So what's nice about the Aurora, we can see everything, but we have been here before. We spawned and went there right away, which was great. We got lots of uh, clothing, but because we have looted everything and there's nothing really to do here, we uh, if if I hadn't spawned here, if this was not my spawn in the, in the first video, then... If this was me now, I would definitely stop it and loot all of this stuff, you know, all of this. Uh, what I would then do... Wow, look at that. Amazing. The scenery in this game is just incredible. Uh, if that was the case, I would have gone here, and I would have probably made a fire in the cave, warmed up, and then I would have gone here to... Uh, to loot all of it. Alright, let's see if the bear is out, because this is a possible bear spawn as well. If he is, I will maybe kill it. Uh, but I don't think there is a bear spawn. Mm, I don't see one at least. So we're taking some cold damage now, also fatigue damage, but not a lot. Well, I'm going to get to the bunker, I'm going to sleep there. Recover health, go to Timwolf Mountain. But we'll be fine. If the bear is above this hill, that would be bad. Oh, I have the wind against me, that's annoying. Let's actually eat one of these. And also have a drink. Oops, no, 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 not that one. <laughs> this one. Uh, just because I'm a bit lighter, I went from 31 to 29, so I think might be walk slightly faster. Let's see if we can get to the um, edge here, then I'll be faster as well. Yeah. We might as well check the blind over here, the hunter's blind. There should be a corpse here as well. I'm actually taking a lot of damage doing this. Um, so what would be a good idea here would be to have a break, like in the cave in the, uh, by the plane. Warm up a bit, maybe heat up some teas, cover more distance. But you see, when I play, I tend to play very greedily. Uh, I try not to take risks that are lethal, but I'm happy to take risks that you can recover from. So in this case, unless the bear is right in front of me now, which is unlikely, I've only seen it happen once. I should be fine. Uh, there shouldn't be a... Uh, th there might be a wolf around. I'm pretty confident I can kill the wolf. And I'm taking cold damage, but I can heal that cold damage back up. So because of that, even if I end up with low health, I'm not that worried about taking the damage. I just see it as another one of my meters that can be replenished. So, uh, therefore I'm doing this. And another reason is that the Timberwolf uh, region... Uh, oh, I'll just grab this, yeah, why not? The Timberwolf uh, region, like the entrance to it, requires a rope climb. So we're going to have to be fully... have full energy to, um, to climb up that. So it's nice to be able to sleep next to the rope. But yeah, we're going to go to the bunker. The only bunker on Interloper. So on the lower difficulties, if you're playing like Stalker and below, 
Uh, you can find uh, bunkers, like hidden bunkers, the caches, you know, which are going to have food, weapons, guns, medicine, and so on. And there's one in uh, Pleasant Valley, there's one in Mystery Lake. Uh, supposedly there's one in Black Rock as well. I'm not sure, but I think I think so. But here in uh, in Inglobe, you don't have that. There's only this one, which is a permanent bunker. Very, very easy to miss, because if you approach it from this side, then you just see, like, <clears throat> you just see these uh, destroyed houses here. And then you see these limbs, and you think, oh, that's it, you know. But then you don't realize there's a bunker behind it. I'm going to grab this wood. I might use it. I'm just going to do this after, but seeing as I'm here, grab this. Take the container. I prefer me as halfway, okay. So you don't really see it, like, oh, where's the rope? Well, onwards I go, I guess, you know. But you can go here. And then the bunker's right here. I think there will be light lights in there. Oh, here's the Aurora Wolf. Where are you? There you are. Look at you glowing so nicely. Psych. <laughs> Alright, we got the uh, Aurora lights. Nice. Alright, so... You might, on lower difficulties, you should check behind these things. Because there can be a uh, revolver and stuff there. Let's check the lockers and everything. Very often, many of these are locked. So, you should have a pry bar if you can when you get there. Uh, chips. Wouldn't say no some gloves. Nothing else. Book. Take these. I'm actually, we might take the book. That's pretty much There's not much loot in here, to be honest. A little bit. But there's one hidden loot thing that a lot of people don't realize, which is this grate. And on Intlobe, I never found anything in there. But on low difficulties, I found stuff like a bullet and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that needs curing or whatever? I don't think so. So let's just sleep. Let's recover some health. Oh, wait. I shouldn't. I was meant to drink this. Yeah, but now I'm not thirsty, so. But that's okay. We could sleep. Uh, we can do this. We can, we can do it in reverse. So we sleep two hours. <clears throat> And then we drink the herbal tea. Here we get the restore uh, effect. So now we, we can check, actually, if you like. We, at the moment, have 48% health. We went from 46 to 48 by sleeping. So 48. And then we're going to sleep for 10 hours. And normally, this would give us 32% health. So that would put us at 80% health. But it should be higher than that. It should be like 90 something, 95. Not sure exactly. Uh, so we are at 86. Yeah, so we went from 46. Sorry, yeah, we would have normally gone from 46 plus 32, which is not 80. It's 78. So normally we get 78% now. But because we drank the herbal tea, we went to 86. So we gained another 8% health. So we're at 86 now. So that's good. This is why I wasn't particularly bothered about losing health going about. Exactly because of this. Alright. Uh, that's good. We're not heavy or anything. Let's continue. I'm going to bring the stuff that I looted to the mountainous hut. Alright. And then up here we go. We're going to climb up here. We should be able... There is a ledge, but we should be able to do this in one go. Because we are fully rested. Full sprint meter. Should be an issue. Hello there, crows. And here we are. Easy. How much wood do I have? I actually have those as well, yeah. We can grab a few more sticks. 
still kind of cold, so I am going to sprint a bit. Just to get there a bit faster. <clears throat> and then we are in Timberwolf Mountain. A lot of people are a bit scared of Timberwolf Mountain. Particularly because it's got the name Timberwolf in it. <laughs> but I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, it's a great region, actually. One of my favorite regions to just stay in. Because the base is amazing. The base is technically like a cave. So it's not the warmest of bases because it has an outdoor element to it. So you need to, it's only really, the mountain itself is only really a good base if you have good enough clothing to support yourself staying there and sleeping there if there's a blizzard and you don't have any fires, for example. <clears throat> but assuming you have that, it's a great base because right next, uh, you're close to Pleasant Valley if you need to leave, but uh, you have a fishing hut right next to you. So you can go fishing if you need to do that. Uh, right outside your base is a, a rabbits and wolves and there is a deer nearby on the lake as well so so and an, and a moose spawn that is possible right next to you as well and um if it's not there it's by the wing and there's a bear so basically all the animals other than timber wolves are all right there uh, next to the hut uh, or very close to it. So you got everything you need, and you got uh, you got the wood. So it's it's extremely sustainable base. Mountain is up, but you need to have good enough clothing because if if your clothing isn't good enough, um, if you sleep at night and a blizzard hits and you don't have enough clothing, you could uh, start getting cold. Seeing as it's kind of like. It's kind of like being in a cave, the warm part of the cave. There's a warmth bonus in there. Are you still technically outside? So you could get cold. Let's see if we have another moose. Uh, yep, this is the moose spawn. Uh, so I don't know if I want to kill the moose if I see it though. I don't really need to kill the moose. Um, then we have to spend another two days harvesting it and cooking it. Sounds like it's up. Should we kill the moose? Maybe we should. The respawn times are much faster. Um, it is here. <clears throat> Maybe we should, because a moose can take uh, 40, 50 days to respawn. When you're late game, it can take much, much longer, like uh, 100 plus days. So maybe we should take advantage of this. And uh, what I think I want to do... I wonder if I can get the moose to come to the cabin. Then I can cook it there. So let's see if I can do that. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it to run. Can I get it to run this way? Okay, it ran the wrong way. That's all right. Let's see if I can get it to charge me. And then I run up there, for example. I sprint up there. This is a risky tactic. I'll be careful doing this. Let's see if this works. This could backfire, but we're going to try. I just want to get it closer to the base. Eh. Oh, you really don't care, do you? <laughs> hmm. We could try scaring it some more, I guess. this works there you go We 
you coming down here? Oh, he's just running on. Oh, okay. The idea was to make him walk back. Okay. Let's just kill him then. It wasn't really worth the tactic. I'll kill him the normal way. What I was thinking of doing was trying to get him close to the cabin, but I don't think it's going to work. We can try, but I think he's going to just randomly run the wrong, uh, run the wrong way. Uh, but we can see. Yeah, maybe we can we can try to bait him, get him closer, but I don't think it's going to work. Try one more time. Uh, he's just running pretty much random. I mean, I'll kill him after. Let's go to the um, to the hut. We got a fire. That's good. A fire. Uh, sunlight. Okay. I think I'm going to kill the moose because we're not in a hurry as such. And I want to utilize the fact that the moose is up and we're in the early game because then I can have a supply base here. So let's hop in here first, warm up a little bit, and let's take what we got here of stuff. Anything we don't need, we can put here. Sardines behind there. Ski jacket. Anything there's a mag lens there. Second mag lens right there. I'll take it. Now I have two of those. These matches are always there. They're always there. Take this for the moose. Take this. Hoodie. Aquapore. Alright. Grab that, grab that. Anything here? No. Okay, let's put some stuff in here. So we don't need this or this right now anyway. Uh, Maglens, so I guess we can carry that, that's fine. We don't need these. Uh, we don't need the hoodie. This one's worse. We'll put that away too. Uh, what else? We can put these in there too. Wow, they're quite heavy actually. Surprisingly heavy. What's so heavy? Is it the wood? It's the wood, yeah. Alright. Let's have some food. And some water. And then we're actually going to go and kill the moose. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that the moose is here now. And then let's drop this. Alright. We can also put this cloth in here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Let's go kill the moose. Uh, since it's here... The moose can take a very long time to respawn. And in early days like these, like pre day 50, so cold. Uh, the moose oh, respawn yeah. time is shorter. Which means that from a long term perspective, I can have more resources. And it's good to have kind of a base in every region. Like, you can go back to, and you always have supplies here. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. He's up there for some reason. <coughs> Why are you up there? <coughs> Come back down here. Don't run up now, please. Oh, God. If you... I've tried figuring out if there's a pattern to that, but there doesn't seem to be one. Sometimes it will turn around and it will run exactly where, you, where the stone landed. Sometimes it will do the opposite. It doesn't seem to be a pattern to that. Not that I figured out at least. <coughs> Alright. Alright, Moosey. We're gonna just kill you up here then. Seems this is okay. Not the greatest actually. I think you can get up here easily. Uh, actually, yeah, this will be alright. We can jump down. Hi, Moose. There we go. Grab my arrow. 
cows. Do you see how I aimed in front there? You should always utilize the time between the charge and when it gets to you. So I was predicting where it was going to be and then I timed it. Invalid is a little bit too steep, I think. This isn't that steep though. This should should be possible to get a campfire here somewhere. But really, is it that far? All the way up here. Doesn't look that steep. Okay, well, what about over here? How about like right here? Yeah. Over here. Yeah, we can we can do it here. Make a weird fire. We have uh, sunlight, so we're going to use our mag lens. The mag lens doesn't deteriorate. Fire. As long as you have the mag lens, you have infinite fire. <clears throat> we don't really need the moose side unless you want to make the cloak. And I like to have... Uh, I like to have a moose hide cloak made that I keep, I keep one in Timwolf Mountain and one in Mystery Lake. Uh, the reason being that when I go to Bleak Inlet or Black Rock, I very often switch my um, clothing to moose hide and wolf coat. Because you want protection rather than warmth, because those regions are very dangerous in terms of animals and they tend to be very cold as well. <coughs> Alright, oops. So while we harvest, we're going to make water. And I'm guessing that this is going to be out of reach of the warmth. Yep. There is a trick you can use though. How cold am I over here? Quite quite cold. But there's a trick trick you can use because the you get a warmth bonus with the torches. And they actually stack. So in theory, you could throw like, whatever that would be, five, five or six of these. And then that should actually work. I need, we need one or two more. I need one more. Oh yeah, see? We're actually warming up. Isn't that a silly little trick? So let's grab uh, some of this. Uh, two kilos is what we need to begin at least. But we can take... we can take... four kilos. <coughs> and then we get colder as the torches blow up. There, the torches blew out. I see. <laughs> see how that worked? <laughs> Silly, isn't it? That's one way you can do it. And now we're going to do this. This is a weird campfire if I ever made one. Uh, this campfire isn't that warm, so we're going to put this on and a couple of these. And then while we need to warm up and do this in kind of segments, so we're going to do this. Craft this. To warm up. Of this too. Now we're warm enough. 22 minutes. And let's grab two kilos then. Go back. We'll grab some more. Uh, it's not as cold now because it's later in the day and it's clear, but still. Uh, let's do three kilos, see how cold we get. Uh, should be fine. Yeah. Uh, let's warm up a bit. Oops, that was done. My bad. And repeat. See, can I? There we are. Now we're not particularly co cold because of the shelter. So now we can do something like this. 
Big skittles. Uh, maybe still get cold. Uh, no. Oh, we got it. Let's eat this. We're basically setting up a supply base now. A drink as well. And we'll take what we can back to the mountainous hut. Shelter is a little bit cold. We can't do as much. Three kilos, maybe. Also, now it's uh, frozen, so we can't use the knife anymore. I mean, we can, but it takes forever. Warm up. It's repeating now. How long is this got? Like an hour still. There's a weird fire, but it's just the only position that really worked. <laughs> right, let's keep going. We could probably harvest all of this. I don't know if we can do that much before getting cold. It's dusk, so I can't be far behind. Oh, we can do another kilo at least. <laughs> Got a minor mistake there because I harvested some. I left the other uh, behind. Uh, let me explain what I, I did. There was this minor mistake. Basically what happened there is I harvested some of the moose and then I continued harvesting it. The issue is that when I started harvesting, I didn't have any scent on me, but now, now I have three stink lines. If I drop these, I have none. But the issue was that because I had those stink lines and then I initiated another harvest, I'm actually smelling while harvesting and that could have attracted a wolf. So that was a mistake. Uh, there was a chance there that a wolf would find me. We're not far from our base here, so this is good. Again, we don't need to cook all of this, we're just going to cook as much as we can. Let's get all of this. This could last three kilos. Then we'll get the hide as well. And we might get the guts just because um, uh, how long is that? Let's see. Takes 32 minutes. Oh, okay, well in that case we can do it now. <coughs> it's really heavy the hide. All right. I'm going to do the guts. We need to warm up a bit first. Uh, so let's do that. There we are, 45. And then we'll harvest the guts. At least as many as we can, so that will be Three maybe. We could quarter it, I guess. I'm gonna get tired, but that's alright. Five minutes. Let's eat one. Have a drink. Have that. Put that down here. And let's keep cooking this stuff. Nine minutes. All right, let's see if we can get the rest of the guts, or at least some of the guts. So many of these guts. The two first. Now we can do another one or two. We don't need them really, but it's just a nice source of guts. Yeah. 
Getting all this cooking done. And might as well keep going. Uh, three. I think it should be fine, or barely not fine. Yeah, there we are. Glitchy moose. Alright, 25 minutes, let's warm up. Cooked. Getting all of this cooking done. We actually might be able to cook all of it, or close to all of it. It's going to be morning soon. The two. Nice little supply of guts here. Do another one. Let's check quick. Yeah. And put that here. As long as I tab out this, make sure I am recording. Probably gonna be the last one there. Yeah, let's do this. Get all the guts as well. I get some carcass skill as well. Nice. I think. Or did we level carcassing? Carcass housing? No. Uh, I can do like this. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this, past time. And now the wind is picking up anyway. We'll grab this. And then what we're going to do, we're going to grab as much of this as we can. Have a drink. But we don't want to be too heavy. We're going to, but we're going to grab all of this and smell to high hell. I'm gonna grab as much of this as we can. So 32, so we can probably take like maybe seven on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not too heavy. And um, we're not going too far either. Uh, we do stink though, so the wolves will smell us. And probably they're going to attack us. We'll see. Just gonna sort something out while I'm. Oh, that was, uh, I initially wasn't going to kill the moose because we already killed a moose and we have the hide. But when it's this early, it's it's good. It's, a, it's actually a good rule to have, which is that whenever you see a moose, you should kill it. Because on Interloper, you're not going to find a moose in every region. There'll be a few that don't have it. But let's say you find it in eight regions or something. That means that it, uh, if you kill all eight, you know, you have lots of food in that region for later. Um, so you have supplies in that region for when you come back. But it's going to take a while before it respawns. So on my main run, where I'm over day 1000, it takes over 100 days for a moose to respawn. It takes quite a long time. So it's always uh, worth killing them when you see it. And in the early game, it's the opposite. It could respawn much, much faster. So it's definitely worth doing it then. Just to get... Um, okay. Just to have the supplies. I mean, we're leveling cooking. And we're leveling carcass harvesting at, at the same time. And, and archery, of course. So it is worth doing it to, to get all the experience. And most importantly, the, the main reason you want to do it... The first move is to get the, the satchel. But the reason you want to do it after that is to get um, the supplies. It's There's so much food in a moose compared to uh, anything else, except for maybe bears, that it's worth doing it. Just for your uh, security. There we are. Uh, there's some more of that, so let's drop all of this here. Go inside. 
gonna drop our hide here. Gonna drop all of these here. And there we are. Nice and that nice. 36%. <laughs> Don't have a lot of condition left there. Uh, right. Okay, we're going to go, sleep, but as you can see, it's cold, but I think we should be alright. I'm going to sleep two hours, though. <clears throat> and after that, the, uh, it should be warm enough to sleep, I think. Alright, uh, let's sleep another... I don't want to sleep ten hours, I don't think that's necessary. We'll sleep, like, five hours. And then I'm going to go collect the stuff and bring it here. Yeah, that's good. Maybe sleep one more hour. Okay, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to become a fairy. <laughs> and just bring stuff. So first things first, let's have a drink. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drop a bunch of heavy stuff. So I'm going to drop uh, even my clothing because it's uh, I'm going to get cold anyway. And I'm going to drop anything that's heavy. So that's this, 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 that, these. And I guess that's it. So now we're cold, but we're very, very light. And, oh, hello. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, we can kill him, I guess. He's gonna be in our way. He's been following the scent. Hey, wolf. Come over here. Yeah. Okay, fine. I did this to lower my... Um, my weight so I can carry more stuff. I want to get all the meat up here. But one issue is that uh, I have less protection now. I, I brought my... I don't have any uh, defense against wolves either. So, ideally, you'd want to not do this. You'd want to rather um, have your hatchet with you, at least. I'm going to kill this wolf. Because I'd like it if the wolf didn't bother me later. I'm going to kill him. When you're this close, you need to aim actually a little bit under the wolf like this. <clears throat> That's because of trajectories. Uh, the bow is uh, it's not complicated, but it takes a while to wrap your head around it, so... <clears throat> the bow is a trajectory or projectile weapon. But it works just like a gun. Like, if you... Imagine that you have a gun, and you have a scope on the gun. And then you're shooting at something that's like right next to you, like one meter away from you. If you aim down the scope... You're not actually going to hit where you're aiming because the scope is much higher than the barrel. But when you're at a distance, that gets nullified, you know, by the design of it. The bow is kind of the same. So when you are very close, that's integrated into the design of the the bow. So when you are very close, if you aim straight at, straight at something, uh, it doesn't always hit. So you need to aim slightly under it and then you fire up. It, the, the bow will always shoot upwards in like an arc. So you always want to aim slightly, when it's very, very close, aim slightly under where you want to hit, and then it will shoot upwards into the target you want. If it's medium distance, close medium, then you aim at where you want to hit, and you'll hit that. If it's far away, you have to aim over them. So there's like a, there's a system for that. Okay, I'm going to grab all of this. The reason I dumped everything I had is because now I picked all of this up and I'm still not heavy. I can even take all of this. The only issue is that I stink now. So I want to make my way back ASAP. Because uh, I don't want to encounter any wolves here. Uh, I made a minor mistake. I kind of rushed it. Uh, but I left all of my weapons back there also. Uh, a better thing to do would be to bring the hatchet. So even though I left everything, uh, I still have some life. I have my bow and I have a hatchet. So if I did end up in a wolf struggle, I probably would survive. But right now, uh, if I ended up in one, I could die. <coughs> because I don't have any weapons. There we are. We're going to 
drop this. And I'm not gonna fight this guy. Except for... Oh, yeah. I changed my mind in an instant. See again how I aim slightly under him there? But I changed my mind there because... Uh, I went inside and it triggered a howl. And when they enter a howl, the wolf get kind of stuck in that animation until it's done. So you might as well... Um, you might as well take advantage of it and get rid of the wolf. So we have lots of moose meat, including things we need to cook. There we are. There we are, that's the moose harvested. How about that? Let's grab all of this stuff. There we go. Put that back on. There we are, nice. And we're doing well. It's actually quite cold, so we're going to have to... I would like to cook the rest, but I'm not sure that's possible. How are we doing with cooking? Halfway there. It still takes takes a while to do. Ah, oh, she's level 3 though. That's good. How is my condition? 32. Let's harvest this. And let's do this. And I think we'll just wait until the morning and get some health back. If the weather's clear, which it isn't, how much wood do I have? I do have some. I could maybe cook the uh, the rest of the meat. I would need to get some wood, more wood for that though. Let's maybe do that. Uh, let's grab some sticks and things. Crystal Lake, yep. Yeah. And then we can cook, because we, we also need water. So we need to make a fire anyway. We might as well uh, God, cook freezing. while we're at it. Yeah, it has loads of sticks. That's good. Grab all of that. And more sticks, nice. There's also a crate we can break down. sticks uh... no we can't use those let's head back down uh, it has some more uh, this area is a little bit buggy with sticks and branches and things that's something that's notorious here that um, things like sticks branches limbs that they can just vanish like you could be out there and there's nothing then you turn your back and you turn back uh, around again and now they're all out, uh, or they disappear. You know, so it, it's a little bit buggy. Uh, this this particular area is prone to it for some reason. I'm not sure why. It just works like that. Uh, I might harvest this wolf, but I need warmth first. We got a lot of sticks now, that's good. Nice. And now we got lots of wood. And I think we can justify using a match here. Oops. There we go. So let's light a fire. And then we can make some water, we can cook some food, and just like prepare for the next day basically to head to Ash Canyon. Come on, little fire. And also a benefit of killing the moose and spending some time cooking. Perfect. Which is spending longer time. Um before you get back and things will be cured. So I wanna make uh, some water. And I'm just going to grab all this stuff. 
not a lot of it actually. And let's do this. Is there anything to craft? I don't think so. Or break down? No. So we're just gonna wait for this to melt. Make another one. And while I'm warm, I'm gonna head out here. Grab this wolf. In particular this. Yeah, I get a little bit cold, but it's okay. Drop this here. Boil this well. That is cooked. We can make another fire. Another water, sorry. And then we can go out and maybe harvest some of this wolf. Need the knife. Oh, actually it's frozen now, is it? No, not yet. So we can use this. Yeah, let's do that. Two kilos. And we have even more meat here, if necessary. And then we repeat. Make more water, warm that up. Oh, did I not? Oops. There we go. That again. And then we head back down here. We don't need the guts. We got a lot of guts from the moose, so... I think we can take the whole thing. It's always good to try to avoid letting things go to waste. It's not always possible because you're busy and you can't stop and harvest or whatever. And sometimes also, especially in the late game, the wolves will just like attack you and then you kill them and... You know, they're more of a nuisance than anything. But in general, generally speaking... Uh, you want to be able to maximize everything. Water. Oh, we can make one more of these. Let's just do that. I'll take that. And then there was a small one. Which one was that? That one. Perfect. Let's have... Uh, let's eat this. The carnivore meat... Uh, so the wolf meat is now pretty much just there for something to eat later because I have so much uh, of the moose meat and all that stuff. All right, let's just drop this here. And let's Sounds break... Like that's, uh, 29. All right, let's break down these crates. We can use this wood. Another one here. Oops, I didn't mean to use the hatchet for that, but well. That's cooked. Practically cooked. These two on. Nice. That on. Ah. And let's uh, sharpen. Let's close the door in case. In case a wolf shows up. Let's sharpen these. The wet stones are there for a reason, so I might as well use them. Let's just get it all up there. And let's do the same thing here. There we go. How's this looking? Six minutes. Do that. Then we have wolf meat to cook. And then that's it. Uh, wood. I can break this down. 20 minutes. Do it. Alright. Yes. 
grab that. And there we are, it's the last of the cooking. There we go. And let's just wait. Uh, let's actually also, I might drink some, make some birch tea. I'm just gonna let this pass here. Uh, let's also quickly make some birch tea because I might drink it. I'm going to bed and also I'm going to make a herbal tea. Double that. There we are. Let's go outside as well. And here, and I can drop this. And then we do this. And they are done. Take that. Can I do this actually? Let's try. No. I'm gonna wait till that's out. Because I wanna see. Grab that actually. Let's put it in here. We don't need that much of it, so. Uh, sure, like that. All right, so how's the temperature? Four degrees. A uh, little bit risky, but I'm going to. I'm not going to drink the herbal tea just yet. I'm going to drink some of these. Recover a bit more health. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's hot, really, because it's not going to last that long. And then we sleep for. Let's try. Mm, let's try two hours first. And we can see what the temperature is. It's four and five. Does it get colder? It should. Yeah, it's two and five. This is why I didn't sleep ten hours. It might work, might not. So I'm going to drink. I'm going to restore health via these things instead. They're easy to come by and we're going to go to Ash Canyon soon anyway. I'm going to get a bunch more of these. I'm going to sleep now for four hours. How about now? All right, now it's even colder, but it's still good. Let's drink the last one too. Yeah, yeah and then we can sleep two hours. I think we can probably sleep six hours now because it's going to get warmer very soon. I'm going to start with two. I don't get the sleep multipliers. If you don't know that, the longer you sleep, the more you regenerate. And I'm bypassing that because... I would, I would say Norway is pretty cool. Uh, because of uh, the risk of getting cold. Thank you, LadiQ, for the follow. Let me see if I can turn that off again because it shouldn't be on. That's a bit annoying. Uh, okay, I disabled them again. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, let's sleep another two hours. I get fully rested before we leave. Yeah, now it's good. We can sleep another three hours now. All right, there we are, fully rested. We are good, we are good to go. One sec. All right. Do we still have the benefits? No, we don't. All right, so let's uh, prepare for the journey a little bit. Let's, uh, mm, yeah, let's eat this. There we go, let's have a drink. Look how much water we drank. Also, I made teas out of it. So, there we go. We are good. And we're going to leave all this stuff. Let me actually make a note in case. Um, yeah, we can leave that. But let's just put some notes here. So, main base, camp, office. And then we'll just put, like, uh, hide, securing in MLPVK. cave. Uh, moose, hide, wolf, hide, guts, and uh, lots of meat in... Right. 
there isn't really a base in Pleasant Valley yet. Like, the farm is not really a base at the moment. All right, so we're going to head to Ash Canyon now. We're going to take the Ek Ravine route. And I'm going to bring some of these with me. We have the space for it. I'm going to take quite a few of them, actually. Just to ensure that we have food. It doesn't really matter that we smell. We can just shoot anyone that has a problem with that. Uh, we're going to have to get past the bear that's over here. I haven't actually checked over here. I don't think. And... Oh, wool took. Nice. Uh, slightly better than the one I got. We'll put that on. We'll save the other one. And how heavy am I? Oh, soup. Nice. I might take this just for wood. Yeah, all right. There's the wolf. Don't mind me, Mr. Wolf. Go for the deer instead. There we go. Go for it. National Geographic there. Let's go. <laughs> Use it as bait. It will probably manage to kill that there because it will get, be cornered eventually. Alright, we're gonna head this way. I don't. I need a couple sticks, but we have. Have the reclaimed wood. Let's see if the bear is out. I could kill it. Yeah, uh, to have the fourth Come bear hide. But I think at this stage, I don't think it's necessary. It's gonna take too long. So if I kill this bear. Take the hide, leave it in Timwolf Mountain, like, in, in, sorry, I always say Timwolf Mountain Hut, but it's Mountain Air Hut. Let's say I do that. Uh, we're not going to spend that long in Ash Canyon. We're going to get, depending on how long we take and the weather and stuff, like two to, uh, let's say five days. Let's say five days max is what we take, right? That means that the bear hide is only going to be halfway cured by the time I get back here. And that means that if I want to use it, I then have to carry it back to Mystery Lake. And it's not going to cure while I'm carrying it, so it's only going to cure while I'm maybe sleeping on the way. Uh, so I can't actually use it. Now, I arguably though, when I get to Mystery Lake, everything else will be cured. So while I'm crafting the bear coat and the satchel and this and that, I can uh, then it will cure while I'm doing those activities and then I can make it. So I could do that, but I think we killed enough uh, things for now. And in fact, in Ash Canyon here, if I see another moose, I'm not going to kill it because I already have so much supplies and I would like to get back to Mystery Lake and start crafting some of the other things. And then once I have the other things like the bear coat and moose hide satchel and whatnot, I can then come back and start conquering the regions. Right now we're kind of just passing through. We're kind of passing through the regions, picking up the main loot and finding the biggest items. And then we're going to come back. This, this isn't the scouring stage where you go and loot everything. That's something you do after you're well established. So uh, I'm going to kill the fourth bear that I want for um, another bear coat or the, the, the bedroll. I will kill it later in Mystery Lake or something. So we're going to do that. And here in the moose, uh, I, the, the, the issue with the moose here in, in Ash Canyon. There we are in Ash Canyon. The issue with this moose is that the both spawns are quite far away from, from Anglis Den. So if I have the rope to Homestead's Respite, which is up here, I could... Um, put down the rope and kill the moose here and go up and down. 
But in Angles, then uh, it, it's too far away, so I have to kind of hold it back and forth, and I can't be able to do that right now. There's the shortcut down. Well, there's many shortcuts, but this one's easy. There's a bunch of uh, cattails here, but we don't really need it because we have so much food. So I'm gonna just focus on getting to Angles then ASAP. Uh, we could take a shortcut. Uh, we could up there to Homesteaders Respite, which is right there. You can't get up there without a rope. The rope bank is right there. So you need to go up there and then grab the rope and attach it. However, there is a shortcut to get up there, which which could be done. It's uh, not uncommon. Uh, oh, accelerant. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go through um, Angler's Den. But I'll show you where, where it is. So, anything here? No. Sometimes a storm lantern. Here, there's usually a piece of coal. Yeah, alright. Let's also see if we can see the moose, if the moose spawn is uh, up in this region. Uh, but I don't think we're going to kill it. Uh, if I run into the moose in Mystery Lake when we get back there, I will kill that. But uh, other than that, uh, no. Alright, if you want to take the shortcut up there, because you can do it. See the slope here? This slope. You go up this slope, basically follow the white snow all the way as high as you can, and then you get up here. Then what you do, you just hug the wall and go left and hug it and you'll go on the slope like this. You go on the slope like this. You end up down here. You go up in slopes. Uh, over here and over here. And then you end up over here on this edge. And you go down over here. And then you end up here. You can walk up there. And then you're on the ledge. And then you can just go over to... Oh, says respite. That's how you do it. It's, it's not that difficult to do. If you try it, you'll probably manage on your first or second attempt. Uh, if you really want to know how to do it, and you're not sure, just do a pilgrim. Start a pilgrim run, choose this as your spawn, run over here and practice. But I'm going to take the, uh, let's call it the vanilla route. Oh, I got wolves after me. Go away. <clears throat> now I'm going to ignore the wolves, if I can. And just head to Angler's Den. But yeah, there's a lot of shortcuts like that in the game. You'll see me use some of them now and then. Sometimes I show them for demonstration purposes. Other times I use them. It varies. Alright, in this area in Angler's Den. Angler's Den. Uh, Ash Canyon. There used to be wolf barriers where the wolves couldn't cross. And on my main run I actually mapped them all out. You could see exactly where they were. So there was a barrier around here that wolves could not cross from this side or from that side. It was like an invisible wall. They couldn't get past it. And up towards Angles then there was another one. So you're perfectly safe. But they removed them. They don't exist anymore. Now here we have our two uh, local wolves. I call these Tim and Mike. So Tim and Mike are about. But Tim and Mike are going to leave us alone because we have mm, tires after us. So we're going to, um, oh, or maybe it's Brian. Anyway, uh, let me know if you caught that reference. Anyway, they're going to ignore us because we're busy with other wolves. That's uh, just the way wolves work. So you can attract multiple wolves, but only, uh, only one wolf at a time will actually aggro you, and the others kind of become idle. It's actually possible to walk through a crowd of Aurora Wolves if you have one wolf following you. They kind of ignore you. If you get too close to one of them though, they might switch who's aggro. But other than that, um, it, it works quite well. So you're walking the dog. Did he give up? He gave up. No, he found a deer. <laughs> They're like, oh, what did I do? 
All right, here we are at Angler's Den. I always like to check over here first. Uh, nothing there. So there's a flare over here. No flare today. All right, Angler's Den. So here there's guaranteed matches. Sometimes two matches. We have extra light. We can um, do this. The guaranteed matches are by the bench over there. You can't see it from here, but you just move forward. And then they're right there. Well, this stuff will yeah. come in handy. Power book. But sometimes you'll find extra matches in the crates. So, for example, down here. Or down here. Doesn't seem like it today. No. We got coal, though. And in here, you'll always find two arrowheads. This will come in handy. And it's one of those rare places that you can find arrowheads in Interlope. You can also find one in uh, Hushtra Valley sometimes. And we're going to look around. There's usually a book here as well. Yeah. Uh, granola bar, dog food, the note. Don't think there is anything else. No. So we're going to put whatever we don't need in here. Uh, we're going to put this in here. We're never going to use that, I don't think. Um... Gonna keep carrying the food. We could actually, because we're very nice people, uh, leave um, a little supply gift for future Zack. <coughs> so when I come back, there's at least something to eat. What else? Um, I'm gonna take the arrowheads with me. This we don't need. I'm not gonna carry it either. Arrowheads I'm gonna take it with me, yeah. Um, oh, it's 32%. Yeah, we'll take all the stuff with us, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep one hour here to regain some warmth, and then we're gonna continue. I'm gonna go through the wolf nest. If you take the shortcut I talked about, then you can get up to, um, the gold mine without ever meeting any wolves. You can just sneak past in Bitter Marsh and then climb up there. And then once you're up there in Homestead's Respite, you don't have any wolves from that point on. So you can just uh, walk, uh, climb up to a Miner's Folly. You just gotta be careful with the bear there, Boris the bear. Uh, he could be in the way. Wolf is after me. Here's the tomato soup that's always here. Uh, low difficulties, you sometimes find more food. Now I'm gonna try and outrun this wolf. Should be fine. There's also a backpack over here usually. Uh, is it there? Yeah, I think, I think it is there. Uh, yeah, there it is. Bye, Wolfie. I'm gonna climb up here. These rosehips are notorious to harvest because if you click here, you actually climb. So you have to look on the left like that. Very easy mistake to make. Hi. You don't know what to do with yourself. But he doesn't know what to do. Alright. With these wolves, I'm either going to kill them or ignore them. Oh, we have a blizzard. Alright, so... If we're lucky, the wolves have despawned because I was far enough away and they are in a blizzard now. But it's possible that I was so close that they are still there. We have to see. See what we can do. Alright, so here's the dangerous bend because here we have very limited visibility with wolves. We gotta be a bit careful here. And then over here, let's see. 
Any wolves? I don't see any. I think the wolves may have despawned because of the blizzard. Yeah, I think I would have seen them by now. Yes. Did I say I hate yeah, it seems very likely. Okay. That's uh, fortunate because then I don't have to deal with them. But unfortunate in that I'm very cold. So now we're heading to the uh, cave to the gold mine here. <clears throat> and then here we have our water cave. And you can actually get through this with a torch. Hey, it's a marine flare. You can actually take this marine flare and, and use it to get through. Because marine flares are immune to water, so you can actually go straight through. We're not going to do that today though, we're just going to do this. Take all of this stuff off, so it doesn't get wet and cold. I'm just going to walk through here. And then light it again. And then put it back on. And there we are. Is that the right one? It wasn't. And let's see if we find some coal. That's going to help with warmth. Uh, we're a bit heavy actually, so I'm probably going to leave some things. Especially the fir wood. That's so heavy. But wait a little bit. Uh, in here is one of the possible spawns for wolf carcass as well. Um, if you ever tried the dead world challenge, uh, that's uh, something to keep in mind if you don't know what that is. Dead World is basically the same as Nogoa, so it's like super interloper. Very little uh, item spawns, very cold, permanent health damage, and so on. But uh, on Dead World, all the animals are gone, which means that you're sus you don't have sustainability because you are eventually going to die. There are no animals to find and therefore limited food. Uh, however, um, uh, there are a few wolf carcasses, so you could create a wolf coat. Like you can't make the bear coat unless you find it, because um, there are no bears to kill. But there are wolves to find, and you can make the wolf coat. But enough about that. If you do want to look into that, I have a Dead World run on my channel. It's very old though. At the time, it was the far, uh, longest uh, time in the world. I survived 35 days or something, but that has long since been beaten. Uh, but if you do want to check it out, I do have it on my channel. I might do it again one day. Right, we found lantern fuel. That's good. I might actually use that. And more matches. Let's climb up here. Actually, we're too heavy. So, let's sort that out. First things first, let's eat something. And we'll have a drink. And then we will um, refuel this. And then we're going to drop this. Way too heavy. And we'll drop my sticks as well. And let's go up. And up we are. What time of day is it? It's actually quite late. And there was a blizzard outside too. So I think we're going to sleep here, at least for a little while. And then we might head out. I'm going to check here, see if there's wolf carcass or just a corpse or something. Here we go. Let's have a sip of coffee there. Okay, we have a corpse this time. Sometimes there's a wolf carcass here. peaches. Warm them up. Uh, we are going to rest here a bit because there is a blizzard outside and we're also very tired. There's no point kind of like, there's no point rushing to the gold mine when it's a blizzard outside and dark and you're tired. Better to wait until morning or at least a starry night. 
there's a blizzard out there, so we're going to sleep. And... Actually, can I craft anything? Yeah, I can craft this. Let's do that first. So we can sleep as long as possible. To regain some health. Uh, this is all good. We can sharpen this. And... We could repair this, but I'm not sure this is worth doing. Yeah, no, it's good. Let's make another tender bug. And then I think we're just going to sleep for as long as we can. Which is going to be like... Maybe eight hours? Or something? Let's just do it. Well, we'll put ten, but we're not going to be able to sleep ten. We're going to sleep like eight or something. Sounds like the blizzard ended. Yeah, that was not even eight. Maybe six or seven. Uh, let's have... Do I risk eating this? I have bad memories after my acid sleep run. I ate one of those. That was 73% condition. I got food poisoning. Let's head out of here. It should be straight ahead, so I don't need the lantern. How's the light? Oh, it's a pretty, pretty clear night. So we're going to actually use our energy then to head to the gold mine. We're going to get a bit cold, but that's all right. We're going to have a break and warm up if we need to. So I'm just going to sprint there. I have so much energy. Any rope? No, we don't need the rope anyway. So I'm going to take advantage that the night isn't super cold and that I'm fully rested and not heavy. To get there as soon as I can. Uh, I might actually grab... Do I want to grab these? No, I don't. I'm going to come back for them. Because also I'm, I'm, I'll be heavy if I grab them. This snow shelter we're going to deal with later. Well, I just want to drink. I'm going to wait for this to deteriorate at some point, and then I'll grab it then. I'll come back for the saplings another time. Uh, I'd rather grab someone late, some of them later, not right now. I'm going to get to the other, to the gold mine. There we go. And this is a bit of a zigzaggy route to get to the gold mine. Uh, but it's not actually that hard. It's pretty linear. You can't really get lost. It's just that it's a long, uh, strange track. But if you're cold, you make a fire. Uh, but it, and yeah, it's nothing to it really. It's just that it involves a lot of bridges that are a little bit scary. But you shouldn't worry about the bridges. Uh, it will take a lot to fall off. You you can fall off, but it's. I don't know if I've ever seen it happen by accident. You'd have to really like step off. Can happen though. One thing we do want in this area is to find the bear coat. So if you didn't know already, uh, it is possible to find a bear coat here in Ash Canyon. It's the only place you can find a fully made bear coat. Uh, except for like Dark Walker Challenge, I think there's a bear coat in there. But anyway, there's, um, there's a little like uh, reclusive area up ahead. Uh, by the way, if you play on lower difficulties, check these bridges. There'll be matches laying about on these bridges, but not an interloper. Anyway, uh, we're coming up ahead to an area that can have the uh, bear coat spawn. So it's a little uh, kind of like a cave or shelter, and there's a little corner there. And all sorts of things can spawn there. You can find a book, you can find storm lantern, you can find rope, you can find... Uh, Masking accelerant. And most importantly, you can find a bear coat. So you can find a f perfectly made bear coat on the interloper. Uh, the condition will vary. Uh, usually, if you do find it, the condition will be between um, maybe 20 to 55. 
it's not very common. Uh, when I've seen others find it, and I, I've found it, it tends to be low condition. 30 to 50 percent somewhere. I have, however, once seen uh, someone else find it, and it was 85 percent condition, so it is possible. Personally, I've only ever found the bear coat up here twice, so it is pretty rare. Uh, you can also find nothing up here, so uh, that's the worst. So we're coming up to it now. Uh, it's just around the corner here. If you haven't seen this before, it's pretty straightforward. You get to this area here, where there's like a little cave that you got to go through, which actually is like a warm place, and you can find wood and stuff. But you want to turn around and look over here, here. And what have we got today? We have rope, book, and lantern. Well, the lantern's full. We'll take the lantern. We're heavy, but that's all right. Uh, no bear coat today, though. Let's actually eat. And maybe we'll go. I don't think we'll get light again. No. And there's one more thing here. Uh, this is one of the guaranteed steam locations. So you just continue up here. See the sign that points to the direction of the left. That was a weird so way of phrasing. It points to the direction of the left. That should be on a t-shirt. It points to the direction of the left. <laughs> anyway, when you get here, uh, you see the cave down there. Uh, don't be tempted by that. You want to stop and look to your left. The direction of the left. <laughs> that should be the cold word for this video. And then there's a stim here. This is a guaranteed stim. It's always there on Interloper. Not on lower difficulties though, but Interloper is always there. Uh, I never not found it and I've never seen anyone not find it. I occasionally get comments from people saying they haven't found it, but that's almost certainly a bug. It's very, very rare that it's not there. If it's not there, it will instead be in minus folly in the first aid kit if that happens. So, Another marine flare, we'll take that. We're heavy now, but that's okay because we're going to go into the mine and gain some uh, carry capacity back. So, now we're going to head to the mine. I haven't really looted any of the berries and stuff on the way. I don't want to be too heavy. But now we're going to head up here. Past the birch sapling, and then we get to this. This is the way down uh, to the gold one. Now I want to check for flares. Mm, uh, sometimes there's flares or accelerant on the ground here. Not today. Anyway, the gold mine is here. Right there. You can see it in the dark because of the waterfall. And if you have the rope, you need to attach it here. But I don't have the rope. If you can find a rope, there's two options. One is to go this way. And then you go down there. That leads out of the gold mine. There's three ropes that you climb to get down. What you can do is you can grab the rope, to grab the rope that's down there, detach it and attach it over there. That's one way of doing it. But you don't need to do it. You can take a shortcut down that's super easy because you're never going to need to climb back up. And that shortcut is here. You just walk past, or like through rather, two trees, two trees, walk through them. And then you get to the slope. It's quite steep, but perfectly harmless. And you just head down here. This is very steep, so you might want to crouch or like spam crouch. Uh, otherwise you're very likely to fall and you're also very likely to sprain. Actually, I don't know if I've ever climbed down here and not gotten a sprain. <laughs> I don't think so. The sprain was it was the wrist. Okay, so I can run. So another sprain. Yeah, as you can see. And down here there'll be uh, some rabbits. Very often there'll be birch saplings. And at at the edge there, with the, that furthest tree at the back there, where the waterfall ends, you can find a corpse that's always there. And the corpse uh, doesn't really have anything, so I'm not going to really check. I always tend to check, but <laughs> there's never anything there. But on lower difficulty, the corpse over there uh, can have... Right, I'm talking about here. Over here is a corpse. Uh, on lower difficulties, you can find a revolver there. So you should check that out. But on the interloper, there's not really any point. Uh, let's see if we have the... Uh, uh, we don't have the plastic container. 
Then we have a cabinet here, which also I've never found anything in here on Interloper. It's actually a bit buggy, so you can't click on it until you do that. <coughs> hey, <laughs> there's a first. It's a cooking pot. Wow. I have literally never in all my places ever found anything in here on Interloper until today. How about that? On lower difficulties I found stuff though. All right, so we made it to the gold mine. Let's head inside. And then we're going to use our lantern. I'm not sure which one I activated, but that doesn't matter. And here we're going to find lots of coal and things. I will find matches in here too that are guaranteed. It varies where they are though. Sometimes they're here on this chair. Sometimes they're in by the workbench. Anyway, we're going to grab them. Grab that. Like this. There's usually also a wool scarf or something here. Dog food, okay. Book. Oh, cool. We're gonna grab those even if you don't need them. And we're gonna get cold feet walking here. Because it's uh, cold water. You can take your shoes off if you like. And then this won't happen. But not a big deal. I'm grabbing all the coal, but I don't know if we'll actually need all the coal. But I'm grabbing it anyway. Over here, you can also find a torch. Here it is. Sometimes this torch is 100%. Well, this stuff will come which this one is. <laughs> uh, I have had it happen that it was 100%. Uh, it may have been a bug. I I'm not sure. And then we can go here again. And then we have reached this side. And then we're going to head to get the uh, backpack. But here, by these... Uh, Carts, I guess they're called. Uh, I always check here because just to see behind here. On Interloper, I've never found anything here in this area. But on lower difficulties, I have. I found a hammer laying here. So uh, you should check it. But on Interloper, I never found anything. But then we come to the gold. The whole reason we're here, kind of the point of this whole mid game thing, which is the backpack. So this will permanently give you plus five carry capacity. So at the moment we have plus five because of well fed. And just to demonstrate, if I drop this, you see I have the, the, the red icon in the bottom right indicating I'm heavy. If I pick this up, by the way, you do not want to start picking this up and then choose to leave it because if you do, I, it can vanish. And now I take this, sprain risk is healed because the backpack are upgraded. And carry my stuff. I'm gonna grab this stuff. And then food, food, in the coal, That's coal, right. more accelerant. And then we also have the crampons. Another unique item in the game. The backpack just integrates into your backpack. You're basically you're replacing your old backpack without this one you have to equip. So you put it on here. Uh, if you find it and don't have anything in these slots, you might as well put it on right away. Because it gives you 3% protection against Predators. It does penalize your sprint, but that's all right, I guess. You can't equip these if you don't have shoes, by the way. Like if I take these off, uh, I can't put them on, see? You have to have shoes. Uh, but primarily these are used for climbing because you have your sprint or climbing meter is reduced when you have it. So yeah, that's good. And then we'll check also the corpse here. In there, and we'll check this. How much water do I have? Very little, but I think it'll be alright for now. We're gonna sleep here. You shouldn't get cold or anything. Big supply bin. Bandage and cloth. Alright. And then we're going to sleep. Now let me have a look here. I'm actually going to eat the lowest condition stuff. Uh, this is not gonna give us food poisoning. The other stuff could. I'm gonna start with this because it uh, makes us dehydrated. No food poisoning. Then I'm gonna do this. No food poisoning. And then this one. Alright, we got we got off lightly today. <laughs> and then we can sleep. So let's do we can sleep six hours, so that's exactly what we are going to do. Sleep six hours. There we are, all healed. <laughs> uh, and 
we have hydration. We're going to drink this. I need to make water, but that can wait a little bit. And we're heavy, not super heavy, but a little bit. So I'm going to drop a few things. Um, we have a lot of coal, but I'm going to take it for now anyway. I'm going to drop these instead. Thanks for the ride. Uh, maybe I can drop a little bit of coal, like maybe like four of them. The rest I can take. Uh, we can dr drop one of these because we have a cooking pot. And I guess that's it. All right. Let's head out of here. And uh, there's going to be some coal on the way, which we are going to just ignore because we're already heavy enough. And now we're leaving. <clears throat> so now we can carry more stuff and we can also head back. We can start crafting things. How about that? So let's see what, what day is it now. 24. So the bear, the bear hides are cured now back in Mystery Lake. The moose hide isn't cured yet. I'm not sure when I killed the moose exactly. I killed it. Killed it here somewhere. And I probably put it in a cave here. So I still need six days to cure. But that's alright. It might be cured uh, by the time I get there. But we're also going to go to summit. Grab some stuff. As you can see, the moose <laughs> provide us with lots of food. <laughs> Next time I make a fire though, I'm going to cook and eat the uh, tomato soup and stuff because they're quite heavy. Alright, what a nice clear day. And we're going to head down here. So this is the shortcut out of the mine. You come out this way instead. And you just head down here. There's a one-way trip. You can't go back up here. But once you're down here, you can't go back up. However, if you do go out there and you realize that, oh damn, I forgot something in the mine. You can just go over here. Uh, and to the left, and then you have the rope. This rope goes all the way up to the gold mine. And this is the rope I was talking about that you could grab and use to attach up there if you want to. Because that rope is really ever used if you want to get up to the gold mine via, via this route. But this route is dangerous. I, I wouldn't recommend going this way, uh, really. Because it's too, uh, it's too dangerous to climb up three ropes. You can get caught in a blizzard and you don't have energy and you know. I almost died on day 600 something. It was not good, so. I wouldn't recommend going up to the mine this way. It's shorter, but much more demanding. If you want to use stims, then maybe. You can climb a rope or two and then use the stim on the last one, sure. All right, then we come to a campfire. You can barely go down these, by the way. It's not that hard. You can do it, uh, but be be careful. Don't do it if you if you don't have to. Is the moose here? Hopefully not. Over here by this rope, you can find a Polaroid. So hopefully that's there. I don't see the moose. So that would be good. Oops. Let's see if we can find a Polaroid here. Uh, no, no Polaroid. All right. Any moose? Oh, it is here. Dang. It's actually in my way. I don't really want to kill it because I don't need the moose. I already killed two moose today. Um, it's kind of like a waste of time to kill it. Unless I can get it closer to Angler's Den, but it's so far away. So I would prefer if I could uh, get rid of it. <clears throat> Uh, okay, yeah, go down there. That's good. Yeah. Perfect. I could kill it, and as I said earlier, a good rule is to kill a moose whenever you see it, because it takes so long to respawn. But I don't think, like, this is a walkthrough, but I probably wouldn't, if this was a full run and I continue playing this run, I'm not going to come back here for a long time. But the... What? You're not coming to me, are you? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> well, as long as you leave me alone. Oh, so cold. Uh, don't stop now, please. Just keep going. Yeah, thank you. 
it's bugged out a bit, it seems. But yeah, a general, uh, generally good rule is to, uh, can I make a fire here, by the way? Can I? I'm going to make one a bit further up. Generally, a good rule is to uh, kill a moose whenever you see one because of the respawn time for it. Particularly because uh, in the early game it respawns a bit faster and gives you lots of food and meat that you can use to level up cooking and you don't have to worry about parasites. Uh, I'm going to make a fire here to warm up a little bit. Um, however, in this case, there's two reasons why I don't want to kill it. So, well, three. One reason is I already have a bunch of food and meat, so I'm not worried about food supplies until I get to cooking level 5. The other reason is that this moose is quite far away from any base. If I kill it, I would have to cook it or harvest it here in the open, and then drag the meat back to Angler's Den through the wolves down there, or take it up to the nearby cave, which is up there, I think. And I don't really want to do that. And the third reason, the third reason is that um, I'm just passing through Ash Canyon, and it's going to take a while before I get back here. And because of that, uh, if I kill it and then come back here later, it will have respawned. But I don't really gain that much from it because when I come back here. Uh, I will we, we kick, kill it anyway, so I don't really need this moose. I'm going to come back to Ash Canyon some other time in the future when I'm all geared up. Come back here, conquer the region, explore all the nooks and crannies. There's lots and lots of stuff to find here in Ash Canyon. Doesn't seem like it, but there's a bunch of areas. You can get a whole bunch of bits and bobs and lots of saplings and things, so it's an area to return to. I know this is a walkthrough about mid-game, Maybe, if you're interested, let me know if you want a third video. So this video you can watch independently, and if you if you have, then great, and thank you. Uh, but it's technically part two, because we had the early game, Interlope Made Easy, and now this is Interlope Mid Game. Uh, after this video, we're kind of entering late game, or late-ish game. Maybe mid-mid game, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and if you'd like to see that I can consider making one, please let me know in the comments if that's the case. <laughs> But in any case, I don't really need anything else in Ash Canyon. I already have the backpack. I don't really need to secure supplies here yet. Uh, so let's do this. Let's warm up a bit. Uh, let's put another piece of coal on, just so we can warm up a bit faster. Then I want to make some birch tea, and while that's cooking, I can craft another one of them. Then I can uh, heat uh, up as I'm traveling. And I can also avoid... Uh, actually, we can just drop all of this. But I'm going to drop mainly this. Let's, however, cook these things. I'm going to use our knife to uh, do this. What else we got? We got that and that. Let's cook those. All this cooked. Three minutes. Oh, I don't have water for it. Okay. Let's do this then. If you right click this like this, it just says hot and it won't burn. It's like an exploit. I don't usually do that, but it, it depends a lot on the person you're watching. So some streamers will do it. So here I put in, it says one minute already. And then we'll say it'll burn, and what you can do is right click it like this. And then it'll reset, do it again, and then it will just say hot when it's done. And it won't actually burn. If you if you grab it, right click and place it on here, then it can burn. But other than that, it doesn't really doesn't really burn. Uh, so that's like an exploit you can use. That's clearly not intended. They might remove it one day. Because before, uh, these things would never really burn here. So people made tea circles all the time, and they would place uh, teas around the uh, campfire like this, and uh, warm up all their stuff. 
but then they patched it. I think it was maybe two years ago or something. They patched it, so that was removed, and you could now burn everything uh, by having it out there. But then people figured out that you could just right-click, and then that would take away the whole issue. So um, that's an exploit. You just choose yourself whether you use it. I don't use it, um, at least not normally. Uh, but I often show these things, even if I don't use. But a lot of people do. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like I don't use any exploits. I mean, I Billy Goat and I do other things. So uh, I think you just should play the game however you want. This one should say hot when it's done now. Yeah, see. But they don't burn now. And I'm going to grab these because we're not going to use those. Let's wait for this to boil. Uh, I'm gonna like, boil this. Let's just cook these things too. And I think. Can I craft one? No. We can make that though. More? Yeah, we can make more. Do I have more of these? Yeah, I do. Put that there as well. I'm just leveling uh, teas here, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just making teas to level. And we might as well grab a torch. Let's try and get a good torch. Go on this side. Oh. That's alright. I just grab these. <laughs> Look at this color, or this light rather. Alright, let's go. So we're out of here. And I wanted to warm up the birch tea, because then it will give me warmth and I'll recover some health, seeing as I'm not full health. And uh, also, Ash Canyon has a lot of birch. Lots and lots of it. So the ravine, uh, birch forest in Pleasant Valley, and Ash Canyon birch forest has so much birch bark, so you can make a ton of teas. And in fact, I have a run where I survive on only birch bark. Or birch tea rather. Um, so if you want to watch that, check, you can check it out on my channel where I play interlope and I only uh, eat um, birch. Uh, they do tend to bug out ever since Ash Canyon has been released. This has always been an issue. Less now, but still so. You get these birch, birch barks that are way too big. <laughs> that happens all the time. This is a normal size. But there will always be at least one that's too big. This one's too big. That one's normal. Um, there's also some birch up there. You can get there by just walking uh, through an entrance. I can probably show you. Grab these. Birch is fantastic. Because you, when you make the teas, you level up uh, cooking. And when you drink it, it gives you warmth. And it regenerates health. I think it's like one and a half percent per hour passively. There we are. There's some more birch. Uh, I should think has one. Uh, it's another. Has another big one. Uh, if you want even more, you can head up this way. Uh, sorry, this way. Yeah, up there. If you head up this way, uh, you get around and up here, and up to a plateau. And up there, there's like more birch. There's a campfire. You'll probably find a little bit of like uh, food as well. Let's drink a a birch tea. You can actually drink two of them. We'll get some more warmth back. I feel like I had more birch tea. Maybe I didn't. But did I leave some behind or something? But I had more of them. Oh, if I did, I'm sorry. I'm not going back there. <laughs> and here we are. Up there is the... Uh, up there, those uh, rocks up there. That's the wolf plateau. Uh, if you haven't seen my video about that, that's an old area of Ash Canyon that was there when it was released. I don't actually want to use this torch, but well. Uh, it's actually... Use the low condition torches to get rid of some carry weight. Yeah. 
So up there is a uh, ex inaccessible area. But when Ash Canyon was released, there were wolves up there, as well as a deer carcass and a Polaroid. Uh, but it's since been patched. You can still get up there though if you like via exploits, but that's it. So now we're heading back to Timwolf Mountain. And we'll probably sleep in the transition cave or maybe in the cave in their clearing. Probably do it their clearing, I guess. And we're gonna head up to Summit and uh, collect stuff there. Might be a bit heavy going down, but that's all right. We'll take the shortcut. Well, now we're done with Ash Canyon now. There are lots of things to explore in Ash Canyon. Lots of saplings to find, misglut, Polaroids, of course. There's one bear to kill. Um, there's also nooks and crannies and misglut. It's a fun area, actually. It's a, I think it's a great region. Some people don't really like it because of its kind of awkward to traverse, but once you learn it, it's very easy. Uh, as it is with all things. But it's a, it's a great region. We'll come back here one day. Don't burn out. Oof, close. I don't really need this many torches anymore. I'm now in the mid game, so having all these torches is necessary. I'm happy to just use them for a little bit of extra warmth. Um, let's see, is this still hot, the birch tea? No. Uh, but I want to keep the big one, this one, for later. <laughs> that can be my lighting torch. Alright, goodbye Ash Canyon. Thanks for all the fish and everything. Uh, but we're out of here. Alright. We good? Yeah. Okay. I always like to check. Don't want the footage to get lost. That's happened once. And that was... Uh, I ran out of hard device space in the middle of a recording and I was like, oh god, I have to do the last 30 minutes again. So it fortunately happened while I was out in the open, so I didn't actually save the game since I had recorded last, so I could go back and do it again, but oof. Yeah, it was one of those things, you have to bring yourself to do it. So I always check now and then. I'm gonna sprint through this. There is, wait, 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 wait. I want to go down here. Because there's an area here that has misclut. So in here, you can find a corpse and you can find a revolver here. On low difficulties. The interloper are mostly interested in this little alcove here. Uh, here, there's coal here and heck, there can also be a wolf carcass here as well. There's another one of the possible spawns. No wolf carcasses today at all though. Hey, we have coffee. Nice. Pork and beans. Pork and beans. Remember that song. Um, let's head out of here. Yeah, we're gonna sleep in this cave. I might loot maybe the deer clearing first. I'm not sure. We'll see. Let's get rid of some more torches. Wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Of the hacksaw will survive. But I think there is actually a hacksaw at the summit. Because yeah, there is. There is a hacksaw on the summit. Basically, when you start an interloper run, you have a 50-50 chance that there is a hacksaw at the summit. And I know there is one. Because of what I didn't find in the mountain itself. The way it works if you're not familiar with it. On, in, uh, on lower difficulties, the loot is mostly random. You can find hammers and pry bars and hacksaws laying about or in uh, drawers and stuff like that. On the interloper, these things are rarer and they are actually predetermined by loot tables. So that means that when you start a run, the game will have will choose a set of loot locations there are four in total so that means that in a in a loot table the items will be in fixed locations you know there'll be a hacksaw at the summit there'll be a hammer in the barn or whatever there'll be another hacksaw at a hunter's blind 
and so on. There'll be <clears throat> the game will predetermine the locations where you find tools, including certain things like bedroll and storm lantern and things like that. All the rest of the loot, like food and whatnot, that's random, uh, more or less, with some exceptions. But the tools are a set. So that means that if you learn that loot table, you could find one item, like a hacksaw or a hammer, and you can then determine which loot table you are on, and then you know where all the other tools are. Right. If you are interested in that, just Google loot tables, and you will find a link to it online. And then you can see the different possibilities uh, there are in terms of spawns. Um, I don't... Uh, some people memorize those things to always know where all the loot is. Because there's four different options of where they could be. Uh, I don't do that uh, because I feel it breaks immersion a little bit. I know the main areas to look for uh, loot because of experience. So I know where to go to... Um, to find loot, basically. But I don't know all of them, and I don't know what spawns where at any given time, because I don't really need to. But there is one exception that I have learned, which you can learn more about in detail in my Timberwolf Mountain interloper walkthrough. Uh, if you want to see that video, I'll explain in more detail there, but the gist of it is, when you spawn in Timberwolf Mountain, you can determine whether or not there is a hacksaw at the summit by looking at what items spawn in Mountaineer's Hut. If you find uh, the, ha the hacksaw can be in Mountaineer's Hut, in which case you are at one particular loot table, uh, or there is no hacksaw in Timor Mountain at all, which is another loot table, if that's the case, then you will find the hammer in the fishing hut in the Mountaineer's Hut. If, however, you didn't find a hacksaw in Mountaineer's Hut, or you did not find the hammer in the fishing hut, then the hacksaw will be at the summit up there. It will be up there. So I didn't find a hacksaw in Mountaineer's Hut, and I did not find a hammer in the fishing hut, so I know that the hacksaw is at the summit. It has to be, because it's by process elimination, it has to be. Now, I don't know what loot table that is. I don't know what that means in terms of all the other loot, but it means that it is up there. That's the only aspect of the loot table I have memorized, because if you were to spawn an interlope randomly and end up in Tomb of Mountain, uh, it will determine whether you should summit early or not. Anyway, we are here at one of the containers. So there are lots of these at the summit. But you can find a few of them around as well. Yeah. On Interloper, there's a lot less of these containers than other difficulties. But there's still a few around. So here's one of them, and we're going to open it. Uh, I don't remember what these have, but we'll find out. Scrap metal. All right. Cloth, more scrap metal. We don't really need that, so I'll take it for the moment. And in here, what have we got? Soup. All right, well, we can at least cook that. <clears throat> and I can always eat it just to... Uh, uh, to level up cooking and get rid of them. My fingers feel you might actually make a fire, because it's a bit too early to sleep now. Let's go into the uh, cave over here and make a fire. I thought I was missing a, a stone. I think we will probably be right sleeping in here too, but if not, if we'll just uh Actually let's let's just not risk it. We'll we'll go in here instead. And we'll make a fire in the transition cave. But then we're sure we'll be warm enough. And we can do some cooking in there. We can uh cook and eat all our soups and whatnot and I can sort some inventory out as well. Because we want to... We can't be heavy going to the summit. It's okay that we are heavy going down from the summit. Because we're going to barely go down. And there isn't that much loot to be found. 
on the summit anyway. Oh, blew out. It's a goddamn freezing. But we need to have energy to climb the summit. We're gonna do that. Let's see here. Let's head inside. All right, there we are. Give me a second. Okay. I'm gonna light this again. I'm gonna do some cooking in here. And then sleep. Well, let's do that. There we go. We need a full uh, rest to get to the summit, but we can sleep on the cave or in the cave going to the summit as well. First, let's do some cooking. Perfect. Things are really heavy. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of a couple of these and then one of these. And we don't need this anymore. So well, let's see, water, we don't have that much. So I'm going to create two liters of these. Can I make anything in? No. We're going to cook the stuff that can be heated up. Is all of this. Some of them are hot already, so that's fine. You can just eat those. Then we have this. The pinnacle peaches are really heavy for what they are. They're like 450 calories, which is okay. But then they weigh a lot, like half a kilo. So it's quite heavy. So I often try and eat the pinnacle peaches as soon as I can. <laughs> We're gonna eat the pork and beans first. If I did, I have any pork and beans? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, the one. Okay. Because they actually reduce hydration while the other ones increase it. I might as well put all of these here, even if we they are already cooked. Uh, I might as well. Might as well make the herbal tea. I guess. Can I craft something? I can. Birch. Let's make two. Birch takes only five minutes to prepare. Oh, the other ones take 15. There we are. And of course, as I showed earlier, you could reset these by just right clicking like this. Now, uh, I said earlier that I don't usually do this. Um, it's because it's kind of like an exploit. But to be fair, that's not entirely true. I do do it sometimes in some of my other videos, particularly when it's a necessity. I know the fire's gonna be burning a while and I need the heat. And uh, so I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm a purist who plays uh, Long Dark without using any exploits or any bugs or anything like that. So I'm not gonna say that. But this is definitely an exploit as a result of a bug because Intlin did patch this, this was impossible before. Um, so it shouldn't be done. But yeah, I try when I do walkthroughs to keep things as vanilla as possible. Um, but it doesn't always pan out that way. <laughs> let's make two more of these. Alright, let's uh, eat the... Um... The pork and beans, let's eat that. And then after that, we can eat pinnacle peaches. They weigh a lot. Uh, there are more pinnacle peaches. They're all soups. All right, let's eat one soup then. Okay, let's eat another one. Let's just keep eating them. There we go. Grab these. Five minutes. Let's just keep uh, making teas, really. And let's keep making teas. Oh, we don't, don't, don't have water. Okay. Uh, well, then we'll make more of this. And then we'll make more of these. And we'll do some inventory management in the cave, not in here. <coughs> these are really low condition, so we should really eat them. Because if, if you get food poisoning, it's best to, <laughs> best to get food poisoning when you... Um, Let's do one liter. When you can sleep. 
Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do. Oh, we could actually read something. Could maybe do that. Can I read this actually? Yeah, I can. Cooking. I'm not sure if this. Can this be read? Let's find out. Uh, let's do this first. <coughs> Make all of these best to have them if nothing else. Level up that cooking. Okay, that's it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna make another liter. Up, oh, I'm tired. Okay, well that's fine then. Uh. I wonder though if you can. Can you actually? Yeah, I'm too tired, yeah. Make another liter of that. There we are. Alright, I'm gonna sleep now. Let's eat uh, some more of the soups. Let's do the lowest one. I'm not getting any food poisoning in this run. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Uh, that's actually... I think maybe I want to make more water. So I'm going to put one of these on this. An hour 16. But that is... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. This would take too long. This one. This should be done and not vaporized when I wake up. So sleep for 10 hours. Go. See? And then we're going to bring eat some more stuff. We're gonna continue. Actually, we're not gonna do the low condition ones now. Uh, it's snow. If the hypothermia wouldn't kill me, could eat this though. I think probably won't give us food poisoning. Yeah. And then we can drink this. And then we can sleep two hours. And it should be light. Now let's see. What time of day is it? Okay. Hey, boiled. Just like I thought. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I'm heavy. A little bit heavy. That's all right. We're gonna drop some stuff in the cave over here. So that's okay. Or rather, that's okay. cave. <laughs> ah, so bad. All right, so this is the day clearing. We're gonna head into this cave over here and I'm gonna drop everything that I don't really need to take to the summit. And we're going to take the cave system route to the summit. There are two ways up there. You take, uh, you get to a fork in the road. If you go left, you take, you climb a rope onto a secluded shelf and go through a cave system. And then you climb up the summit. Or you go around, but then you have to face the bear. And then a wolf, possibly. So, why do that? So, let's get in here. Oh, there's wood here. Not, I might not take it or anything, but I'm just going to grab all this stuff. And then we're going to leave whatever we don't need at the moment here in the cave. Sounds burned out, right? Yeah. Alright, so here. What do we don't need? <coughs> Scrap metal. Leave that. Uh, all of these, except for one. Don't really need the books, but we're going to take them. Uh, carrying two storm lanterns, that's a little bit, oof. Uh, a lot of teas, they don't really weigh much though. I guess we can leave these. Uh, we got a lot of coal, we don't need that much. Do you like six, sure. I guess that's probably fine, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, seems good. Alright. Then up we go. I recall already, but that's 
That's all right. We are gonna head up to the summit now. We're gonna have this out because of the possible wolf. Uh, I can sprint actually because I am cold. And I'm gonna sleep in the cave system before I go to the summit anyway. So it's no problem to sprint here. I'm gonna take a little shortcut up, up there as well. That a lot of people don't uh, know about. But let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm not going to pick up any more of the mushrooms and stuff right now because they just take up space. We don't really need it right now. It's a bit further up. There's a shortcut up there. I'm actually going to drink one of the birch teas. We have so many of them and I can sustain some of my health loss at the same time. There we are. I think it's uh, is it up here. Oi, look at that. The bear is around, or rather, it was around. It was uh, not long ago. I can actually hear him. I see uh, things around the corner. Anyway, we're gonna go up this way. Uh, there's a little shortcut between these uh, between these rocks, and you can get up there a bit faster up to the path to the summit. There we are. There's a it's a slight shortcut. There's the fork in the road. Let's keep a look out for the bear. Not here right now. This is the fork in the road that I'm talking about. So if you go this way, you eventually end up around this on the other side of this rock, and you climb up to this plateau. You can see actually right there, a little bit far away, but right there, is a rope anchor that you can also attach a rope for a shortcut. Which is not really worth it in my opinion. But you can go that way. You have to deal with the bear though. But the bear is actually probably already past us. So we could go that way. But I want to go this way. Because over here is a uh, rope you can climb. And then it leads to a cave system. And this actually dodges the bear. As well as the wolf that's uh, up there. So going this route is much much safer. So here we can go up, so now we don't need the bowl, we're going to be probably safe here. I'm going to climb up, I'm going to go through the cave and then sleep on the other side so that we have enough energy to go up to the summit and we should be able to get up there in one go, particularly with crampons. There we are. There we go. Clear the shelf. Sometimes there's maple up here. Uh, don't see it today, though. No. <laughs> We're gonna go in here. And go through this system, and we get to warm up at the same time. Alright. Uh, more coal, but we already have so much of it that there's no point. Gonna leave that. <clears throat> Let's go through here and warm up. Uh, I think it's either way, left or right. Quite a bit of coal in here. So if you ever get there and you're cold and you need to warm up, you'll be good. Usually there's like a mist glued in here, yeah. Hey, nuts and stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. Remember to petition Hinterland survivors. 
If they need to add uh, Zach Sax snacks to the game. <laughs> Um, go through here. Up, up, up we go. We'd get to like an atrium at some point. Uh, oh no, no, this one doesn't have an atrium, my bad. More wood, which you also don't need. And I think up ahead is the way out. Let's see. I love the storm lantern. Saves the hassle with the fire. The matches. It's such a great uh it's like a little mini companion. Imagine you could draw on it. Call it Wilson or something. Alright, we're gonna sleep here. To recover full uh, stamina or fatigue. Let's sleep. I think that'll be s five hours, but we'll sleep. We'll click seven. All right. Let's also. Uh, so we'll just eat this. There we go. But 37 and a half out of 40 meets a full. Let's go to the summit. Should be a hacksaw off there, but if not, we have another hacksaw. Nice clear day. I'm not going to sprint anything because I want the uh, energy for the rope climb. Now, there's quite a long rope. I sometimes get asked what is the longest rope in the game. And I don't actually know if there even is a difference between the long ropes, but I think I think there is a marginal difference. Which is the longest, I'm not actually sure. Um, but this, there's a few long ones, like this one. Uh, one in Ash Canyon. Ravine has a long one. Um, this one in Black Rock that's really long. So there's a, there's a few long ones. Which one's longer, I'm not sure. But uh, without crampons, you can't get up in one go. Well, I mean, you can, but you're going to really wear yourself out. But with crampons, you can go up in one go. Now, let's have a look here in this little cave. Um, this is not a real cave. It's just shelter. But there's a backpack here, and there's usually like a book and some other things to pick up. So... Um, this is always worth checking out. Let's see. Uh, there's the rope. What you could do. We might as well do it. And grab the rope. And you can go back down that way to a rope anchor that allows you to create a shortcut up here from Mount Nesat. Saves you having to go all the way around. But we're going to put it here for, on this other rope anchor just for the good measure. It's usually another rope up at the summit anyway. This is the rope bank I pointed at uh, not long ago when I said this is the plateau. If you're not entirely sure where we are, I'll make it clear to you. So you go up here. Gotta warm up somehow. And where I was earlier when I said, oh, here's the rope anchor or whatever, that was, I was standing around there. And normally, uh, the deer, deer clearing is like over there, you can kind of see it. And normally you go this way, like this, down here and then up here. And then you can go this way where the wolf is, and then this way. Uh, but we went instead that way and around. I'm cold, but I'm still going to do this. Which is, I'm going to attach this rope anchor. Detach, attach rope to the anchor, so I meant. There you go. Now you can climb up that way. So it's another type of shortcut. Say so you're having to go around to the left or right, you can just go up here instead. Saves you quite a bit of time. Yeah, we're going to go up here. 
uh, because our crampons we should be able to do this in one go so let's see how that works out yeah we got a lot of energy a lot of stamina a lot of sprint so we should be able to get up there in one go without taking particularly much um, fatigue damage or fatigue loss There we are. Now first, let's run to this cave. So here's the summit. There's the plane crash over there. Summit is, has the most loot in the entire game, so it's always worth going here. We're gonna go into this cave, cave first. We usually find antibiotics in here, uh, a rope very often, and the guns, guns, guns book. And some random stuff. There you can see there's a rope, which we don't need, but if, if I wanted to, I could go down uh, and attach it to another rope anchor. It has antibiotics. And I think it's a backpack that has the guns guns. Yeah, there it is. Uh, there's only a few of these in the game. But of course they're completely useless on interloper because we can't use guns. But if you get this on a lower difficulty, you should wait to read it. Until you're level 4 firearm skill. Can I actually read this? I just can check. Yeah, you can. Wow. Uh, I thought maybe you can read the books when you're level 4 cooking, but you can. Alright, let's uh, head to the actual tail. There's the peak, Timberman Peak. It's possible to get up there, but it's a bit of a pain, but it's possible. I did it on my main run. You can watch it in the highlight video if you like. But what we really care about is here. The summit itself. We have an unfortunate corpse. There's one up there, one here, and one under. Grab feathers. Uh, more feathers. And then let's check out the fuselage. The tail section. Let's get some loot. Uh, we need to make a fire. Here's the hacksaw. Just like I predicted, there is a hacksaw oh, here. Lucky day. Nice. And here is the stim. This is another guaranteed stim. That's always up here um, on uh, on interloper. We're gonna make a fire because we're getting cold. Right. It's sunny out, isn't it? Ah, I must be changing because you can see it's sunny. But it won't actually let me do it. Okay, it's changing then. The weather's changing. That's fine. We'll use a match. And then we're going to open some containers and get loot. And this will be good because our clothing at the moment is like mediocre. We got some good stuff, some alright stuff. Uh, and some weak stuff. Like we don't really have gloves and things so we should be okay after this I'm not gonna make any water or anything all right so first things first I'm gonna go over here oh another book nice grab the stress pistol yeah this gun is really powerful this will allow us to hunt much more efficiently particularly moose and bears we have a deterrent now. Then we have fire striker. That's always here as well. That's a guaranteed spawn. It's always there. I'll take it. Fifty-one. So that's great. And I'm going to open these first, just because then I can warm up. Is there anything I can cook? Not really. Eventually, though, it might be something. Let's open this one first. And I'm not sure if he, which hacksaw is going to use, but we'll find out. Come Tea again. and coffee. That's gold. So, oh wow, was not a lot in there. <laughs> Just that. Which hacksaw did it use? It used the big one. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's open this one then. Hmm. Alright, these are great. Let's do this one. As you can see on interloper, there's not much loot by comparison to other difficulties, but 
Still a lot. Still worth going in, if only for the stress pistol and stim. Okay, we got some clothing. Ooh, air wrap. We wanted that. Mittens, wool toque, ski jacket. All right. Let's keep going. Shoes. Socks. That's good. Let's just keep going. We can also open the crates and we can find matches in there. But I'm not sure how necessary that is. Beans. Wow, one bean. Thank you so much. That was just too generous. A whole, a whole pork and beans in there. Someone's been eating on the plane. Summit soda. What's the condition he's being summoned to? Wow. I've never had that low before. Alright, and we got... Is it one left or two? One. One left, which is these. I think one has pelts and the other has... The medicine. Uh, medicine, yep. Yeah. You won't find a stim in here, though. And I think this might be pelts. Uh, it is pelts, yep. Yeah. Deer hide, rabbit hide, wolf. Alright. And that's it for the summit, except for the guy under. Uh, we could maybe... Open the crates just for matches. Let's drop... Uh, we can cook... That 9%, wow. That's... Uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, water, we got water. Um, we could cook the teas, but it's not really that important. We're heavy, but not super heavy, so this is okay. And we got a bunch of books and things. Um, let's actually... Let's wait till that's done, yeah. Let's break down the crates. Uh, let's see what's inside. This one had nothing. Let's uh, put some wood on here. What about this one? Yeah, here's the <laughs> yet another rope. Alright. Uh, let's actually sleep a little bit. And so we, we're not as heavy. We might as well open this one too. It's so cold. I just yeah. want Alright, I'm gonna sleep here a little bit. I'm gonna put the, most of this on and sleep. Uh, well, we don't need to get fully rested, but at least... At least like four hours or something. Let's, uh... Yeah, okay, it's time to eat some food poisoning stuff, I guess. So let's eat... Because we got a fire going. We're gonna eat these things. Probably give us food poisoning, that's alright. Let's do it. There we go, food poisoning. I'll be alright. And we drink a Raishi tea. And then we can sleep for like 10 hours. So you see now food poisoning, we have that. So we're now going to lose 15% health. Uh, no, 10% health per hour until we reach 15%. But it's not going to happen because we, um, uh, we took the Raishi and we're going to sleep. If we don't sleep, that happens though. So uh, let's put on. Let's put this down. I just want to get rid of those things. Uh, it shouldn't be possible to blow this out, so we should be fine sleeping. Let's sleep five hours, just to be sure. And you'll notice that all our meters will start refilling, but the um, the health does not regenerate. Still need five hours, as you can see. We're going to do that. Uh, we can put on all this stuff that we did. Uh, we could actually break down some more crates. Just to get some more. This is actually cold. Interesting. Uh, let's break this down quick. See how fast my fatigue meter is drained? And that's because of the food poisoning. Yeah, 
let's put this on. I'll sleep another five hours. And we we might as well eat things that are low condition. Because uh, you can't get additional food poisoning. If you already have food poisoning, then you have it. And that's it. You can't get it again. And then we have water. And then we sleep again. Or uh, it's five hours. We can sleep. Um, goes six hours, seven, seven hours. Let's do it. That should cure the food poisoning as well. There you go. Food poisoning cured. Not so bad. I can actually sleep another. Uh, two hours or so. Let's see if we can eat something. I can drink these. They won't give you food poisoning, even if they're low condition. They become slightly lighter as well, with passing some time. Let's sleep another two, two hours. Alright. Let's uh, let's put some of these down to warm up. Yeah, and then let's do a quick inventory here. So anything I should leave behind? Not really. I guess we can leave these behind. I guess I could take them seeing as I'm just going downhill, I guess. And yeah, three stims. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's looking good. Let's just wait 10 minutes. Let's grab a good torch. That's okay. But let's get one more. Oh, yeah. Let's grab these things. Drink one just to regenerate some extra health. And off we go. And we're heavy, but not extremely heavy. We'll be okay without being too slow. Down there, check this guy for double maple. Maple, maple. Double maple. He usually always has that. And low difficulties, you can also find stims. Then we're going this way. Just go down the slope here. Or go outside the plane and go down uh, another slope. As long as you end up down here, doesn't that's what matters. So right here. Oh, I forgot to change my clothes. I meant to put these on. My bad. We'll sort that out later. Um, let's head down to the uh, hut first. Down, down, down we go. And then I usually go to the right there. Ow. Might bandage that actually, but not right now. I like to have the option to sprint. I'm just heading down here. I don't crouch very often, you see, so I have increased sprain risk because of that. I play a bit recklessly like that. Crampons will reduce the risk of sprains, but only to a certain degree. Dear carcass, which we don't need. Uh, let's do this. I want to be able to sprint. I'm heavy, but not that heavy. Oh, I actually can't sprint. Ah, I know why. Because I'm over 50. Now I can sprint. Not a lot. <laughs> That's a bit. I don't mind leaving things behind, but in this particular case... Um, I want to bring stuff to Mountaineer's Hut. Because that will be the regional base, and therefore you want to leave stuff behind there. Because then you can come back to it whenever you need it. So let's go and check that out. Let's go to the hut. Dump a bunch of stuff. And resituate ourselves a bit. So, we're going to not go down this rope anchor here. I mean, we could, but there's no real point in doing it. 
Much easier to just go past the rope anchor. Uh, and just down here, there's slope. And then you can go down here. Much easier. And here we are. Very nice. And then let's get rid of the other torch that we have, which is this one. There we go. And I think I might read the cooking book, seeing as it does um, level you. Let's see, any wolves around? Not really. Let's go, let's run. We're a bit slow, but that's okay. There we are, back to the hut. So we've uh, done the, the circuit now. We've got the backpack, we got the summit loot, which wasn't much, but we got a stim, a fire strike, and a stress pistol out of it, plus some misc clothing. So yeah, we're good. And now we can organize ourselves a bit and start bringing stuff back to uh, the Mystery Lake and start crafting things. No wolves around at the moment. Uh, I don't think we'll stay here much, very long. We'll probably keep moving right away. We're just going to organize ourselves. But yeah, here we are back. So that was uh, the round trip, but we came out of it uh, being able to carry more stuff. So we now can carry 40 kilos, and once we have the move side satchel, we can carry 45 kilos. So that's uh, always handy. We could make a fire here, uh, seeing as we have the torch. Not really necessary, but I guess we could. And let's organize the inventory a bit. Then we'll head to Pleasant Valley. Alright, home sweet home. Made this, the loop. <laughs> Alright. Let's, um, let's just maintain the fire and make a little fire. I'm not sure if we have anything we need to cook. I don't think so, but uh, we can still just have it going to preserve the actual flame. Come on, little fire. Come on. There we go. Chuck that out there. Uh, let's just put a piece of coal on. Um, so, we have a bunch of stuff. I'm going to dump all this and just organize myself a bit. Now, one thing I always like to do in Timwolf Mountain is I like to leave at least four of these here. The reason being that, and also four of these, the reason being that if I were to get stumped by a moose, Gonna make my climbing days a bit bad. And uh, I like to have the supplies ready. It seems to be acting up, you can usually get these to be closer. Oh. You, know, you can do, you can exit the region and come back, it might work. Alright, let's do some inventory, there's some stuff we don't need. So, start with the books. We're gonna leave all the books here. Uh, I'm gonna take the cooking book, and that's it. We only need three of these, we're going to take one only. We're going to leave a batch of matches here. Uh, we're going to leave this. And we can leave a couple of birch teas. Actually, let's not put them here, let's put these uh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, we can take one of these and stay here too. And a coffee, just for like the plies. And then let's drop like, I don't know, three of them. Then we have a bit of like misc supplies when we come back here. <laughs> that would be fun actually if you could do that. Ah. Boring bandages. Ah, you actually can't. 
Nej. Ja, den här den. Yeah. What else? Um, right, clothing will deal with that in a minute. Uh, food will take with us. Except for six cattails, which we'll leave here. Uh, these we can leave here. Except for one. Uh, storm lantern. We have two storm lanterns. And two axles. We'll leave one axle here. We'll leave the low condition one. As well as this one. That. Uh, this can stay here. I wonder if I can drop any of this that. Gear. Okay. Uh, and then clothing. Uh, so we found wool toques. Um, I'm going to take that back, I guess. This one is technically better, so we'll take that. These are heavy and basically to be crafted. And then we have these, which are slightly better. I'm just going to leave these here. Uh, you can actually do this. It's easier. And this is effectively clothing now. I'm going to take these with me. This is just to deteriorate and then we'll harvest it for cloth or uh, leather at some point. Uh, other than that, I think we're good. We can leave these here because these can be used for our crafting in the future. We can leave these here and we can leave that. I'm going to craft one bandage out of that. I'd like to have four bandages on me. All right, and then flares. Yeah, we can leave the flares here as well because we can take those into black rock. Uh, what else? Oh, let's do this. Doesn't matter if the fire goes out. Um. Oh, it, it did go out. Okay. <laughs> um. What else? Could leave a sewing kit here. I guess that's probably it. Yeah. I'll repair the. Oh, yeah, actually. Uh, take one of these with us. I want to repair a couple things. All right. Uh, that's it, I guess. So let's eat something. Let's eat these. Drink these, rather. There we are. And then let's take... Now we need to take this stuff. Well, actually, the hide... Uh, this hide can stay here. This can stay here. Because this is... I already have a hide curing in Pleasant Valley, so this can stay here. To just uh, be a backup. To be uh, an extra satchel or the cloak or something. But these, we want to take all of this. Uh, the guts can also stay here. Um, there's no point taking those. And yeah, I guess that's it. So yeah, thank you, Mountaineer's Hut. I will take instead uh, some pieces of meat with me. Let's take two or something. We got so much food anyway. All right, so we're out of here. We're going to head to the bunker. I might read the book there. And spend the night. Maybe eat some more food poisoning stuff. <laughs> Well, if we go, we're done with Timberwolf Mountain and Ash Canyon. Still got some arrows left. More importantly, we have this. Yeah, we are good. I haven't found that much good clothing, actually. Like, for example, if you look at my trousers, still walking around jeans, and only one of these. Um, there's a lot more clothing to be found that's better than this, like uh, combat pants. That's pretty rare, but you can find some. Uh, cargo pants uh, are great. I haven't found that. Uh, you can find... Um, the ski jack is pretty much the best non-crafting outer. Same with the fin wool sweater. But um, I haven't found any more thermals. Only one wool sock. So my gear now is like okay. In terms of found clothing, it's like a uh, it's like a seven star setup, seven out of ten, you know. But in terms of overall, in terms of what you can get, it's like a five out of ten. Also, we have the air wrap, so that's good. Let's head to uh, the bunker, 
because the weather is so good, we will maybe continue straight to the farm. We don't really have anything going in the bunker as such. So we're gonna head there. Uh, we can always spend the night in the farm. So things should be cured now. Uh, some of the stuff I picked up is not cured. But when I get to Mystery Lake, everything I left in Mystery Lake will be cured. And the stuff I left in the cave... When was that? That was around here, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's not going to be quite cured, but not, not too far off. I'll probably craft with it when I get back to Mystery Lake. Yeah, what I might do, I might hop into the bunker and read for like one hour, just to gain some warmth back. Uh, but we'll keep going, at the very least until like Draft Dodge's cabin or something. Or the barn or something like that. But here we are. Thanks, Tim Wolf Mountain. We're off. And then, uh, as I usually do uh, when I get to this stage, I show the shortcut down. So normally, of course, you just uh, climb the rope down to um, the Pleasant Valley. But if you are coming back here and you're carrying a bunch of stuff, maybe you took a bunch of stuff from the summit or something, you know, then maybe a bit heavy and you can't climb down and you're a bit frustrated. You don't really want to go back down and up and back up again. Wow, what am I saying? Down and back up again. Well, there's a shortcut you can do to skip the rope entirely. It's pretty easy, actually. Uh, there's two ways. You can go on to the left of this rope, but it's very risky. Wouldn't recommend that. Instead, when you look at the rope anchor, go to the right. And then it's very easy from here. You just follow this little ledge here. So you reach this little separation, this little split go into that and now you should start crouching because if you don't you can fall too far and then you go here and then try and get down here without taking damage usually if you take a little bit of damage there that's okay same thing here you crouch and then you get as close as you can and there you are and then carefully make your way down and you get all the way down without taking any damage uh, but don't worry if you did take damage it's uh, it's, it's not unusual <laughs> Ah, oh, wolf. Alright. I'm going to warm up uh, by reading one hour of this. We're getting close to cooking level 5. Uh, it's barely um, warm. But it's alright. Uh, warm enough, especially this late in the day. That's uh, actually... No, I won't grab the saplings, I don't think. I'll grab some other ones. And now we're here. Uh, I think we checked Skeeter's Ridge already. We're just going to head down to Draft Dodges, really. We gotta be a little bit careful with wolves here. I'm still carrying a bunch of moose meat and stuff around, so I'm still smelling a little bit. Alright, let's see here. I still need to kill another bear, but I'm gonna do that in Mystery Lake, I think. I think both bears are on the west there. There's the pond and the clearing. So we'll do that. And we can eat all the bear meat we want. Once we are cooking level 5, which is really what we want. So over here is Skeeter's Ridge. And we have uh, the wolves. There's usually two wolves here. Sometimes they mind their own business, sometimes they don't. And then there's two ways down. You can take a... You can walk back to the cave near the uh, plane. You can do a shortcut down, which would be the, uh, let's just call it the... Um, 
speedrun shortcut, or you can do a shortcut here. Uh, I was going to go a bit further, but there's a wolf there, so I'm just going to see if it's possible to go down this way. It's possible to get down almost anywhere in the long dark. It's not difficult. Here, for example, you can see it. You can see that it slopes. So I've actually never been here before, but you can see that it's perfectly possible to get down here. Because it slopes very uh, evenly. And uh, that's all she wrote. And then I think you can do the same here. Let's check. Yep. Pretty easy. I think we'll make our way all the way to the farm actually. And we'll sleep there and read a bit there. We don't really need to stop here and draft dodges. And because I know the stuff in the cave hasn't cured yet, it needs another two or three days. I'm not in a hurry to get there. Uh, so I can always read the books and repair a bit and things like that. Alright. So we're doing really well here. And I'm just going to take a little sit rep in uh, the farm. And go from there. So now we collected everything and we're really just making our way back to where we came. And then start crafting really. And once we've done that. We are pretty much golden. And then it's really about doing a little bit more crafting after that. And that's about it. it was, uh, I've been smelling a little bit ever since I left... Um, uh, well, Pensive Pond, really. Uh, because that's when I cooked the moose and the bear. So I've been kind of attracting wolves a little bit more than necessary. But that's alright. Then the moose meat's been quite handy. Oh, there's a lot of saplings over there, but I'm not gonna grab that. I have enough arrows at the moment. Wolves? Yes? No? No? Alright, good. And let's head to the farm, uh, have a little breather, we'll read a bit, maybe even take the whole next day just to recover some health. Um, maybe do some repairs or something. And uh, then we'll move back into Mystery Lake and everything, everything in Mystery Lake is cured. But everything we got when we killed the moose is not cured yet. It takes 10 days for the moose and we killed it like 7 days ago or something. Was it? We killed it here. Well, like somewhere here. We're missing uh, at least two days. <clears throat> That's alright though, it doesn't have to be cured when we get it. But it would help because then we can take it to the dam. And then we can craft the Moosehide Satchel in the dam. So that'd be quite good. We can also stop, of course, at the fishing hut. If the weather permits. And cook some more bear meat and level up cooking that way. Place to rest. So here we are. All the howlings out there in the orchard. Alright. We are safe. I'm gonna go in here. I don't know exactly what I put in here. We don't need that. Uh yeah, this can all stay there. All right, so we're going to just first, we're just going to read. Let's read an hour at a time, because I'm not sure how far we can get before we get dehydrated. But I think let's eat um, one of these. I'll have a drink. Uh, let's just drink these. I like getting these out of the way. They are pretty good, though. They don't weigh much. They give calories. They give hydration. 
but it's like getting rid of them to have less stuff in inventory, you know? Uh, let's actually maybe go upstairs to the beds before we uh, get too tired and we can't see everything. So, let's read some more as much as we can. Do another hour. Can we do one more hour before we get too tired? I think maybe we can, or maybe just barely not. Let's try. I think it does work, yeah. But the next one we can't. We need to sleep for that. Uh, so let's instead can I grab some curtains or something. I haven't done that already. Okay, they seem to have been harvested already. I'd like to do some repairs. Uh, I seem to have done that already. Uh, over here, that curtains. Yes, curtains and towels. So let's do that. Grab that. Grab that. Uh, fun fact, when it's too dark, you can't use tools to break things down. But you can still use your hands. Makes kind of sense if you think about it. Because you're kind of feeling is feeling around with the uh, with the uh, the hands. I can do some repairs in the morning. If you don't use a trick like this. You don't actually light it, and you don't use the fuel. And you can find your way without burning the the, the oil. This doesn't actually take any oil. A bit, a bit like a horror game now, though. See, but it does work. <laughs> All right, uh, let's uh, let's try and not get food poisoning in right now. Let's eat some more moose meat. Then have a drink. I'll sleep ten hours. Should recover a bit of health. Then we can read some more next day. Do some repairs as well. Uh, finish eating this. Drink that. And read the last hour of this. There we go. And then I want to repair some stuff. Um, trousers are not great anyway, but these, this is the wool socks, I want to repair those. Is that a blizzard? That's better. These are also not great gloves, but we'll still repair them. We can make better gloves when we get to Mystery Lake. Okay. This should be repaired. Hour though. Do it anyway. And I guess that's okay. Alright, let's head downstairs. And sort out some stuff here. So here we can put in cloth. One. Oh, I forgot to dump these when I was sleeping. Because one of them is not cured, but well, not a big deal. Okay, uh, I think that's good. No, we don't need that. We can put these in here. These two. This. Uh, this is now just a burn. And I think we can just leave. We don't have anything else. This isn't an established base yet. So we can just leave it. Uh, how cold is it? Oh, it is pretty cold. Wolves. Might sleep an hour in the barn to warm up a little bit. And we'll get a little bit of energy back to maybe one or maybe two hours actually. And the world should be warmer. As we're progressing now in, further into the the days, 
the world is now colder than when we left it. So when I left Mystery Lake, the world was warmer than it is now. So uh, that's why it's more noticeable that it's cold. Let's go in here. And we'll head up to the fishing hut. Because maybe we want to cook a few things to level up cooking some more. So here we can sleep for two hours. Just by going into the hay here. Two hours. And then it should be warmer. There we go. Alright, so it's still cold. Maybe not as cold as it was, but still cold. I think we can run a bit though. How heavy are we? Not heavy at all. So we can safely run a bit. I don't think the snow is going to stay. It doesn't look like snowy weather. In terms of the sky, I mean. I could be wrong. So we're now heading back up to Pensive Pond and basically retracing our steps. We're going to go back to the camp office. With all the stuff we found, most notably the pelts and whatnot. And then we're going to do a crafting session. And just upgrade our gear. And then after that, we kind of collected all the important bits. I mean, the only other item that hasn't been collected is the ballistics vest that you can find in Blackrock. But do we need the ballistics vest? Um, not really, no. Um, but we can, we can get it, but we don't really need it. Uh, you can get it if you want extra protection against uh, animals. It is actually possible to become immune if you have the ballistics vest and then the right clothing combination, like moose cloak, for example. It is possible to be mauled by a bear and take zero damage because you're so well protected. But you take a, your clo clothes take a lot of damage instead. Things get ruined very easily. All right, uh, how much wood do I have? I don't have that much because I left a lot behind because it was too heavy. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Let's see what we got up here. I imagine the moose has respawned. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. Not this soon. Rabbits. How are we doing with cooking? We are close, but still a little while away. We do a bit more cooking to get there. If I don't floor, but... And it should be meter. I can't see it for some reason. But once I get closer, yep, yeah, there it is. Um, I could take a few moose meat with me. Just to cook it later. I'm not really worried about... Um, not particularly worried about... The, the wolves because they are really only in Winding River. So the next opportunity I have, I will cook some of this. And I can leave it uh, in the dam or I'm something like that. Much more. I stink now, but I don't think any wolves are going to come for me. Oh, famous last words. <laughs> famous last words. And the bear should not have respawned. Uh, they do respawn much faster in the early days, but um, very quick respawn times for bears and moose tend to be mostly before day 10. So if you kill a bear on like day 2, it might come back on day you know, 11 or something. Uh, but after that, not so much. I don't really want to kill this wolf. 
aiming at it will trigger a charge. But I'm not actually aiming at it, so. Alright. We're just gonna outrun it. We might lose aggro, but he's gonna follow us even if we do. some more food. We can even eat one. And we have a lot. <laughs> have a drink. And then we come to our loot. Our good loot. That we left behind quite a few days ago. There it is. So this is close to cured. I'm gonna take it with us. And so these are cured. So are these. Now we're quite heavy, but doable. Uh, might make a fire and cook the meat on the other side of this, but it would be nice, I suppose, to take them with. Uh, I suppose we don't need to. Maybe we should just cook the food here. Yeah. Let's see if we can find some coal. See if some coal has respawned. Then we can uh, have a cooking session. Just to cook the rest of this uh, meat we brought with us. Oh, if only to level cooking. Let's see if there's some coal in here. Should be a couple pieces in here. Yes. On a couple. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Let's go and make a fire in the atrium and cook the rest of this. So we don't have to carry it around. And if necessary, we can sleep in here too because the hides aren't cured. So we might as well, might as well just leave it to cure some more. And while we, uh, cook stuff. But let's do that, shall we? Let's use this pre-existing campfire here. Let's just go here. We can get that rid of that. Put all of this down. Yep. And we're going to light a fire. I'm going to cook the rest of this bear meat. I mean, moose meat. And if we, we could cook teas and stuff if we need to as well, but I'd rather not do that right now. Okay. And we're going to put on quite a few sticks. That piece of coal. And then we're just going to... Cook that, and cook that. Uh, and the rest is good. Yes, all right. We don't really have anything to do specifically, so I think we could safely just wait for this to pass. Cook it that way. Grab, grab. And we can put on a couple more of these. There we go. Water, yeah, we might as well make a little bit of water. Not a lot. But we can do this. Oops. Oh, well. I made a mistake there. Let's see, uh, I don't think I want to carry this around, leave that here, let's eat this one, and drink that, 
And then uh, let's put down the bedroll somewhere. There. Let's just sleep. We can't sleep 10 hours, but we can sleep like nine, I guess. There we go. And we can actually, um, yeah, well, let's finish eating this. What is this? And drink this. I'm running out of water because I messed that up. Uh, you could drink the the unsafe water, but you can get dysentery. I never had that ever. <laughs> Grab all of this. And let's keep going. And we're going to drop some stuff out there. Oh, maybe we'll take it to the dam. Because it would be nice to drop this moose meat in the dam and not here in Winding River. Because then I can return to the dam in Mystery Lake and... Um, and uh, eat it there. So let's keep going. Uh, I think we will just carry this. We might have to kill a wolf or two. To get past Winding River. There's our old campfire. And the exit should be ahead, I think. Oh, yeah. It's a bit weird that you have to stop to light the lantern, but it, you can walk and close it. All right, it's dark, but not super dark. A bit cold. And I think we can avoid the wolves by taking the uh, the top route. Doesn't matter if we get tired, we still need to cure the moose hide a little bit. That's fine. There isn't really anything to loot in the dam because we already looted it. Except for maybe some lockers I didn't open, and that's about it. Funny that kind of a large part of this second video I need to find some place to is kind of going the same place as in the last video. It's just with different purpose. All right. Don't be too afraid of the cold. As you've seen, the way I play things is a little bit, I guess, greedy. But... Um, as long as you have a plan. The most important thing when you play, it's not so much, you know, to just always use your health as a resource or never use it or whatever. Um, what's more important is to always think ahead. I'd always have a contingency. So like now, for example, I'm cold. So I'm losing health. Hypothermia setting in. I'm going to take this route, by the way. But then I'm thinking like, well, how far am I from shelter? Well, I'm just going to the dam and then I'm going to warm up. If I have a full night's sleep, uh, the health will regenerate fully. So this is a risk that's worth it that doesn't have a significant impact on the run. Therefore, I'm not really bothered by the cold. Similarly, if I know wolves are up ahead, I look at my health and I realize that if I have to fight the wolves... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can kill them, but if I didn't, if I missed or something and they attacked me, I probably would survive because I got okay clothing, I got weapons, and I got a lot of health. So I'm not really worried about dying here. It would take a lot. Uh, <coughs> I would have to really mess up or be really unlucky. Oops. 
So you gotta always think ahead. Same if you're uh, traveling and it's very cold out. If it's very cold, do you have a plan? Like, do you know where you could go if you get too cold? Do you have the means to start a fire if you need to? Um, you know, do you have any teas? You don't, in the long dark, you never want to be in a position where you ask yourself, now what? What should I do now? Uh, you shouldn't be in, you should never be in that position in this game. Uh, except for when you're like, hmm, what do I fancy doing next? Do I want to go there or there? You know, you, you don't ever want to be in a position where you don't really know what to do. Uh, so when you're traveling, you need to have a backup route. If something happens, you get caught in a blizzard or you get attacked. Where do you go for shelter? Do you have the means necessary to recover if you do get attacked? Do you have bandages? Do you have antiseptic? Can you sleep? Like, do you have a bedroll? Do you have warmth? Do you have food? Uh, do you have time and resources to recover? Um, that sort of thing. If you uh, if you get attacked by a bear, like, do you have an escape route ready? If not, do you have backup clothing maybe somewhere? Um, that sort of stuff. Like, you, you don't always think ahead, especially moment to moment. This is really dark. I wouldn't recommend doing this without light. I mean, I can do it, but just so you guys can see. Uh, yeah. This used to be buggier than it is now. So, when you play, you want to always think ahead. What if something happens? And usually those some things are predictable some things. Like you, from experience, learn where wolves are. So then you can think, what happens if I don't kill this wolf and I end up in a struggle? Will I survive? How do I recover? What happens if a blizzard hits when I'm walking? How can I stay warm? Can I recover? Can I get to shelter? You know, that sort of thing. Uh, right now, uh, my only threat is, I guess, an aurora happening, but it's really late at night, so I don't think that's going to happen. But it could happen. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen. Here, I haven't looted all the lockers, I don't think, because I think they were locked, some of them. Yeah, this one's locked, so let's open those. That's a very important um, mentality to have in the long dark. It's okay to not know all the areas and not knowing where to go next and that sort of thing. Uh, to explore the game for yourself. But from a survival point of view, regardless of what difficulty you play on, uh, or um, how experienced you are. You want to always think in terms of contingencies. How do I get out of the situation if something happens? If a blizzard hits, can I survive it? Um, if a wolf attacks me, can I survive it? What about a bear? I, there's a moose. I want to kill the moose. What happens if the moose stomps me before I kill it? Does that matter? Are you going to climb shortly after? If so, you have to be extra careful. If not, it's not that big a deal if the moose stomps you. So you always gotta think ahead, right? So for example, when I killed the moose in Pleasant Valley and in Timberwolf Mountain, I was extra careful because if I got stomped, it would make it difficult to get the backpack because it would make it complicated with, with, with ropes. I would have to recover from the, the broken ribs or use stims. But if that wasn't the case, if I met a moose now in the outside the dam, then if I got stumped, it would be annoying, but it wouldn't be that big a deal. You know? So you want to always make sure that you have the, the means necessary to survive. Alright. So yeah. So yeah, you always want to have a backup plan or, or not a backup plan necessarily, but a, a contingency. So that if some, sometimes of course unexpected things will happen that are outside your control. Like for some freakish reason there was a wolf in a position it shouldn't be or a bear or something. 
But of course, there'll be occasions where things just happen and you can't do anything about it. And that's just how it is. But most of the time when you're playing this game, even if something, you know, unfortunate happens, you have a measure of predictability to it. And even if not, you want to be prepared for a, a, uh, an eventuality like being attacked by a wolf or a bear or getting caught in a blizzard or something like that. Okay, let's see. Um... I think I'm actually going to continue going to the camp office. I'm actually not that heavy, so I think actually I'm just going to walk with all my stuff yeah, and cure it there, I think. And the rest of it can cure like craft stuff. Uh, we might need a little break though in the trailer. Cause it, it was really cold. Who left the gate open? Who was that? Uh, he's bugged out. He's kind of... Okay. I think he can't get to me or something. That was a bit scary. How <laughs> he just looked like that with those eyes. There's another wolf. Hey. I would harvest them, but I'm quite cold, so um, I might grab the hides, though. <coughs> Could use that in a coat craft or something. But I need to wait a little bit. We're actually going to take a little break here. Warm up a bit. Let's sleep for like an hour. Let's drop all this stuff while we are handling all that stuff. So let's sleep for like an hour. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, we got a little time for things to cure anyway, so we might as well... Uh, we can drop this here. Do not attract more wolves. And then, at the very least, I need the hides of these things. Is this actually sunny? Let's see. Uh, it is, okay. Can I... The wind is coming from there. Is this in shelter? It is. Right. Let's make a fire then, because we got the... Um, the maglens. Come on, little fire. You don't normally see two wolves there, so that's a bit weird. And I had a smell, but not a lot of it. I think maybe it came from Looks like a new day is dawning. Um one may have come from over there Perfect. and one from the river maybe. Put two of these on. And water. Yeah, we don't have much water, so let's make some water. Two liters. And let's see, can I grab this? Not yet. Let's actually put one of these down. <coughs> and let's drink it right away. And let's see, can I reach this? Minus one. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, can we cheese that a bit? Like, do this or something? No, we can't. Okay. I can just barely reach it there. Alright, let's... Um, grab all of this. Alright, the wind died. No, I did. I'm not sure it did. Five. All right. <laughs> it's uh, a lot of crows. Let's get the hide. There we go. Twenty and fifteen. 
You don't need the guts, I'd say. We can grab uh, two kilos of this. Barely cold doing it. And it's cooked. It's boiled. Um, that's enough water for now. Actually, we'll we'll cook stuff. A small piece. That's better. There yeah. And let's see. Let's grab this well. I'm also doing this level cooking. Also, be some extra food just in this area. 28, 28. Uh, let's grab the pelt then. Uh, when it, uh, the cogs is, is not frozen, it takes just as long with your hands as it does Starting to feel with um, the knife. So, you might as well use the hands. Alright. Let's go inside with these two wolf pelts and then they can cure a bit. I don't think we need the uh, guts. Alright. That's cooking. I think we could harvest the guts seeing as we're not doing anything else. We could harvest them and just leave them here. <coughs> Maybe use... I can use the knife, it's fine. Twenty-two, twenty-two. Get some harvesting uh, skill level up doing it, so at least it's that. Okay. Grab these guts. Take this uh, wolf meat as well. And let's put... Put the guts in here. I like putting the meat by the door. Uh, to the dam, because then it's less accessible to wolves. So I like... Putting the meat over there. Uh, let's actually wait until I cooked all the stuff before I do that. Uh, let's see, 48 minutes. Anything to do while we wait for that? Not really. That ball is on its last legs. Let's see here. Let's eat one of these. There we go. And I guess we just gotta cook this. Okay, what do you want? Yeah. Uh, I think we just pass time for that. I have two left. Now I'm gonna make a little bit of water for that. Would drink almost oh, anything wait. This is now. about to go out, so let's add some sticks. Can we map this? No, I didn't think so. Add a drink. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, yeah. Like half a liter. Alright, now let's grab all this wolf meat that we cooked. And we're going to put it over here. I just prefer putting food and stuff over here. Because then it can stay out of reach of the predators. And then when I come here again, you know, it's very... Uh, this is a transition area, so then you can find food there. So now, if you think about it, I have kind of like a food path. So I have food at the camp office. And let's say I'm traveling from the camp office to Timwolf Mountain, right? 
I have food at the camp office. I eat something. I get here to the dam, and there's food there at the dam in case I need to have a break. Then I have food also in Pleasant Valley at the in the cave, um, just outside the cave, and I have it also in the fishing out. I don't have anything uh, in the farm which I need to sort out, but then I have supplies all the way to Tim Wolf Mountain and the hut, and there's food there too. So uh, I kind of like have a path now. So traveling between Mystery Lake, Pleasant Valley, and Tim Wolf Mountain has food supplies. Uh, along the path so now I can travel freely between those areas without having to worry about hunting or anything There we are Let's grab a torch. Let's grab another torch actually How heavy am I? A little bit heavy uh, I think we can keep walking even if we're a little bit heavy and tired Uh, depends how heavy though, I might have to uh, sleep. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are going to be a bit heavy, unfortunately. How heavy are we? Uh, uh, that's doable. Let's, uh, let's continue. I smell, but I... I think, especially if I take the route over Lake Overlook, I think we'll probably be okay. We also, we have fire. And uh, we killed the two wolves that were here. How much do we smell? Two. The wolves by derailment could come for us, feasibly. They could come and... Uh, an attack, so we have to be a little bit aware of that. Seems like it's clearing up, I think. Uh, yeah, I wanted some more birch. If only to make more teas for leveling up cooking. I'm heavy, but I'm carrying a bunch of stuff back home. And then we should be well equipped at the end of this. Uh, there we are. Let's see if I can manage to light this torch. Yeah, there we are. Okay, because we smell so much, I'm gonna take the overhead passage. Uh, to the camp office. I'm not going to go through the railman, it's too risky because there are too many wolves. I'll be alright though because I have fire and I have um, I have um, the bow and I have lots of health but I'd rather not use the bow if I can help it. So I'm gonna go over over the hills and far away. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here. Of course that happened, even with the thingies. And I think... Should I use my torch? Yeah, I guess so. We don't really need to cook anything though. We could let this fire die. It doesn't really make much difference. So, uh... We'll see. I think I'll probably let this torch die out. Yeah. See, how fast can we run? Not very fast. I don't know if this route is intended, but I think it is that you can go here. Because for one thing, um, going up this route is one of the secret bunker locations. Uh, not as far as this, but a bit back there. And also up here there's limbs and there's uh, branches. And it's like perfectly passable from the cave up there but i think this is this has always been like a plateau area that was always intended that you could actually explore let me just see if there's birch bark here seeing as there's trees uh, 
Um, oh, there is bush. <laughs> I don't think I've ever looted that before. I'm not going to go down there, though, for that. Just for that. That's, uh, that's good to know. I didn't know you could find that up there. I wonder, actually, I've never done this before, but I wonder if we can go this way. And go around rather than over and down. That would be interesting. Let's see if it works. We're very close to home anyway. I don't think I've ever walked this particular route before. But it would make sense that you could go here. By the way, I apologize if my voice sounds different but, uh, now and then. Uh, long videos like this um, are usually recorded in multiple sessions. And then uh, sometimes my voice gets tired between sessions or sometimes it's different days. And I might be cold one day and not the other <laughs> or something like that. But generally I try to keep things consistent if I can. I try to not record videos if I have a cold or something. Oh, you can go this way. I'm not sure it's worth going this way, but you can. That's uh, good to know. Yeah, it's uh, probably slightly faster, but way more with sprain risks. I'm not sure how much I would recommend going this route, but now we know you can go here. And we're still relatively warm, which is great. And we're gonna start crafting to get back. Looks like that we are going good. home. It's a bit we'll make it. There we are. Okay, so you can go that route. I'd never done it before, so I wanted to give it a shot. You can go that route, uh, but it didn't look like a it wasn't a great option. <laughs> Too many sprains. Don't bother with that. There we are. All the way back home where we started. Where we had cooking and gear and everything. So we've done the whole trip now. All the way to Ash Canyon. And back. But we brought back all the goodies. Including the backpack. As well as the, uh, the hides. But let's see here. We got some food out here. Uh, that's wolf meat though. What food do I have on me? Quite a bit. I'm gonna drop like three of these out. It doesn't matter if I get food poisoning or whatever. Oh, how is my cooking actually? Uh, still a little while. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. <coughs> and I'm gonna put the moose side over here. And then we have wolf hides here. We're going to do quite a bit of crafting now. We have rabbits. We have deer. And guts. We'll put them in this little pile here. And a bear pelt, which is also cool. Yeah. All right. Let's do some inventory also. Uh, as I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. So let's see here. So, um, we can put some matches in here. We don't need that many. We don't need two of these either. Uh, here, I'm going to put one stim in here as a backup. One of these in there. One of these. Uh, clothing. Yeah, just carrying that stuff. Food. Oh, there's no point. We can put the these in here. Yes. Uh, flare. Yeah, let's put a flare in there. Mm -hmm. The arrowheads I'm going to take. Yeah. All right. Let's go down here and have a little look. Uh, I left stuff here as well. Right. And are these... This is a cooking book. I would like to read that. Okay, and here we have that, yeah, okay, we could actually make four arrows, and I think we are going to, let's do that, let's make some arrows first, I'm going to use this, uh, but then it's faster, <laughs> and 
we level some archery while we're at it. There we go. Put the stuff back in here. So we put in that. Uh, we're going to leave that here. 93. All right. <laughs> Stop talking. Eh? Uh, okay, we can start crafting. So let's do the easy one first. We need mittens. I think it's three for that. So... Uh, the rabbit mittens, where are they? Oh, mitts, okay. Four and two. Okay, so let's grab one, two, three, four, one and two. And we'll start crafting that now. Uh, the mittens, yeah, let's do two hours. And then I think it might be too dark oh, after that. I'm going to eat one of these. Have a drink. I'm gonna do lots of crafting now. We'll keep doing this as long as we can. Okay, it's too dark there. That wasn't very far. It's easy to navigate the uh, camp office, even in the dark, because the windows always give a little glow. So it's very easy to see uh, where you are. Uh, we can sleep the full 10 hours here. The bear coat and stuff take a while to, to craft, so depending on how we get on, we might have to actually um, hunt as well. Let's eat another one. And I could eat these when I sleep next, because I'm full health. And we can sleep another two hours. Actually, we don't need to sleep, because it's uh, light now. Yeah, the sun is over the horizon, so we can now continue crafting. So let's finish making our rabbit mittens. Let's make a note. So at the moment we have plus 13 warmth bonus from our clothing. That's good. But let's see how high we can get it before, after this crafting is done. So it's plus 13 now. Let's finish this first. All right, there we are. So that's the mittens done. Nice. Next, uh, I think we'll make the bear coat probably, or maybe the trousers. Um, no, I think we'll make the coat. Yeah, we're gonna make the coat. So with the coat, we need two and four. So let's grab the cured one and the other cured one. <coughs> And we'll start making that. Uh, why can't I? Oh, my bad, I forgot the guts. One, two, three. Let's start making that. <laughs> and we need to use the knife for that. This is going to take a while. So we'll do five hours. And I am tempted to maybe go kill another bear while we do this. Because then the other hide can cure while we craft it. Uh, let's do that the next day though. Not right now. We'll start crafting it now. If I could make this. Okay, actually that's great. Let's do that first. It makes it much easier. Let's just drop. Uh, uh, do we have... Yeah, okay, we started doing that. Drop that. Along with this. <clears throat> then I want to grab two of these. Wait, was that cured? It wasn't. No. That's cured. All right. I want to make the satchel ASAP, so we're going to start doing that, because then we can carry more stuff. So that's, that's the priority. Let's do that first. It makes move moving so much easier. Let's do as long as we can. Okay, it's too, too dark now. Uh, let's go back to sleep then, as long as we can. And again, uh, should I eat this? Yeah, why not? Uh, how far am I actually? Uh, yeah, it's still a little while. Let's just do it. Good food poisoning is fine. 
Wow, I didn't get food poisoning from that. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Alright. Uh, drink. And we can sleep maybe 9 hours, but we'll put 10. Alright, it is almost daylight. So let's just wait. So it is daylight. Which will be there. And then we'll continue crafting. I'm going to be dehydrated a little bit because I don't have that much water. So I'm going to wait a little bit. Let's go back. And then we are going to finish this. And 1% is going to break. Yeah, it broke. Let's do that. And there we go. Moosite Satchel secured. Change it with that. There we go. Look at that. We can now carry so much more stuff. Insane difference. Now, I do need to get a bit more food. Um, how long does it take to make a bowl? I need a drink. Because um, my bowl doesn't have much. Takes a little while. I need to make another bowl. I'm going to stay uh, dehydrated for this. And then I need to go kill another bear. All I can think about now I can uh, drink. Let's eat first, though. Let's eat this. Let's also get rid of some miscellaneous food, like this, for example. And I guess this. And then we have a drink. And then I'm going to make this bowl. And then I want to go hunt the bear. Because I want a second pelt, and I want to cook the bear as well, to get to cooking level 5. So there we are. Uh, let's put the old bow out here for later use. What I often do is, um, when bows are low condition like this, I leave them out. Particularly if I'm going far. I'm not going that far this time, but fighting a bear, I don't want to have this situation. So what I then do is I leave them, and then later in the game when I... Uh, have a few of these, like two or three of these in low condition. I then pick up all of them and I use them for hunting until they break. That's one way you can do it. Alright. <clears throat> I'm quite light. Yeah, let's get rid of this thing here. We got a bunch of arrows. We got everything we need, really. Um... Uh, we can carry more stuff. Yeah. All right. We're going to go find another bear. Some more wood would be good. But other than that, we're good. So, I'm pretty sure there's only two bears in Mystery Lake. And they are where I killed the last bear. Which is Unnamed Pond. As well as the clearing. So, we're going to head to Unnamed Pond. To find the bear. The bear should be respawned. Now, what... Why are there wolves out here? Oh. There's three wolves out here for some reason. <clears throat> kind of blocking my path. Let's go over them then. Yeah, you howl. I'd rather not <laughs> interact with them if I can avoid it. You go back to wherever you were going. Okay. So, I want to kill the bear that's down here. I want to cook it. I can also check for the moose, if the moose is here. Um... Because it's going to take a while to make the bear. As you can see, it takes like 40 hours to make. 
So while we are making one, we might as well cure the heights of the other. Because even if we wake up early and then start making it, we can craft for... Uh, where is it? Okay, there it is. We can craft for at best something like 14 hours, and it's going to take us at least three days to make the whole thing. Uh, so I'd rather have it curing while I'm doing that. So I'm going to find another bear. Kill it. Is that the bear right there? It is the bear right there. So I'm going to kill the bear and then have the hide curing while I cook it. And then I'll take it back to the camp office. And then uh, go from there. I want to see if I can get the bear to come closer to the hut that's over here. <clears throat> because if I can, it will be a lot easier to harvest the bear. But let's see if I can get him to get closer. Let's get his attention. Should make a noise. Are you gonna see me or what? I'm right here. Hello. What's the matter with you? I'm right here. Hey. Okay, he's just like doing his own thing. There we go. Wow, that was no that was no deal. Now come here. I want the bear to come closer to the the cabin. It's a lot easier uh, that way to hunt it. Careful that he doesn't attack me. <laughs> uh, going over hills is always a little tricky, but it doesn't take much for you to get a little bit too close. Are you coming or what? He should still be on me, so. There you are. There's another trick you can use is you can um, you can utilize the door, so you can shoot the bear, and then just use the door as uh, as cover. So you you shoot him and then you go inside. The easiest bear to kill, if you ever want to practice killing a bear, is the bear in Mountain Town. Because there's a bunch of cars around that bear. So you can shoot the bear with an arrow, hop into the car, and it can't hurt you. And then when he turns his back to you, you just uh, shoot him again. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I'm getting quite cold here. I'll check for the moose another time. There are a bunch of bear meat out there. Now let's see, vantage point. Uh, vantage point. Well, we can actually go do this. Like, so you shoot and you go inside. Let's see if I can hit him from here. Like that. <clears throat> he might be running though. I'm hoping he doesn't. Hey, water. Nice. Let me wait a little bit. He might be fleeing. I'm really hoping he's not fleeing. But he could. Let me go back outside. Remember to crouch.
Damn, he's fleeing. Alright, now I have to actually chase him. That's a shame. Now I have to find him again. If you can hit him while he's fleeing, he'll come back to you. Okay. Where are you? You ran this way, okay. <clears throat> Tracking the bear. I need to. F There's a wolf around here somewhere, too. Well, if we're lucky, <laughs> we'll run back to the camp office. That will be good. But I don't think we'll be that lucky. But at least we're setting in the right direction. I think I forgot to pick up one of my arrows. I think one of them broke. We'll find out later. Okay. His uh, tracks are disappearing now. So I need to follow the blood trail now, which makes things a little bit more complicated. Looks like he's heading up this way. I've never been a big fan of the tracking system in the long dark. I think it's too subtle. Like, see this? Is Ow, it's really hard to track this. And I must say, I don't really like how that's done. You know, I already lost it because of that. Oh my god. But it's there somewhere. Um... Oh wow. Okay, there's the trail. There we are. I have no clue where the rest of it went. I mean, this is. I don't really like this. Um, I think this part could be better. Because it's really not intuitive. Okay, is that going down or is that going up? Ow. That hurts a bit. Mm, I might have to find the bear later. Because this is very hard now. Um, oof. Yeah, no, I'm not sure this is even worth trying, to be honest. I think this, partic this particular part of uh, Long Dark I, is one aspect I don't really enjoy. I think they could have designed that a bit better. Like the way it is in the beginning where you see the prints and then the blood, I think that's pretty good. But then once it's only the blood, it's it becomes very very difficult. It's just this tiny little dot on the ground, and then the animal runs up in you know, the mountains, and you lose track, and then it becomes frustrating. So I think uh, let's <clears throat> let's check the journal if it's, he's dead. Bears killed three. So he's still running around somewhere. He's not dead. Though so he is somewhere. Running somewhere. And we just need to find him. Um, he could be anywhere. I think we're better off going inside uh, by the trailers, maybe, and waiting. This is gonna. We need. Uh, we need the crows. Oh well. Wow. Because uh, that bear could be anywhere. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to uh, wait till morning and then go out again and listen for crows. 
Because I have no clue where this bear could be. We'll sleep off these sprains as well. See, I lost the track there on the hill. Ow. <clears throat> That's a shame. I would like to find him though, because I would like to have the other pelt. Or hide. I don't I think the bear ran place. as far as this. But you never know. You never know. In any case, I'm gonna rest in here until the crows are out. And then see if we can find the bear. He is dead somewhere. Or he will be dead somewhere. And if not, it will reset and go back to the pond. Well, that wasn't a very successful attempt. But we'll find him. We'll find him. Oh, that scared me. That's <laughs> a deer. <laughs> All right, there's a pry bar here. I'll oh, we'll grab it. Oh, I haven't actually been here. Okay. Well, in that case, we might as well check out what there is in here. If anything. Uh, not much. Okay. Alright, we're gonna sleep in here then. Let's, uh... Eat this. I'll have a drink. And we'll just, uh, wait, really. We need to wait for, for dawn and then the crows to come out. <clears throat> Don't really have any choice. Look at all that. Do you think we healed enough? <laughs> uh, let's I'll have a little drink here. All right, let's see um, if we can find this bear. The crows should be out now, I think. Uh, no, it's not because it's a blizzard. <laughs> Okay. See what's in the other trailers then. While we uh it's not really a blizzard, it's just like a thick storm. We need crows. Driving gloves. Not much else. Yeah, we need to find the bear. I suppose, is there a... Um, there is a hole here. Ah, look at this also. Wilderness kitchen, that's great. We can actually use that. We need to make some water anyway. But well, I can wait a little bit. Usually there's a jerry can somewhere in here. Not always, but usually. Let's see if we can find that. It usually it's on the shelves. Uh, not today, I guess. Can I sleep one more hour, maybe? I'm tired enough. Just a little bit. Alright. God, I did anything right about now. Still two. That's my. Okay. We can make a fire and just make some water here. Is the deer still around? Mm, no. All right. Let's uh. Let's see if the bear is dead. Is the bear dead? Let's kill three. Okay, so it's reset then, if that's the case. If that's the case, we might as well uh, just go for it now. Then he will be back in the pond somewhere. Because if he's not dead, then uh, he's still... he's gonna head back to the pond. 
He might not be there right now, but that's where he's headed. So let's let's go and find it. Let's go and find him. And we can make water and stuff there. I can't feel my There's also bear meat that we can eat. Uh, this bear has proven to be a bit of a uh, an issue. This one a nice clean kill. And then you have to hide, but no. That's not to be. But that's fine. Sometimes these kills go really well and sometimes they go really bad. And this one not, didn't go bad or anything, but uh, it's an example of a frustrating one. Yeah, you gotta keep an eye on him, so don't, don't confuse him with uh, <laughs> these things. There he is. Oh, that's rather one of them. This could be the other bear. It could be the other bear, because the other bear is around here too. But if it is, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Right, where are you? So I'm going to... i do this. All right. I'm going to do, uh, let's see, um, I might do an open kill. Let's see here. I think it's, this is, I think this might be the other bear. Because I don't see any arrows in him. But that's okay, we can kill this <laughs> as well. Can I get up here? I never tried this. Okay, we can. That was a bit cleaner. Yeah. All right. How many arrows do I get if I click on this guy? One. What? One? Did the other one break then? Well, there should be two. Hmm. Is he laying on the other one? So there should be two arrows on him, not one. Ah, it's the other one. Right, so it's quite windy, but let's see. Can I make a fire here? I should be able to. Let's make a fire there. We'll use our accelerant this time. Because I'm already cold. <sighs> Put that on. And let's have the rest of the water. And then we can start harvesting this stuff. Let's start by grabbing two kilos, which we will harvest and cook. And I don't want to lose well fed, so uh, let's eat. I don't want to get food poisoning right now, so I think we will eat these, or at least two of these. There we go. I'm not going to put more fire on to get warmer because... I mean wood on, because the wind might change. That's cooking. Let's grab another two kilos out of this. It would be great if the wind could stop. Alright. 42, let's grab the hide. Getting a bit thirsty. And there's a small risk of parasites, but All right, can I make a fire here? It doesn't seem like it. I need to find food. Has the other bed died? No. And right, we're gonna have to come back for this guy.
Let's eat this. We'll come back for him. But I'm gonna see... I'm gonna see if the other bear is out. If he's back in the, the pond. Because then I can kill him and get my arrows back. Oh, it is really... Really bad weather. I do have some extra water Jesus in this uh, cabin here. So the bear we killed was actually the other bear. I would like to harvest the bear though, because I'd like to get cooking to level 5. Um, so let's see quickly if the bear is down here. Let's go and get some water first. Grab some wood. There's no point housing more of the bear. Oh, we have more to cook here actually. From last time. That's good. And I have a book as well. I don't think having risk of parasites um, means you can't read. Oh, does it? Okay, we can read that. Nice. Let's see if the bear is back in the pond. If he is, I want to get my... He's got two arrows in him. Oh, actually, I think one arrow broke when I shot the bear around here. I think it's this one. Yeah, this is one that broke. So he's got one arrow in him. And I'm guessing he's gone back here. Because he's not dead. Let's see. There you are. I thought you weren't dead. Trying to cheese your way out of this. You're not getting away this time. Well, let's just hope so anyway. options there. Hmm. Hopefully you're not going to come up here. Where did you go? Going back? Come on. Hey, I'm over here. It's a troublesome bear, this one. We also get him in the hunter's blind, of course. I might do a uh, open kill here with the flare gun. Let's get him on here. Oh, you're gonna flee again? Wow, this bear is surprised he fled from that because uh, he was already aggroed on me and I hit him. Usually when that happens, they uh, they don't run away, they attack you. Now I'm going to have to do this again. Ah, so close. They're gonna do this weird lap again. This is a uh, annoying bear for sure. Where are you even going? Uh, it's a little bit easier to find them when it's um, 
and it's day and daylight. Bear. And usually when you hit them like that when they're running away they will turn and they'll aggro you instead running this way I don't need to kill this bear, but he has an arrow in him that I want. And now he has two arrows in him that I want. Well, three. And two, actually. So I would like to find the bear. But it's possible, because he didn't die, that the arrows are somewhere random now. Okay, now I lost track of him. Okay, well, I <laughs> happened to come across it. Where are you going? Okay, now it's a little bit easier to track him in, in daylight. A little bit. I want to see the bear also, so let's do this. Okay. How cold are we? Not cold enough. Okay, bear, where are you? And you got two arrows in you. You've been bleeding for like two days. You should die now. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> to give up. And it's easier to track them in during the day, for sure. Come on. Okay. Uh, uh, did I lose it? Oh god, now what? We go down here? Or did he go up here? Did another track? I lost it. Yeah, it's so subtle. Okay, well. That's right, he's kind of heading back towards where the other bear is. So we're just gonna head back there. I'm just gonna have to find him later. Is he dead? He's not dead. He's still running around somewhere. Or walking around. There he is. He's limping. I don't know, he's not. He's just. <laughs> Can we get him to the second bear? Come here. We want two bears in one place. Hey, come here. You ran all the way back here. Don't you dare die this time or like run away again. Getting cold, but that's okay. If you can die, like, between there, so we can have, like, a perfect shelter, that would be great. Very, very thoughtful. So 
But just come, come here. <laughs> I'm tempted to shoot him with this rest pistol just to make sure. Come here, and then I can shoot you. And then I can use the stress pistol. Now don't run away again now, please. Okay, thank you. And you're in shelter as well, perfect. That bear was annoying. You could give me two arrows. I got one arrow. Two arrow. Ah, here's the other one. Nice, I got my arrows back. Right, it's windy, but I think here is like a really good sheltered position. So I actually carry this with me. Like here. Right here. Because then the, the log protects from the left, the other log from the top. And the bear to the right. So this fire will only blow out if the wind changes to be from, well, from behind me right now. So this is good. And we can cook and we can harvest. We do all sorts of things. There we are. All right, we need to use these two before we get too cold. And I want to uh, put down these as well. I don't know any... Oh, okay. We can harvest. Need to sharpen my knife soon. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna drink these to recover a bit more health. Alright, now. Put that there. And, uh... That, yeah. Right. So now, we have two bears to cook, but we should be able to get cooking level 5 from this. How much is this if I read that? Actually, that will just level us to level 5. That's right, we need to cook this anyway. Um, so we can just do that. Right. The most important thing is harvesting the bear. Because we can cook the meat later. Oh, did it burn? Did it uh, go out? It actually changed to the one direction. That this would go out. Because. Let's uh, see if I can use the bear. The bear's bomb. To make a fire here. Can this be done, though? Go. <laughs> there we are. Every option we got is what we're going to use to get this bear. I blew out as well, that's fine. We're protected now, so let's put that... We only really have sticks, so we'll use sticks. And then, let's see, is this actually cooked, or... One minute, alright, so that will be cooked. So let's put that on here. And we'll eat this. We'll just risk the parasite, it'll be annoying to get parasites. Just before we're cooking level 5, but what are you going to do? Very windy today. Alright, we're now an hour. Uh, let's grab the hide. To make sure we have that. We actually need a 6 spare now because of this, but uh, that's alright. 28, 28. Let's harvest uh, some more then. Need to sharpen this knife. Okay. Just keep harvesting, level up harvesting, cooking. 
repeat, repeat. Yeah. I need some more wood. Oh, this wind is just horrendous. I'm gonna go and get some more sticks. Got a wolf. Hmm. Okay, we got both bears. So that's great. We only needed one, but I happened to kill the wrong one. That's okay. Uh, I'm just going to get as many sticks as I can here. Oh, it's a rabbit. Okay. But I saw something move. I need as many sticks as I can find. There's a bunch of limbs and stuff, but... That's going to take a little too long. So I'm going to grab all of these. Have the fuel to cook as much of this bear as I can. Sticks are life in interloper. That's good. Quite a few sticks. Um, we could maybe grab this one quickly. My fingers are numb. This wind has been going on for like two days now. Is this uh, insane? Right, Thirty-eight minutes. Uh, okay. Let's just keep harvesting this guy then. I'm going to use this for a little bit. Uh, it's cooked. Cooked. Put some more sticks on there. Let's put it up to like two hours. Now and four. Yeah. Warming up. I'm gonna get tired now, but that's alright. The most important thing is getting this stuff harvested, not so much do we cook it, although I would like to be cooking level five. If I can. Alright, nine percent, okay. Let's see what the <laughs> What odds do we have in store? Let's repeat. Alright. Got a drink. Lots and lots of meat, lots of harvesting, lots of cooking. Do this again. Sticks. Ah, oh, the wind is still going. Yeah, just from a different angle. Okay, and again. Feels like night is coming. All right, not too far off. Level five now. Okay, I need more wood again. Um, oh, there's the bear cave over there. Need to find some more wood. Don't really have anything that's easy. Um, I'm just going to have to go out uh, and grab whatever I can find. The old stick. You'd think there'd be a bunch of sticks around when it's clear cut, right?
Right against the wind. <laughs> Should be getting back fast though. But I don't need to cook all of it now, but I do want to harvest as much of it as I can. And this wind is just not giving up. It's just like, no, I'm just gonna throw as much wind at you <laughs> as I can. Uh, it takes an hour to cook the meat though, so I have time to look around for some more sticks. Just to get this done. Uh, some some sticks up here. I love the fire effects in this game. It makes it so easy to find uh, back to your campfire. Okay, here's so some sticks. There we go. Sticks. And might as well. I've been up here already. Uh, see if there's some more sticks over here. Not cold yet. I am tired though. I might need to quarter the other bear. I hate being cold because I really do. One stick, yay. <laughs> Uninvited guest. Isn't that kind of like a uh, oxymoron? If you're an uninvited guest, or if you're uninvited, then you're not a guest at all, are you? I'm gonna kill this wolf or scare him off at the fire. Felt so cold in my life. Hey, wolf! Are you sure you want to get this close? There's like two bear carcasses here. But hey, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a good idea. 28 and 28. Wind is still back there. Put a few more sticks on. Now don't you dare come closer while I'm doing this. He shouldn't, but... You never know. I thought that would happen. Yeah. Billy must be getting close to level 5 now, right? Still a little bit, yeah. Well, we're gonna keep doing it. So. Lots of bear meat. Now we're in five. I think this is just good enough. I would like to get the parasites cured before I eat another piece, but. Done. I think that might be it. I might have to eat another. I could I could eat this. Hopefully it won't give me food poisoning. If it does, then it does. Alright, that worked. Okay, an hour. I think um so we got one bear down. The other bear, should I just risk it? Maybe I should just risk it. Let's see, can I harvest it a bit though? While that's cooking. I think we can. It's frozen, so let's do crouch. Not better. Let's do this. Just in case. Do, uh, 
however long that was, so... Eight kilos. Oh wow, that's really cold. Stop there. Drop these here. Lots and lots of meat all over the world. You just uh, oh, so don't give up, do you? I missed. Wow, well, I can't hit anything suddenly. One, where did the other one go? Oh, one was here that I missed. That wolf ran off with my arrow now. That's a bit of a shame. I can hit a bear that's running zigzag, but I can't hit a wolf that's standing still. And where did the other arrow go? Here we go. Oh well. Okay, here he comes. Oh, we'll find him later. I think we are close to done here for the night. Can I put some more on? I can. I think it will, I think it will be enough. We'll have to see. Yeah. Okay, so how I can carry a little bit more. Yeah, we're quite light even though we're exhausted. I'm gonna have to harvest the other bit later. I'm going to grab some of these. Still moving pretty fast, so. Yeah, that's good. And we'll take... Uh, we'll come back for this. Right what we really wanted was the, uh, the hide. So I think I'm actually going to head to the camp office. From here. Uh, maybe we should sleep in the... Cabin down here though. I think he's head to the camp office. If I get... Parasites. That's going to be really annoying. Because then I need to deal with that. <laughs> so I how is it all of one bear, but the other one only, what, 10, 20% 20, 20 of it, maybe? 25? So potentially that other bear will uh, despawn. But I have a bunch of meat to cook, so once I'm arch archery, once I'm cooking level 5, I have so much bear meat I can just eat. I'm gonna have this out, because if the wolf suddenly appears, I can shoot it. Yeah, we need to head back. Um, I think I left some moose meat outside the camp office, so I can eat that. We could go up to this um, abandoned tower here, but we're not going to. I'm just uh, just uh, taking a shortcut. Oh, we got the bears at least. If anything, one bear too many. But we actually need one more bear now. A sixth bear. To... Um, to make the bedroll, which isn't strictly necessary to make, you can just use a regular bedroll. <laughs> because the bear bedroll weighs three times as much, weighs three kilos. But it gives you so much warmth, so if you have the bear bedroll and you go to sleep in a cave, it will always be warm. So it is worth it, in my opinion. But, um, 
That's uh, that up to each person. So crazy right now. I need to eat my... Okay, you're gonna be right in my way, are you? Okay, we'll kill this wolf. That was a little bit dangerous. Because um, I had very little energy left. So there was a risk there that I would lower the bow before I could shoot. So because of that, I took the shot earlier than I normally would. I wanted to make sure that um, Damn. that the wolf would die. There might be more wolves coming. <laughs> I won't deal with it. We just need to get to the camp office. So if this is you now, like I'm playing very reckless um, because I'm just showing you how it can be done. But I have a plan, like I'm just making sure I don't lose well fed. But even if I lost well fed, I'm going to gain it back because of all the crafting that's necessary. Um, but uh, if I get surrounded by wolves, I have the stress pistol, for example. Or if... If it was a real emergency, I can pop a stim and sprint to the camp office, you know? There's all sorts of solutions here. And I'm probably gonna grab another cattail. I don't wanna lose our fed. And we got quite a while before. Uh hypothermia kicks in, so I'm not worried about that. Rabbits, we could kill them, we don't need to though. Rabbits are at the moment protecting me anyway. If wolves show up, I can uh, shoot the wolf. Now I've actually retrieved all of my arrows, which is great. The only arrow that I am missing is the one that um, it's in a wolf somewhere. <laughs> that one is somewhere. The rest are accounted for. See if we can get this rabbit in front there. Eh? So there's a lot of wolves around. There we go. This is exactly what I had in mind. Get that rabbit. There you go. You eat that. You enjoy that. And you can have this rabbit. There you go. There you go. Now it's just one wolf to deal with, rather than three. Thanks, Barry. I call rabbits Barry. Except for the indoor one, that's Larry. Not to be confused. Mouth so dry. Let's prevent... Uh... Are you trying to catch up with me or something? Thank you all. Mm, you're gonna attack me, aren't you? Mm, oh, I think so. Yeah, he's slightly faster than me. Ever so slightly faster. And he really thought he could zigzag me there. But that could have been the end of Zack there. If I missed that shot and I end up in a struggle, fully fatigued, you could die there. So a safer play would be to have this out. And then you won't die. Alright, we got moose meat. Let's eat it. And that. And then we'll head in there, and we're gonna recover some uh, some health. <laughs> Let's do that. I'm gonna do a sit rep in here. Make sure we're all okay. That bear hide has been cured. These we're gonna drop here. Uh, I have a bunch of meat on me, so actually we don't need to carry all that stuff. Let's drop that out here. Okay. 
carry two. Uh, I have some teas. I'm gonna drink these before I make water. And then we'll have a f good night's sleep. Oops. That. Normal water there? Let's see. It's like unsafe water. Unsafe, yeah, I thought so. I think I have tablets, but that's all right. So let's um let's drink one of these. And then we'll drink what's left of the water. And then we'll have an hour sleep. Do I have any? Oh I do have uh this. Oh well, that's alright. Ten hours. Now uh, let's hope we don't get parasites now. That would be annoying. Okay, we didn't get parasites so far. So what we need to do now is so that's ruined, but that's okay. Uh if I read this, I think I might actually go up to cooking level five. So this needs to be read now. So but then I can eat all this stuff. Straight. So uh we need some water. We don't have water. So uh let's make a fire. Uh how much wood do I have? Not a lot, uh, but we can get some wood. Uh, let's get some wood. First of all, we can grab this. That's four. That's fine. Let's go outside here. And let's grab this piece. Also well cook it. And let's go upstairs. Because upstairs uh, has two slots. Use this to light the fire. We we'll use the pots as well. Uh, e oh, uh, well, it will tell me actually. It will tell me if I want if it's the right one. Oh, then it's this one. All right. <laughs> I'll show you a little trick you can do if you want. If you want to just have uh, a little bit of hydration, just to not take damage, there's a trick you can do. I said I call it the Tomasina trick because it was Tomasina that first did it. Well, the first person I saw do it at least. What you do is you tell it to make some water, and then you just wait. Like a minute or two, like now it says 12, it says 11 or something, yeah. And you grab it, grab it, and then you go here and you choose boil water. And now you have a very tiny amount of water that will take five minutes. And then you can drink that. And then at least you have some hydration very fast. Then you can do it again if necessary. Um, I think we can actually... It's, do that again here. Let's do one liter at a time here to make some. And we can read an hour. Let's read an hour of this book. Be fine. Eleven minutes. More wood would be good. <laughs> There are some stuff I can break down, but we don't really need that much water, I suppose. Okay, we took that. Great. Uh, then we need to... Let's cook this ruined thing. 21 minutes. All right, in that case... This. Anything for a drink right now. And do that. Let's do this. Grab that. That. Let's drink it. And then we got 30 minutes, so let's do... Uh, how much more? Can I make it an hour? No, I can make 45. Let's do that. That, and then that. 
and then we're just gonna let that burn out. So let's read uh, this book now. Do another hour. Grab non-potable. That should have worked. I'll tell you what, though. I think we have some of those things, don't we? Oh, maybe that wasn't here. It was somewhere else. Oh, well. How much water do we have, then? Oh, we still have plenty. That's fine. So let's read the rest. And I hope... Cabin fever is great. This will be enough. I'm starving. Good enough. Just barely not enough. Oh come on! All right, we need, we should really get that to level five because it will sustain us much more. We got cabin fever risk anyway, but we could do we could go out and hunt the deer or something. Probably a good idea. Just get rid of these broken arrows. It's often a deer just outside the door. Let's see if we can get that one. And then we can uh, harvest it, get some uh, food that's actually edible. Just to make sure that we have food for crafting is the idea. All right, let's put these in here, along with these. And then we have one too many of these pry bars. There we go. Is there anything else to get rid of? Not really. You can also craft this. This. We'll wait a little bit. Let me see if I can find it there. Ideally not on the ice. Because it will be easier. Well, actually we got the wolf. Let's see if the deer is around. There's very often a deer going about around here. There he is. Now we can harvest this, and that should give us what we need. Uh, let's grab, we don't have much wood, so let's grab some wood from here. Could actually cut this, this limb, because we're barely cold. But we're going to get colder, so I'm not sure I would risk that. Let's grab these. Yeah, but it might be worth doing it. Maybe. Oh, let's try it out first. Now we can break down two. Let's see here. Minus six, it's getting colder. I don't think it's going to be worth doing. Let's make a fire here. But let's see if I can get some more. Is there any more wood I can grab somewhere? That's a limb. That's a branch, I think. Uh, not a lot. Maybe some here, yeah. Here's some. Okay, here's a little bit. Let's grab this. Yeah, yeah, that's good. There's a bunch. We'll grab these. Gonna use the axe on these to speed up the process a little bit. as much as I can. And I could make the bear uh, uh, cloak and everything, but um, I would like to be as as equipped as I can, because we're going to be 
indoors crafting a lot and I mostly have bear meat so it's better if I can uh, have cooking a little fire and eat the bear meat while I'm crafting I'm starving. and also I have cabin fever risk so I might as well stay out here and uh, and cook this all right let's uh, light a fire here don't really have cover here but it's right in the open but what are you gonna do I need to drop one of these maglins in the cabin come on Lord. come on Yeah. Sure getting cold. There we go. I don't want to lose well fed if I can help it, so I'm going to I'm gonna need one of these for this risk it. One one percent risk I think is. I'm willing to take that chance. Yeah, one percent. Let's uh boil that. And also boil. Okay, then all this melts. No. Right. The hide we also want, but uh, at the moment the priority is the meat. Let's just put these here. Yeah, the boiled. Make a tea, sure. All right, cook this. Grab all this. They won't be bothered by the, the wolf gang. 13 minutes. Uh, that's the case. We can grab one of the guts. We don't really need the guts, but we'll still grab it. Alright, then it's cooked. Alright, and we'll grab the hide. Then we can craft something like a roll sip. There we are. Small piece. Yeah. Uh, we can craft this. <coughs> Thirty seven minutes. Uh, if that's the case, why don't we take advantage and harvest this guy a little bit? Right about now. 37, so in that case, oh, that's a small wolf. Oh, yeah. Got that to cook as well, if we want to. Eleven minutes. Okay, let's do a quick polish of this. It's fifteen minutes. That's all right. Yeah. Yay! We got it. Cooking level five. There we go. That's what we want it. Now we are immune to food poisoning and parasites. But there we are. 32. Rather, 31. We'll go by this, 32. Nice! Alright, now we can eat all the bear meat we want. Uh, I don't know if this actually still is in effect. I think it is. But after this uh, expires, we can never get parasites. Unless we eat raw uh, meat. So we're going to cook all this stuff though. Uh, you know, use cabin fever and everything. 
let's use as much of this as we can. Uh, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. We might as well grab the hide if that's the case. From the wolf. Don't actually need it, but we're still gonna grab it. And we can sharpen our tools. While we cook. There we are. We can eat these, I guess. Did that and that. And let's cook this guy as well. Lots of food now. Uh, yeah, let's eat the bear meat. Don't give any parasite risk anymore. Have a drink. And then this, how long does this have? This has 49, 20. All right, let's do another sharpening round then. I can't feel my hands. Can't feel my legs, Kaiser. And this, 25, let's do another sharpen. Okay, nine minutes. Um, oh, let's do another sharpen then. It's cooked. Do another one. Make some more water. Let's do one liter. I think that's enough. Do some more sharpening. All right, it. Do one more. Now we're going to be using the knife knife less because we are already cooking level five. Eleven minutes. Uh, jointly uh, sharpen one at a time. I'm just going to make water outdoors here for as long as I can. Make it half a liter increments. Hack hatchet is now more important than the knife, but we're also going to be using the knife for crafting. So. I might need to level it a little bit. I mean, sharpen it. Try, try. Go again. Oh, that's wrong. I meant to do this one. I'm gonna sharpen the knife. For crafting purposes. Let's put on, that's enough I think. And we're only going to sleep until it's daylight because then we can do crafting. Yeah, this was done now. I don't think we have any more on us, I don't think, no. All right. Let's grab all of this stuff. Now. We have a bunch of food and a bunch of water. Might have to make even more water though. We'll see. Because it's going to take a while to craft all these things. Alright, Jurassic Park rule. If you're lost, just follow the cables. Thanks Wolfie for the meat. Now we have, uh, other than this 1% risk, that's right now. We are good in terms of uh, parasites and food and supplies. Some more water would still be good, but uh, we can make more if we need to. Um, we can drop some food here. I like to save the big pieces. Of, so bear and moose gives the most calorie per kilo. So I like to try to avoid these until I have to travel because they are efficient for that. Uh, we'll uh, drop this and yeah, we can eat or drink the rest. 
Alright. Let's put uh, the gut here. Put this here. And that here. And I think that is it. Nice. Now we're gonna go sleep until it's daylight, which is only like a couple of hours. That's okay. Hopefully we can craft as much as possible. I'll sleep like two hours. And then we're gonna craft, even if we get tired, because the fatigue damage is so minor, it doesn't really matter. But now it's a crafting session again. Okay, it's daylight. We're gonna continue now with our... Let's refuel this thing with our crafting. Let's grab this. How much is in here, actually? Oh yeah, it's plenty. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's grab for the crafting, which is this. And continue doing that. So, we're making this. And it's gonna take a while, so we've gotta do it in increments. I need to find a place to rest. As much as we can in... I don't want sitting, but it's going to take several days. I don't really care if I get dehydrated, if I'm perfectly honest. Because I'm going to get that back by sleeping. It's mostly the food I'm worried about. And that the knife is going to break. That's another issue. Let's eat. See it again. I just need to close my eyes. Go as far as we can. Taking a lot of dehydration damage here, but I'm willing to let that go temporarily. Oh, it's a uh, Aurora. Hey, parasites are healed. Okay, that changes things. Uh, if that's the case, we are going to get hydrated now. Just keep going, really. Okay. The light went out. Still got green light, but that doesn't mean that the row is active. And we can sleep probably five hours before it gets light again. So let's let's sleep six. to give him a little rest. Let's see here. There we are. Yeah, that's good. And let's eat uh, this. The maple we can keep for now. And because of our health is quite low, we'll dehydrate it. All right, let's keep crafting. We're getting there. The knife is really getting... Getting... Uh, they run for its money. Uh, yeah, we need to... See how much food we need to do these crafting sessions. This is why I wanted to get cooking level 5 and also... Um, Lots and lots of food because it's just so much crafting. The other bear we killed by now will have despawned, but that's all right. I'm just gonna actually craft now as far as it will allow us. Cabin fever risk. That can be cured. There we are. So we have one more session in us, and then that one's done. to sleep in Lake Overlook Cave. Alright, eat. We have a cabin fever risk. <laughs> but we can still sleep, so we're going to sleep for 10 hours. 
regain some health, and then get back to it. I'm just gonna spend probably like 10 days crafting now, or something like that. Uh, okay, that's fine. Eat again. Drink. Yeah. Nice. And then back down to it. A little glow on the workbench makes it much easier to find. Oh, this knife is just getting worn out. And here we go. Bam. We have our bear coat. We're going to put that on. Slightly better, as you can see. We can put this other thing in here. Cabin fever is uh, a little right, so we can keep crafting, really. We can put that in here. It doesn't matter if it gets deteriorated, this thing. And that. This also, these can also go in there. And these are extra ones. I forgot about that. Do you have any? Yeah, we do have. I want to take these. And the other stuff we can leave. Yeah. Alright, nice. I'm gonna keep crafting. Because now, uh, how long has this got left? 28%. We're both 28, right? Yeah. We can craft, though, their um, pants. We're gonna do that. And how many do we need for that? We need three and four. So one. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, we're actually kind of running out of guts here. And to make them, we use sewing kit. I think we have. Uh, we can also make fishing tackles if necessary. How is our cabin fever? I think I'm going to eat this. One more drink to get my health up. Keep keep sewing until we can't do it anymore. All right, let's go and sleep. We can wait a little bit before we sleep, so we can sleep long enough till morning. Let's wait, maybe like two or three hours. I think that should do it. Actually, let's drink this herbal tea. And we can also drink Raishi tea now, because we have so many of them, and we're not going to get parasites anymore. Let's just drink that. And we'll drink as long as we can. Drink, sleep as long as we can, which will be probably nine hours. There we are. Cabin fever is going up a little bit. Uh, do I have sewing kits? No, but I have this. All right. Um, okay. I'm also going to make a, a fishing tackle by making a line first. Because I want to use the fishing tackle instead if I can. Uh, where is it? Am I blind? Should be hook. Uh, there. What? I can't see it. Uh, where is it? Uh, it should be here. There we are. I'm not sure what that was about. I couldn't find it. 
Because if I can use that to uh, craft, it's better because I have only one sewing kit left. So let's try and wait to use that if we can. Let's grab some food. Actually using most of our supplies there, but that's okay. Uh, I could though just ignore the well fed because we're just indoors anyway. And then just get it back after. So that's one way to do it, just to save resources. We're gonna stay uh, tired though. We're gonna use this. We get our first dead pants. There we go. Look at that. Put that on there. <laughs> and I think we can make another one maybe. Uh, let's see, we got... That's not... One, two... Is it three or is it four? Made it, I should know. It's three. But one of them is not cured. So I can't make another one. Yet. Uh, we Can we make the other one of this? No, they have way too long to go. Alright, so then we have crafted what we could. We can still make another one of these. We can still make another one of these. However, we could maybe make the wolf coat uh, while that's curing. It's four degrees. Maybe we could just, this early game also, so we can always do that. One, two, three, four. And how many guts does it require? Four. One, two, three, four. Let's make that then. And we'll use that instead until the bears are cured. Uh, yeah, I can repair the knife, so that's fine. We can sharpen the knife at night, fortunately. And make sure it doesn't break. It will, though. Some people also prefer having a bear coat and a wolf coat because then you can uh, travel a bit lighter and still gives quite a lot of warmth. So we can always do that for a while. Yeah, not too dark now. And then we're gonna go upstairs. Again, sleep, but for, before we sleep, we are going to sharpen this with the whetstones we found. As long as possible. I'm not gonna drink yet, so let's this is basically our crafting tool, so we need to have it as sharp as we can. And it's going to keep going. It's going to take a little while, but it kills some time as well. A little bit faster because I have level sharpening skill. So there's a sharpening skill and a repair skill in the game. There's kind of like a hidden skill. And um, they basically allow you to do things more efficient. So you, you sharpen high percent, like 5% faster. In the beginning it was 3%, then it was 4 and repairs, the repair skill is the same. We're just going to keep repairing or sharpening this as long as we can. Get all the way up to 100% ideally to make sure it doesn't break. Eventually, oh Aurora. Eventually you, you will run out of these whetstones. But uh, that's okay. Um, when that happens you can repair it at the milling machine or you can just make more of them, you know. Not a big deal. Cabin Fever is still <laughs> going. Uh, it's Aurora, so we might as well craft. Put five hours and see what happens. Oh, we can keep going. It's fine. Now it requires light to craft. We can just sleep on the floor and it's just like a couple of hours. But now let's eat these. Then have, now I can have a drink. And let's sleep, uh, we only need to sleep like two hours or something. There we go, and pick that up, and back to it. Do as long as we can here. I'm happy to start stave off uh, dehydration. 
gonna spare my water. We got cabin fever risk. Uh, cabin fever, rather. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this now. Drink a tea also, we got a little bit of hydration in our bodies. We got so many of these also, let's drink some. We're not going to need these unless I get some sort of infection. So they are effectively just water now. Alright, I think you can still craft while you have cabin fever. Yeah. You just can't sleep in here, that's all. I'm so tired, I could lay down right here. Alright. There we go, we ran out of that and we can't sleep because we have cabin fever. So unless an aurora hits again, which is unlikely. Uh, we can't really stay here. So, we're gonna have to go outside. Let's, uh, eat that. And then what we're going to do is, we're gonna go up here. To Lake Olo Cave. And sleep there. And that should, uh, help with cabin fever. Up we go. Why are we heavy? Oh, okay, we're just barely heavy. I'm gonna sleep there. I think with our setup, with our bear coat and everything, we have 20 degrees. Even a regular bed roll should be fine without a fire, pretty sure. I don't think it'll be an issue. Same as last words. So let's make our way up here to Lake Overlook. Uh, there's rabbits we could hunt if we want to, but it's not necessary. Um, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> But the mid game is long because you need to establish yourself as a strong survivor. And that requires a lot of hunting and crafting. Now, this is a walkthrough and I've been explaining everything I do and I uh, I have shown examples and I, all that stuff. But notice that I play a bit reckless though. I uh, kill a lot of wolves and some of the, some of the wolf fights that I had you know, if you want to be safe, don't do it that way. Like, use use the stress pistol instead. That last wolf I killed especially, I only had about one third of my health, and I aimed at it with my bow. If I had missed that shot and then struggle, I could have died. If I'd used this instead, I would not die. So there are ways to make it safer. Yeah, I've been here before, right? Yeah. Let's see, how warm am I back here? Oh, very warm. Okay. So we're going to sleep here. Let's have a drink. Uh, I'm going to use another of my herbal teas. Because I have uh, quite a few of them still. And they're mostly used for... Uh, they are not that important anymore in the game because of birch tea. Yeah, it's 20 degrees. It's not going to get that cold. So Even if a blizzard hits, it's not going to get minus like 10. It's not going to drop 30 degrees in one night. So... There we go, that's fine. And uh, do not sleep indoors for 9 hours. We're not going to sleep indoors for 9 hours, so that's fine. And we might as well take advantage and sleep some more as well. Let's, um, let's have a little drink here. And let's sleep 2 hours. That's a blizzard. Seven hours, but we, we're not going to sleep anymore, so that's fine. Ah, it's not a blizzard, it's a storm. As you can see, our sprint meter has been reduced a bit. Grab this. Because we're wearing heavier clothing now. I always wondered if you were meant to go this way. I, I've always, ever since I played, started playing this game, I've always gone up to Lake Overlook Cave this way, via this route. But I often get the impression you're meant to go the other way, like over the hilltop or up the rope. 
But, uh, you know, it's not like they patched it or anything. <clears throat> and there we are. Safe home. They've been eating a lot of food. Now we're gonna dig into our bear supplies. I'll grab two of these. Alright, let's let's craft. Let's be able to finish this. Alright, wolf skin coat, put that on here. Bang. These uh these can now be used to craft the uh bedroll instead to allow for better traveling. Let's do some inventory here. Is there something I need to repair, for example? Um I can harvest some stuff and I can harvest this for example whenever we're gonna use it. And we can harvest this as well. And we're never gonna use that either. Is there anything we need to repair? Let's see. Only nine. That, that one's poor quality, but we're, we're gonna make another one though, so don't need that really. Oh, these are about to break. They're terrible, terrible socks though. They're really bad socks. Like they're barely even worth having. But at least it's something, so. Yeah. Uh, fine. Oh, this needs repairing, yeah. Uh, the rest is fine. Let's let's repair the hat. We should have a spare. Yep. Yeah. So we need some more guts soon. Uh, yeah, repair this. I uh, failed. Wow. I got cabin fever. I didn't sleep indoors though, come on. Fine. We'll cure it. Oh! I clicked harvest that easy. <laughs> I've done that before. I've accidentally harvested something. Oh, come on. Okay, we have one more. Might as well make a new one at this point. Let's use this instead then, fine. There we go. Well, seeing as we're indoors then, we might as well sharpen things, basically get ourselves situated. Then we can sleep up there. Let's just do this, and then we are pretty much set. Just gonna do some management now. We can actually do that up in the cave, I guess. Uh, let me first just organize my inventory a little bit. Drink, yeah, drink. Let's grab, a, grab some of these. Let's go upstairs. <clears throat> what can I get rid of? Uh, that's just wood now, isn't it? So let's drop that. And oh yeah, we don't need two of these mag lenses. So grab that. This is fine. Uh, this is just cloth. So that's fine. I want to repair at least one of these. Uh, basically these two, I guess, I would like to maintain. Rest can deteriorate. Then we have that. Uh, line. Yeah, I guess I could find something to drink. I could carry that around. Actually, that's fine. And there. Uh, yeah. Okay. One of these things. All right. Nice. Let's sharpen the uh, tools up here and get rid of cabin fever while we're at it. That was a bit silly. I thought, like you. Uh, you basically, look at that, <laughs> uh, not cold, you basically uh, slept outdoors and, and got cavern fever rid of except for seven hours, then I went indoors, so spending the night outdoors didn't actually do anything, you have to actually wait for it to cure and then go inside, that's fine, we'll do that then. We're gonna sharpen and stay outdoors here. Sleep. 
We'll harvest some rabbits. We can we can hunt some rabbits for some extra pelts. Why not? <coughs> Assuming I can hit them. <laughs> we can have a little uh, a little outing up here. This is why this is a great area for our main base because you can just go up here if you get cabin fever. And you can just recure it that way. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can get this guy. Next, next. That's the other rabbit. Well, there's sometimes three, but usually not. In case you need to make water, might as well do that up here. Where is the other rabbit? Can I do this actually? Nice. Where are you, rabbit? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess the rabbit has retired. I'm gonna go in here. And to reduce smelling too much, we can do this and harvest it like this. It doesn't smell as much. We're gonna use our hands. But not in a hurry. And then we can uh, drop these two. How much wood do we have? Not a lot. We can make a little bit of water in that. I think we can wait though. But I think we have a very, very warm here. Um, let's. Let's sharpen our equipment as long as we can. I'm gonna use all these wet zones, uh, and then when you we're approaching late game now because we have most of our stuff, but now you get to the phase of the game where you want to go to different regions and establish bases there. You might want to make more tools. You might want to just basically secure everything and have more of everything to make sure you're safe. That's about it. Breaks. I need to find food. I'm gonna sharpen this all the way up to 96. There we go. Nice. And then we'll sharpen this too. And we'll sleep as long as we can up here. And we'll cook stuff in the morning, probably. See if we can get some more sticks. Yeah, that's good. Let's also actually just drop this here. I don't want a wolf to like sneak up here for some reason. Snack. And yeah, let's drink some of these. We have so many of them. We're going to drink some of those for hydration. Get a little bit, little bit of extra calories too. Uh, one more. And I guess we could just sleep. Yeah. Let's see here. We can sleep for... I'm going to put 10, but it's probably going to be like 8, I guess, probably. Yeah, it's uh, dawn. Let's see if... Uh, there's more sticks or rabbits or something. Cabin fee is 10 hours. I'm just going to wait up here those 10 hours. Maybe even sleep another day. There's the other rabbit. Oh, there's two more. Oh damn, he dodged at the last minute. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I 
<laughs> we'll try a Stone Age Sniper. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Here I am. I'm actually not that good with rabbits sometimes. Especially when it's like weird angles. That's the other guy. The next goal now is to get Archie to level 5. Because then um, we can crouch and shoot. Hmm, for the rabbit around here, I guess. Ah, here he is. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, here. There we go. Uh, any more sticks or anything around? Would be handy. Let's see if there's any sticks around here. Uh, there usually are a few. Oh, there is this, but way too cold. Ah, oh, I have some. Plans I can make a fire and cook the rabbits for good. Any more? One there. Limb. There's some sticks. Okay, that's good enough. I think we have enough sticks now. I'm gonna harvest the bunnies first. We're gonna basically spend the day up here to get rid of cabin fever. And we'll make water while we're at it too. I would drink almost anything about now. Grab these two. can uh, grab this and this. I'm gonna stand on the inside here while we harvest these. Let's so have a cold. drink. Let's drink one of these. I wanna lay down for a bit. Uh, we're warming up in here. Barely, but we are warming up. And again, I'm going to use my hands. This to kill time, really, because of the cabin fever. And then again. Put this over here. I'm starving. There we go. Then we're going to make a fire. I'm going to do it here on the outside. Well, it doesn't actually matter where I am. What matters. I mean, with a campfire is rather, but matters is where I'm standing. Insufficient. Oh. I could eat anything right now. There we go. Let's see if we can make a fire. We'll cook these rabbits and we'll make some water as well. stand here on the outside if possible because then I will count as being outdoors or the outside and the fires last longer. Perfect. Just a weird mechanic basically. Uh, how cold am I? Quite cold but I'm gonna use all these sticks except for like three so that's fine. Let's make water. Let's have a drink. Let's uh, put this on here. Five minutes. Eat that. And then rinse and repeat.
need to grab one of my pots because I always carry two pots. There we are. That's water done. And this as well. There we go. Make water. Okay, while that's happening, is there something I can do here? Not really. Okay, then we're just gonna make water. And that's it. And lots of it. We can still make more. Uh, let's take one and a half there. That's cabin fever. Two hours, okay. So we should cure it completely because we've been outdoors all this time. Make another half liter, yeah. Make one more. What do I have? Not really anything, but we have 11 liters of water. Yes, that's fine. All right. I'm grab a torch from this. Let's just have a little look around. Let's have a drink as well. Now we have hydration covered, no problem. gonna wait here. We're actually gonna sleep here another night. Just to get rid of cabin fever risk completely. We can douse this. And let me see if there's any sort of inventory stuff to do. Not really. Cabin fever has been healed. The risk has also been healed. Um, in which case... Oh, you can still stay here for the night, it's fine. We can just pass time. Uh, and then sleep here. Why not? Then we reduce it even more, so the risk has gone completely, but... We will have been outdoors a lot. The cabin fear risk is unlikely to creep back in. So we might as well stay here. I think this will be fine. Let's sleep. Uh, we'll put 10. But I don't think 10 is necessary. Wake up. And then we can eat this. And have a drink. And we'll grab these. And home we go. Have this ready just in case a wolf shows up. And we replenished our uh, rabbit supplies. Because we failed repairing things. we go. This has been a long run. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I have a suspicion it's pretty long. If you're still watching, then uh, thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I gave a code word in the end for this. I think I did. It was that weird left thing I said. Was that the f what that was? <laughs> My brain is a bit fried. Um... But the mid-game is long, because you spend all of your time, basically... Uh, the, the beginning of the game is just establishing yourself 
to secure what you need to become sustainable and then the mid game is to be sustainable and upgrading all your skills and securing everything and here we are uh, let's have a quick look around here so this is uh, still taking a while to cure this is actually cured um, how many guts do we have we have three oh okay Maybe before we call it a day, then we should do that as well. So I think it was three and that's four. Okay, we can't then. Never mind. Then we do that another time. Need more guts. Grab one of these. Put this down. Uh, let's put some water here. It's good to carry like four liters or something. There we are. These I could read now, except this one. This one is now just rubbish. Because um, I am already cooking level five. I'll put these here. Put two. These we can take downstairs. Uh, this we can make tinder out of that as well. Let's just place these in a little mini collection. In case we ever make uh, noisemakers or something. And then let's uh, harvest these. A bit more tinder. And then I think, my friends, that is it. Wow. All right. Yeah, we are. So I think that is the mid game for you. I hope that was useful. It was a long haul. If you watched the whole thing, then wow. Thanks and good job. But yeah, that was the mid game. So in the early game, it's all about getting yourself sorted, you know, figuring out your spawn finding the tools, getting clothing, and then as soon as you're able to, you got to make uh, tools and arrows and the bow. Once you have the bow, then you are able to gather food and make yourself more sustainable. Although you can live with cattails and stuff for a while. And then that is the early game. And the mid game is now taking your hunting skills to upgrade yourself. So now you got to secure enough hides and things to basically become stronger. On lower difficulties, you don't need to do that because you can find better clothing like at the Expedition Parker. But on Interloper, you can't. On Interloper, uh, you got to start hunting bear, moose, deer, rabbits, uh, and alternatively wolves. You don't have to hunt wolves, but you could make the wolf jacket. And then a very good idea is to do what I did. You uh, hunt some bears and or moose, and uh, and um, uh, you leave them in your base to cure because it's going to take twelve days to cure a bear hide. And while that's curing, you go out and you do something else. And I decided to go to Ash Canyon because I wanted the backpack, which allows you to carry more. And as you can see, yeah, there's never enough space. So you will always want to carry more and more stuff. But that was a good idea but you don't have to do that you can do something else but that is the main thing to collect and now because we made the moose hide satchel and the technical backpack and we are well fed we can carry so much stuff and it's necessary because right now our gear is very good we have the bear skin coat and it weighs a lot five kilos that also gives a lot of warmth so it's worth it. And we have a wolf skin coat, which we'll probably use uh, for a while. We'll make the bear skin petrol first, and then we'll make the second bear coat later. We are plus 23 degrees, which means now we are pretty protected against the elements. We uh, will uh, not take as much cold damage because we will be warmer uh, more, especially in the afternoon. And it's still early days because we're on day... 40, so we've got about 10 days before it's too cold, I guess. 
And we got protection as well, so we are less likely to die in a struggle now because we have quite a lot of armor. So now, uh, and more importantly, we also got cooking to level 5, so now we can just, we have so much bear meat around, we killed 5 bears. One bear got kind of wasted because of uh, wood, but we probably have over 100 kilos of bear meat between Mystery Lake and Pleasant Valley, and yeah, there's so much of it, and moose meat in Timwolf Mountain as well. So in Mystery Lake, uh, and Pleasant Valley to a certain degree, and Tomb of Mountain, we have really strong food resources. And we have cooking level 5, Archie's level 3, that needs to get to level 5, but it's not urgent. I would generally speaking recommend that you don't go to Black Rock or Bleak Inlet until this is level 5, because it will make, the tim make it easy with Timberwolves. And now we have cooking level 5, that's just so much easier. So that, my friends, with the gear is great. There's now uh, the mid game, uh, that's it. We do need to make another one of these. I just need one more gut to do it. And then I can make another one of that. And then that's it. That's all the crafting done. Uh, we could make another bearskin coat and uh, that will give us more warmth. It basically gives us two degrees more warmth. That doesn't sound like much. It goes away two kilos more, but eventually when you get to the late late game um you do want as much warmth as possible but it's a little bit personal preference some people like double wolf kit skin or wolf plus moose and some uh, do one of each and i tend to have double bear coat because it's just warmer but you can do that however you want we do need to find another one of these uh most likely we'll find one in coastal highway we need to find it before it's ruined um so that's something we need to do and we need to find another pair of socks well, now we got everything. So basically, yeah, one more of these socks, make one more of the pants, and I'll turn it to another bearskin coat in the future. But pretty much, we're, we're good. We're done now. We have crafted what we need to. We have gathered the backpack. We have the bow. And we have cooking level 5. So now we have upgraded our skills and our resources and our tools to be perfectly sustainable and a fearful hunter. So now we are pretty strong and we're pretty golden. So that, my friends, my survivors, that is the mid game. Now, we're pro we're not really late, late game, as in like, we're not close to 100 days or anything. Uh, so I'm not sure if it'll be fair to call the next video, if I'd made one, uh, the late game, but I guess it would be like, what should we call it? Um, I guess we can go mid to late game <laughs> or the the uh, actually it would be the exploration phase so the beginning is the establishment phase you establish yourself second is the uh, resource or upgrade uh, phase the third one is exploration phase and you have the late game at the end because what would happen now well if you like this video and you liked the one before, if you would like to see a part three of this, um, happy to make that one day. Please let me know in the comments if that's the case. What would happen in part three? Well, we now have everything. Um, I would like to make the bare bedroll and the other pair of the deer skin pants. So in, in, a, in a part three, what would happen would be, I would probably do a little bit more hunting, getting a little bit more water and food to make this space even stronger. Once I've done that, then there isn't any kind of special item to collect or anything anymore, except for um, the um, the armor, but that's not really worth it. But once I have done that, uh, then I'm going to pick a region and go there, explore it, loot it, and establish a base there. And probably that region would be probably Coastal Highway and desolation point in addition because you can find thermal underwear there sometimes so that's worth going just for that in my opinion so probably would be that not sure though and also a bit more exploration mystery lake and maybe mapping and things like that so that would be the a exploration phase yeah, phase three i guess so that's what that would be um and then there's all sorts of phases after that, <laughs> establishing every regional base and setting goals for yourself. Or you know it, you're in days, several hundreds of days. But anyway, 
That was a long outro, but I just wanted to explain everything. Thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, uh, wow, that's amazing. Uh, but it was fun to make, and I know a lot of people wanted this uh, video, and it was my pleasure to make it. Thank you all for watching. If you do want to see a part three, let me know, and I'll try and make it uh, one day I have time. And in the meantime, uh, stay safe out there, Solaris. I hope you learned something from this video. You don't need to do everything I did in this video because some of the stuff I did was pretty reckless. I also used shortcuts and some exploits that you don't necessarily need to do. Mostly I'm there to just show you how the progress works in terms of what you should do. You gather resources, gather hides, get the backpack and so on. Uh, you don't need to do it the way that I did it. Uh, you can be a bit more careful, you can hunt more deer rather than wolves and bears, for example, establish more uh, food in your base, and that sort of thing. But yeah, but that was the walkthrough, that was the mid game. Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope you stay safe, and I hope you're all into local run goes well uh, as well. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time, survivors. <laughs> bye bye.